Endnotes 4, 501, 5000. COB Gravitatum Celi Interissant Vial Damnum. Tacitus, Annals 285. In this application, Thrasimund would have adopted the reading of some critics, Udal Damnum. Right arrow curving left. See these preludes of a general persecution, in Victor II III, IV, VII and the two edicts of Hanaric, L, 2, page 35, L, 4, page 64. Right arrow curving left. See Procopius, de Bello Vandalico, L. I C 7, pp. 197, 198. A Moorish prince endeavored to propitiate the god of the Christians by his diligence to erase the marks of the Vandal sacrilege. Right arrow curving left. See this story in Victor II 8, 12, pages 30, 34. Victor describes the distress of these confessors as an eyewitness. Right arrow curving left. See the fifth book of Victor. His passionate complaints are confirmed by the sober testimony of Procopius and the public declaration of the Emperor Justinian, Codex, L. I. Tit. 27, right arrow curving left. Victor II 18, page 41. Right arrow curving left. Victor V 4, pages 74, 75. His name was Victorianus, and he was a wealthy citizen of Adramedum, who enjoyed the confidence of the king. By whose favor he had obtained the office, or at least the title, of proconsul of Africa. Right arrow curving left. Victor I 6, pages 8, 9. After relating the firm resistance and dexterous reply of Count Sebastian, he adds, Quer alio generis argumento postia bellicosum virum occidit. Right arrow curving left. Victor V 12, 13. Tillamont, Memoirs Ecclesiastiques, Tom. 6, page 609. Right arrow curving left. Primate was more properly the title of the Bishop of Carthage. But the name of Patriarch was given by the sects and nations to their principal ecclesiastic. See Thomas Sin, Discipline de l'Eglise, Tom. I, pages 155, 158. Right arrow curving left. The Patriarch Cyrilla himself publicly declared that he did not understand Latin, Victor II 18, page 42 Nescio Latine. And he might converse with tolerable ease, without being capable of disputing or preaching in that language. His Vandal clergy were still more ignorant. And small confidence could be placed in the Africans who had conformed. Right arrow curving left. Victor II 1, 2, page 22, right arrow curving left. Victor V 7, page 77. He appeals to the ambassador himself, whose name was Uranius. Right arrow curving left. Astuciors, Victor IV 4, page 70. He plainly intimates that their quotation of the gospel, non juribitis in toto, was only meant to elude the obligation of an inconvenient oath. The forty-six bishops who refused were banished to Corsica, the three hundred and two who swore were distributed through the provinces of Africa. Right arrow curving left. Fulgentius, Bishop of Rusby, in the Byzacene province, was of a senatorial family, and had received a liberal education. He could repeat all Homer and Menander before he was allowed to study Latin, his native tongue, Vita Fulgentii, c. 1. Many African bishops might understand Greek, and many Greek theologians were translated into Latin. Right arrow curving left. Compare the two prefaces to the Dialogue of Vigilius of Thapsus, pages 118, 119, edit. Chiflet. He might amuse his learned reader with an innocent fiction, but the subject was too grave, and the Africans were too ignorant. Right arrow curving left. The pair canal started this opinion, which has been favorably received. But the three following truths, however surprising they may seem, are now universally acknowledged, Gerard Vossius, Tom. 6, pages 516, 522, Tillamont, Memoirs Ecclesiastiques, Tom. 8, pp. 667, 
671. Saint Athanasius is not the author of the creed which is so frequently read in our churches. It does not appear to have existed within a century after his death. It was originally composed in the Latin tongue, and, consequently in the western provinces. Genadius, Patriarch of Constantinople, was so much amazed by this extraordinary composition that he frankly pronounced it to be the work of a drunken man. Patavius, Dogmata Theologica, Tom. 2L, 7C, 8, page 687, right arrow curving left. 1 John 5 verse 7. C. Simon, Histoire Critique du Texte du Nouveau Testament, Part 1 C, 18, pages 203, 218, and Part 2 C, 9, pp. 99, 121, and the elaborate prolegomena and annotations of Dr. Mill and Wettstein to their editions of the Greek Testament. In 1689, the papist Simon strove to be free. In 1707, the Protestant Mill wished to be a slave, in 1751, the Armenian Wettstein used the liberty of his times and of his sect. 9043 right arrow curving left. Of all the MSS. Now extant, above fourscore in number, some of which are more than 1,200 years old, Wettstein Adlock. The orthodox copies of the Vatican, of the Complutensian editors, of Robert Stevens are become invisible, and the two Mises of Dublin and Berlin are unworthy to form an exception. See Emlin's Works, Volume 2, pages 227, 255, 269, 299, and M. de Missy's Four Ingenious Letters. In Tom. 8 and 9 of the Journal Britannique. Right arrow curving left. Or, more properly, by the four bishops who composed and published the profession of faith in the name of their brethren. They styled this text, Luce Clarius, Victor Vitensis, De Persecution Vandalica, L. 3 c. 11, page 54. It is quoted soon afterwards by the African polemics, Vigilius and Fulgentius. Right arrow curving left. In the 11th and 12th centuries, the Bibles were corrected by Lanfranc, Archbishop of Canterbury, and by Nicholas, Cardinal and Librarian of the Roman Church. Secundum Orthodoxum Fidum, Wettstein, Prolegomena ad Novi Testamenti Grisi, pp. 84, 85. Notwithstanding these corrections, the passage is still wanting in 25 Latin Mises, Wettstein ad Locke, the oldest and the fairest, two qualities seldom united, except in manuscripts. Right arrow curving left. The art which the Germans had invented was applied in Italy to the profane writers of Rome and Greece. The original Greek of the New Testament was published about the same time, A.D. 1514, 1516, 1520, by the industry of Erasmus and the munificence of Cardinal Zimenisch. The Complutensian polyglot cost the Cardinal 50,000 ducats. See Michel Matteyer, Annals Typographici, Tom. 2, pages 2, 8, 125, 133, and Wettstein, Prolegomena ad Novi Testamenti Grisi, pp. 116, 127. Right arrow curving left. The three witnesses have been established in our Greek testaments by the prudence of Erasmus, the honest bigotry of the Complutensian editors. The typographical fraud, or error, of Robert Stevens in the placing a crotchet, and the deliberate falsehood, or strange misapprehension, of Theodore Beza. Right arrow curving left. Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historiae v. 1. Wesseling, Intineraria, page 15. Celerius, Geographia Antiqua, Tom. 2 Part 2, page 127. This Tipesa, which must not be confounded with another in Numidia, was a town of some note, since Vespasian endowed it with the right of Latium. Right arrow curving left. Optatus Malevitinus, De Schismate Donatisterum, L. 2, page 38, right arrow curving left. Victor Vitensis v. 6, page 76. Ruinart, pages 483, 487. Right arrow curving left. Aeneas Gazius in Theophrasto, in Maxima Bibliotheca Veterum Patrum, Tom. 
8, pages 664, 665. He was a Christian, and composed this dialogue, the Theophrastus, on the immortality of the soul, and the resurrection of the body, besides twenty-five epistles, still extant. C. Cave, Historia Literaria, page 297, and Fabricius, Bibliotheca Graeca, Tom. I, page 422, right arrow curving left. Codex Justinianus, L. I. Tit. XXV Marcellinus in Chronicon, p. 45, in Thesaurus Temporum, Scaliger. Procopius, de Bello Vandalico, L. I. C. 7, page 196. Gregorius Magnus, Dialogues 332. None of these witnesses have specified the number of the confessors, which is fixed at sixty in an old monology, Apud Ruinart, page 486. Two of them lost their speech by fornication. But the miracle is enhanced by the singular instance of a boy who had never spoken before his tongue was cut out. Right arrow curving left. See the two general historians of Spain, Mariana, Historii de Rebus Hispaniae, Tom. I. L. V. C. 12, 15, pages 182, 194, and Ferreras, French translation, Tom. 2, pages 206, 247. Mariana almost forgets that he is a Jesuit, to assume the style and spirit of a Roman classic. Ferreras, an industrious compiler, reviews his facts and rectifies his chronology. Right arrow curving left. Goisvintha successively married two kings of the Visigoths, Athanagild, to whom she bore Brunchild, the mother of Ingundis. And Leavagild, whose two sons, Hermenegild and Recard, were the issue of a former marriage. Right arrow curving left. Iracundii furor succensa, adprehensum per comum capitis puellum in teram conlidit, etidio calcibus verberatum, ac sanguins cruentatum, justit expolieri etipicini emergi. Gregorii Tyrannici, L. V. C. 39, in Tom. 2, page 255. Gregory is one of our best originals for this portion of history. Right arrow curving left. The Catholics who admitted the baptism of heretics repeated the rite, or, as it was afterwards styled, the sacrament, of confirmation. To which they ascribed many mystic and marvelous prerogatives, both visible and invisible. C. Chardon, Histoire de Sacraments, Tom. I, pages 405, 552. Right arrow curving left. Osset, or Julia Constantia, was opposite to Seville, on the northern side of the Betis, Pliny the Elder. Naturalis Historii 3 3 and the authentic reference of Gregory of Tours, Historia Francorum, L. 6 C. 43, page 288 deserves more credit than the name of Lusitania, Tyrannici de Gloria Martyrum, c. 24, which has been eagerly embraced by the vain and superstitious Portuguese, Ferreras, Histoire Générale d'Espagne, Tom. 2, page 166, right arrow curving left. This miracle was skillfully performed. An Arian king sealed the doors, and dug a deep trench round the church, without being able to intercept the Easter supply of baptismal water. Right arrow curving left. Ferreras, Tom. 2, pp. 168, 175, AD 550, has illustrated the difficulties which regard the time and circumstances of the conversion of the Suevi. They had been recently united by Leavagild to the Gothic monarchy of Spain. Right arrow curving left. This addition to the Nicene, or rather the Constantinopolitan Creed, was first made in the Eighth Council of Toledo, A.D. 653. But it was expressive of the popular doctrine, Gerard Vossius, Tom. 6, page 527, De Tribus Symbolis, right arrow curving left. C. Gregorius Magnus, L. 7, Epistola 126, Apud Baronius, Annals Ecclesiasticae, A.D. 559, number 25, 26, right arrow curving left. Paul Warnfred, De Gestis Langobardorum, 
L, 4 C, 44, page 853, edit. Grotius, allows that Arianism still prevailed under the reign of Rotheris, A.D. 636, 652. The pious deacon does not attempt to mark the precise era of the national conversion, which was accomplished, however, before the end of the 7th century. Right arrow curving left. Quorum fidei et conversioni eta congratulatus esse rex prohibitor, ut nullum timen cadrat ad Christianismum. De disserit enim a doctoribus octoribus sui salutis, servicium Christi voluntarium a non coactitium esse debir. Bidi, Historia Ecclesiastica Gentis Anglorum, L. I C. 26, page 62, edit. Smith. Right arrow curving left. See the Historians of France, Tom. 4, page 114, and David Wilkins, Legis Anglo-Saxonicae, pages 11, 31. Sikis Sacrificium Immolavrit Praetor Deo Soli Mort Moriator. Right arrow curving left. The Jews pretend that they were introduced into Spain by the fleets of Solomon and the arms of Nebuchadnezzar. That Hadrian transported 40,000 families of the tribe of Judah, and 10,000 of the tribe of Benjamin, etc. Basnage, Histoire de Juifs, Tom. 7 c. 9, pages 240, 256. Right arrow curving left. Isidore, at that time Archbishop of Seville, mentions, disapproves and congratulates the zeal of Sisput, Chronica Gotharum, page 728. Baronius, A.D. 614, No. 41, assigns the number on the evidence of Imoin, L. for C. 22, but the evidence is weak, and I have not been able to verify the quotation, Historians of France, Tom. 3, page 127. Right arrow curving left. Basnage, Tom. 8 C. 13, pages 388, 400, faithfully represents the state of the Jews. But he might have added from the canons of the Spanish councils and the laws of the Visigoths many curious circumstances, essential to his subject, though they are foreign to mine. 9044 right arrow curving left. In this chapter one shall draw my quotations from the Recule de Historiens de Gaules et de la France, Paris, 1738-1767, in eleven volumes in folio. By the labor of Dom Bouquet and the other Benedictines, all the original testimonies, as far as A.D. 1060, are disposed in chronological order and illustrated with learned notes. Such a national work, which will be continued to the year 1500, might provoke our emulation. Right arrow curving left. Tacitus, Historii 473, 74, in Tom. I, page 445. To abridge Tacitus would indeed be presumptuous. But I may select the general ideas which he applies to the present state and future revolutions of Gaul. Right arrow curving left. Edem semper causa Germanis transcendendi in Gallia's libido at Gavarishii et mutandi sedis amor. Ut relictis politibus et solitudinibus sui, fecundissimum hoc solum vos gipsos pasiderant. Nam pulsus Romanis quid aliad quam bella omnium inter se gentium existent? Right arrow curving left. Sidonius Apollinaris ridicules, with affected wit and pleasantry, the hardships of his situation, Carmen 12, in Tom. I, page 811, right arrow curving left. C. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I. C. 12, in Tom. 2, page 31. The character of Grotius inclines me to believe that he has not substituted the Rhine for the Rhone, Historia Gotharum, page 175, without the authority of some M.S. Right arrow curving left. Sidonius, L. 8 Epistoli 3, 9, in Tom. I, page 800. Jornans, De Rebus Genesis, C. 47, page 680, justifies, in some measure, this portrait of the Gothic hero. Right arrow curving left. I use the familiar appellation of Clovis, from the Latin Clodovecus, or Clodovius. But the ch expresses only the German aspiration, 
and the true name is not different from Lujuin, or Lewis, Memoirs de l'Académie de Inscriptions, Tom. XX, page 68, right arrow curving left. Gregory I. Tyrannici, L. 2 C. 12, in Tom. I, page 168. Baina speaks the language of nature, the Franks, who had seen her in their youth, might converse with Gregory in their old age. And the Bishop of Tours could not wish to defame the mother of the first Christian king. Right arrow curving left. The Abbé Dubois, Histoire critique de l'établissement de la monarchie Françoise Don Les Gaules, Tom. I, pages 630, 650, has the merit of defining the primitive kingdom of Clovis, and of ascertaining the genuine number of his subjects. Right arrow curving left. Ecclesium in cultum ac negligentia civium paganorum pretermissum, veprium densitate opultam, etc. Vita s vidasti, in Tom. 3, page 372. This description supposes that Eris was possessed by the pagans many years before the baptism of Clovis. Right arrow curving left. Gregory of Tours, L. V. C. I. In Tom. 2. P. 232. Contrasts the poverty of Clovis with the wealth of his grandsons. Yet Remigius, in Tom. 4. Page 52. Mentions his paternus opes, as sufficient for the redemption of captives. Right arrow curving left. C. Gregory, L. 2 C. 27, 37, in Tom. 2, pages 175, 181, 182. The famous story of the vase of Soissons explains both the power and the character of Clovis. As a point of controversy, it has been strangely tortured by Bullenvilliers, Dubois, and the other political antiquarians. Right arrow curving left. The Duke of Nivernois, a noble statesman, who has managed weighty and delicate negotiations, ingeniously illustrates, Memoirs de l'Académie de Inscriptions, Tom. XX, pp. 147, 184, The Political System of Clovis. Right arrow curving left. M. Beat, in a dissertation which deserved the prize of the Academy of Soissons, pp. 178, 226, has accurately defined the nature and extent of the kingdom of Syagrius, and his father, but he too readily allows the slight evidence of Dubois, Tom. 2, pp. 54, 57, to deprive him of Beauvais and Amiens. Right arrow curving left. I may observe that Fredegarius, in his Epitome of Gregory of Tours, Tom. 2, p. 398, has prudently substituted the name of Patricius for the incredible title of Rex Romanorum. Right arrow curving left. Sidonius, L. V., Epistola 5, in Tom. I. P. 794, who styles him the Solon, the Amphion, of the Barbarians, addresses this imaginary king in the tone of friendship and equality. From such offices of arbitration, the crafty de Joses had raised himself to the throne of the Medes, Herodotus, L. I C. 96, 100, right arrow curving left. Campum sibi preparari justit. M. Beat, pp. 226, 251, has diligently ascertained this field of battle, at Nogent, a Benedictine abbey, about ten miles to the north of Soissons. The ground was marked by a circle of pagan sepulchres. And Clovis bestowed the adjacent lands of Lully and Cousy on the Church of Reims. Right arrow curving left. C. Caesar, Commentary I de Bello Gallico 2-4, in Tom. I, page 220, and the Notitiae, Tom. I, page 126. The three fabrici of Soissons were, Soteria, Ballisteria, and Clinabaria. The last supplied the complete armor of the heavy cuirassiers. Right arrow curving left. The epithet must be confined to the circumstances. And history cannot justify the French prejudice of Gregory, L. 2 c. 27, in Tom. 2, page 175, 
UT Gotham Pavir Mose EST right arrow curving left. Dubois has satisfied me, Tom. I, pp. 277, 286, that Gregory of Tours, his transcribers, or his readers, have repeatedly confounded the German kingdom of Thuringia, beyond the Rhine, and the Gallic city of Tongria on the Meuse. Which was more anciently the country of the Eburones and more recently the diocese of Liege. Right arrow curving left. Populi habitants juxta Lamanum Lacum, Alamani Dicunter. Servius, Ad Virgil, Georgics 4278. Don Bouquet, Tom. I. P. 817, has only alleged the more recent and corrupt text of Isidore of Seville. Right arrow curving left. Gregory of Tours sends us T. Lupicinus inter illa gerensis deserti secreta, quae, inter Burgundium alemaniam cita, aventicae adjacent civitati, in Tom. I, page 648. M. De Watteville, Histoire de la Confederation Helvetique, Tom. I, pages 9, 10, has accurately defined the Helvetian limits of the Duchy of Alemannia and the Transgerane Burgundy. They were commensurate with the diocese of Constance and Avench, or Lausanne, and are still discriminated, in modern Switzerland, by the use of the German or French language. Right arrow curving left. C. Francois Gilliman, De Rebus Helvetiorum, L. I. C. 3, pages 11, 12. Within the ancient walls of Vindenissa, the castle of Habsburg, the abbey of Konigsfield, and the town of Bruck have successively risen. The philosophic traveller may compare the monuments of Roman conquest, of feudal or Austrian tyranny, of monkish superstition, and of industrious freedom. If he be truly a philosopher he will applaud the merit and happiness of his own times. Right arrow curving left. Gregory of Tours, L. 2 c. 30, 37, in Tom. 2, pages 176, 177, 182, the Gesta Francorum, in Tom. 2, p. 551, and the Epistle of Theodoric, Cassiodorus, Variarum, L. 2 c. 41, in Tom. 4, page 4, represent the defeat of the Alemanni. Some of their tribes settled in Risha, under the protection of Theodoric, whose successors ceded the colony and their country to the grandson of Clovis. The state of the Alemanni under the Merovingian kings may be seen in Moscow, History of the Ancient Germans 11.8, etc., Annotation XXXVI, and Gilliman, De Rebus Helvetiorum, L. 2 c. 10, 12, pp. 72, 80. Right arrow curving left. Clotilda, or rather Gregory, supposes that Clovis worshipped the gods of Greece and Rome. The fact is incredible, and the mistake only shows how completely, in less than a century, the national religion of the Franks had been abolished and even forgotten. Right arrow curving left. Gregory of Tours relates the marriage and conversion of Clovis, L. 2 c. 28, 31, in Tom. 2, pages 175, 178. Even Fredegarius, or the nameless epitomizer, in Tom. 2, pp. 398, 400, the author of the Gesta Francorum, in Tom. 2, pages 548, 552, and I moin himself, L. I see, 13, in Tom. 3, pages 37, 40, may be heard without disdain. Tradition might long preserve some curious circumstances of these important transactions. Right arrow curving left. A traveller who returned from Reims to Auvergne had stolen a copy of his declamations from the secretary or bookseller of the modest archbishop, Sidonius Apollinaris, L. 9, Epistola 7. For Epistles of Remigius, which are still extant, in Tom. 4, pages 51, 53, do not correspond with the splendid praise of Sidonius. Right arrow curving left. Hinkmar, one of the successors of Remigius, A.D. 845, 882, had composed his life, in Tom. 3, pages 373, 380. The Authority of Ancient MSS. 
of the Church of Reims might inspire some confidence, which is destroyed, however, by the selfish and audacious fictions of Hinkmar. It is remarkable enough that Remigius, who was consecrated at the age of 22, AD 457, filled the episcopal chair 74 years, page I, Critica Baroniae, Tom. 2, pages 384, 572. Right arrow curving left. A file, the Saint Ampole, of holy, or rather celestial, oil was brought down by a white dove, for the baptism of Clovis. And it is still used and renewed in the coronation of the kings of France. Hinkmar, he aspired to the primacy of Gaul, is the first author of this fable, in Tom. 3, page 377, whose slight foundations the Abbé de Vertot, Memoirs de l'Académie de Inscriptions, Tom. 2, pp. 619, 633, has undermined, with profound respect and consummate dexterity. Right arrow curving left. Midas de Pone Cala, Sic Amber, Adora Quat Incendisti, Incend Quat Adorasti. Gregorii Tyrannici, L. 2c. 31, in Tom. 2, page 177. Right arrow curving left. See ego ibidem cum Francis mice fuissum, injurias aegis vindicassum. This rash expression, which Gregory has prudently concealed, is celebrated by Fredegarius, Epitome, c. 21, in Tom. 2, page 400, I moin, l. I see, 16, in Tom. 3, page 40, and the Chroniques de France OU Saint Denis, L. I see, 20, in Tom. 3, page 171, as an admirable effusion of Christian zeal. Right arrow curving left. Gregory, L, 2c, 40, 43, in Tom. 2, pp. 183, 185, after coolly relating the repeated crimes and affected remorse of Clovis, concludes, perhaps undesignedly, with a lesson which ambition will never hear, his Eta Transactus, O by it. Right arrow curving left. After the Gothic victory, Clovis made rich offerings to St. Martin of Tours. He wished to redeem his warhorse by the gift of one hundred pieces of gold. But the enchanted steed could not remove from the stable till the price of his redemption had been doubled. This miracle provoked the king to exclaim, Vir b. Martinus est bonus in auxilio, said Caris in negotio. Gesta Francorum, in Tom. 2, pages 554, 555, right arrow curving left. See the epistle from Pope Anastasius to the royal convert, in Tom. 4, pages 50, 51. Avitus, Bishop of Vienna, addressed Clovis on the same subject, page 49, and many of the Latin bishops would assure him of their joy and attachment. Right arrow curving left. Instead of the Robatero Upsilon Chiamacron Iota, an unknown people, who now appear on the text of Procopius, Hadrian de Valois has restored the proper name of the Romuro Upsilon Chiamacron Iota. And this easy correction has been almost universally approved. Yet an unprejudiced reader would naturally suppose that Procopius means to describe a tribe of Germans in the alliance of Rome. And not a confederacy of Gallic cities which had revolted from the Empire. 9045 right arrow curving left. This important digression of Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I see, 12, in Tom. 2, pp. 29, 36, illustrates the origin of the French monarchy. Yet I must observe, 1. That the Greek historian betrays an inexcusable ignorance of the geography of the West. 2. That these treaties and privileges, which should leave some lasting traces, are totally invisible in Gregory of Tours, the Salic Laws, etc. Right arrow curving left. Regnum circa Rodinum aut errorim cum provincia Massiliensi redinibant. Gregorii Tyrannici, L. 2 c. 32, in Tom. 2, page 178. The province of Marseilles, as far as the Durance, was afterwards ceded to the Ostrogoths, 
and the signatures of 25 bishops are supposed to represent the Kingdom of Burgundy, AD 519. Concilium Eponens, in Tom. 4, pages 104, 105. Yet I would accept Vindenissa. The bishop who lived under the pagan Alamanni would naturally resort to the synods of the next Christian kingdom. Moscow, in his four first annotations, has explained many circumstances relative to the Burgundian monarchy. Right arrow curving left. Moscow, History of the Ancient Germans 1110, who very reasonably distracts the testimony of Gregory of Tours. Has produced a passage from Avitus, Epistola V, to prove that Gundibald affected to deplore the tragic event which his subjects affected to applaud. Right arrow curving left. See the original conference, in Tom. 4, pages 99, 102. Avitus, the principal actor, and probably the secretary of the meeting, was Bishop of Vienna. A short account of his person and works may be found in Depan, Bibliothèque Ecclesiastique, Tom. V, pages 5, 10. Right arrow curving left. Gregory of Tours, L, 3, C, 19, in Tom. 2, P. 197, indulges his genius, or rather describes some more eloquent writer, in the description of Dijon, a castle, which already deserved the title of a city. It depended on the bishops of Langres till the 12th century, and afterwards became the capital of the Dukes of Burgundy. Longueru, Description de la France, Part 1, page 280. Right arrow curving left. The epitomizer of Gregory of Tours, in Tom. 2, page 401, has supplied this number of francs, but he rashly supposes that they were cut in pieces by Gundibald. The prudent Burgundian spared the soldiers of Clovis, and sent these captives to the king of the Visigoths, who settled them in the territory of Toulouse. Right arrow curving left. In this Burgundian war I have followed Gregory of Tours, L. 2 c. 32, 33, in Tom. 2, pages 178, 179, whose narrative appears so incompatible with that of Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I C. 12, in Tom. 2, pages 31, 32, that some critics have supposed two different wars. The Abbe Dubois, Histoire Critique de la Monarchie Francoise, Tom. 2, pp. 126, 162, has distinctly represented the causes and the events. Right arrow curving left. See his life or legend, in Tom. 3, page 402. A martyr. How strangely has that word been distorted from its original sense of a common witness. Saint Sigismund was remarkable for the cure of fevers. Right arrow curving left. Before the end of the 5th century, the Church of Saint Maurice, and his Thebian legion, had rendered Agonim a place of devout pilgrimage. A promiscuous community of both sexes had introduced some deeds of darkness, which were abolished, A.D. 515, by the regular monastery of Sigismund. Within fifty years, his angels of light made a nocturnal sally to murder their bishop and his clergy. See in the Bibliothèque Raisonné, Tom. XXXV, pp. 435, 438, The Curious Remarks of a Learned Librarian of Geneva. Right arrow curving left. Marius, Bishop of Avench, Chronicon in Tom. 2, page 15, has marked the authentic dates, and Gregory of Tours, L. 3 c. 5, 6, in Tom. 2, pages 188, 189, has expressed the principal facts of the life of Sigismund and the conquest of Burgundy. Procopius, in Tom. 2, page 34, and Agathias, in Tom. 2, p. 49, show their remote and imperfect knowledge. Right arrow curving left. Gregory of Tours, L. 2 c. 37, in Tom. 2, page 181, inserts the short but persuasive speech of Clovis. Vald molest Pharaoh, quot hi ariani partem teniant galliarum, the author of the Gesta Francorum, in Tom. 2, p. 
553, adds the precious epithet of optimum, camu cum de agitorio, et, superatus eis, redigamus turam indicinum nostram. Right arrow curving left. Tunc rex progesit a se indirectum by penum suam quat est francisca, etc., gesta francorum in tom. 2, page 554. The form and use of this weapon are clearly described by Procopius, in Tom. 2, page 37. Examples of its national appellation in Latin and French may be found in the glossary of Du Cange, and the large Dictionnaire de Travaux. Right arrow curving left. It is singular enough that some important and authentic facts should be found in a life of Quintianus, composed in rhyme in the old patois of Rurg, Du Bos. Histoire critique de la monarchie Francoise, etc. Tom. 2, page 179. Right arrow curving left. Quamvis fortitudini vestre confident I am tribuit parentum vestrorum innumerabilis multitudo, quamvis atalam potentem reminiscamini visigotherum viribus inclinatum. Tamen quia populorum ferocia corda longa pace molluscunt, cavit subito in alian ali mitra, quos constat tantis temporibus exercitia non habira. Such was the salutary, but fruitless, advice of peace, of reason, and of Theodoric, Cassiodorus, L. 3, Epistola 2. Right arrow curving left. Montesquieu, de l'Esprit de Loix, L. 15 c. 14, mentions and approves the law of the Visigoths, L. 9 tit. 2, in Tom. 4. Page 425, which obliged all masters to arm and send or lead into the field a tenth of their slaves. Right arrow curving left. This mode of divination, by accepting as an omen the first sacred words, which in particular circumstances should be presented to the eye or ear, was derived from the pagans. And the Psalter, or Bible, was substituted to the poems of Homer and Virgil. From the 4th to the 14th century, these sorts sanctorum, as they are styled, were repeatedly condemned by the decrees of councils, and repeatedly practiced by kings, bishops, and saints. See a curious dissertation of the Abbé du Resnel, in the Memoirs de l'Academy, Tom. 19, pages 287, 310. Right arrow curving left. After correcting the text, or excusing the mistake, of Procopius, who places the defeat of Alaric near Carcassonne, we may conclude, from the evidence of Gregory, Fortunatus. And the author of the Gesta Francorum, that the battle was fought in Campo Vocladensi, on the banks of the Clain, about ten miles to the south of Poitiers. Clovis overtook and attacked the Visigoths near Vivonne, and the victory was decided near a village still named Champagne Saint Hilaire. See the dissertation sur l'histoire civile et ecclésiastique de Paris of the Abbé Lebeuf, Tom. I, pages 304, 331. Right arrow curving left. Angoulême is in the road from Poitiers to Bordeaux. And although Gregory delays the siege, I can more readily believe that he confounded the order of history than that Clovis neglected the rules of war. Right arrow curving left. Parinio's Montes usqui perpinianum subjacit, is the expression of Rorico, which betrays his recent date, since Perpigna did not exist before the 10th century, Marca Hispanica, page 458. This florid and fabulous writer, perhaps a monk of Amiens, see the Abbé Lebeuf, Memoirs de l'Academy, Tom. 17, pp. 228, 245, relates, in the allegorical character of a shepherd, the general history of his countrymen the Franks, but his narrative ends with the death of Clovis. Right arrow curving left. The author of the Gesta Francorum positively affirms that Clovis fixed a body of Franks in the Saintonge and Burdelwa, and he is not injudiciously followed by Rorico, Electos Melitas. Atc fortissimos, cum parvulus, atc mulieribus. Yet it should seem that they soon mingled with the Romans of Aquitaine, till Charlemagne introduced a more numerous and powerful colony, Du Bos, Histoire Critique de la Monarchie Francoise, Tom. 2, p. 215, right arrow curving left. In the composition of the Gothic War, I have used the following materials, 
with due regard to their unequal value. For Epistles from Theodoric, King of Italy, Cassiodorus, L. 3 Epistoli 1, 4, in Tom. 4, pages 3, 5, Procopius, De Bello Gothico, L. I C. 12, in Tom. 2, pages 32, 33, Gregory of Tours, L. 2 C. 35, 37, in Tom. 2, pages 181, 183. Jornans, De Rebus Genesis, C. 58, in Tom. 2, page 28, Fortunatas, in Vita S. Hilarii, in Tom. 3, page 380, Isidore, in Chronica Gotham in Tom. 2, page 702. The Epitome of Gregory of Tours, in Tom. 2, page 401, The Author of the Gesta Francorum, in Tom. 2, pages 553, 555, The Fragments of Fredegarius, in Tom. 2, page 463, I Moin, L. I C. 20, in Tom. 3, pages 41, 42, and Rorico, L. 4 in Tom. 3, pages 14, 19. Right arrow curving left. The Fasti of Italy would naturally reject a consul, the enemy of their sovereign. But any ingenious hypothesis that might explain the silence of Constantinople and Egypt, the Chronicle of Marcel Linus, and the Paschal Chronicle, is overturned by the similar silence of Marius. Bishop of Avench, who composed his Fasti in the Kingdom of Burgundy. If the evidence of Gregory of Tours were less weighty and positive, L. 2 c. 38, in Tom. 2 p. 183, I could believe that Clovis, like Odoacer, received the lasting title and honors of Patrician, Pagi, Critica Baroniae, Tom. 2, pages 474, 492. Right arrow curving left. Under the Merovingian kings, Marseille still imported from the East paper, wine, oil, linen, silk, precious stones, spices, etc. The Gauls, or Franks, traded to Syria, and the Syrians were established in Gaul. C. M. de Gaines, Memoirs de l Academy, Tom. XVI, pages 471, 475. Right arrow curving left. Omicron gamma rho pi omicron tau epsilon omicron nu tau omicron gamma alpha lambda lambda alpha xi nu tau sigma phi alpha lambda epsilon kappa epsilon kappa tau sigma theta alpha iota phi rho gamma gamma omicron iota mu tau omicron alpha tau omicron kappa rho tau omicron rho omicron tau rho gamma omicron nu pi iota sigma phi rho alpha gamma sigma alpha nu tau omicron tau omicron tau omicron gamma epsilon. This strong declaration of Procopius, de bello gothico, L. 3 Cap. 33, in Tom. 2, page 41, would almost suffice to justify the Abbe du Boss. Right arrow curving left. The Franks, who probably used the mints of Treves, Lyons, and Alls, imitated the coinage of the Roman emperors of seventy-two solidi, or pieces, to the pound of gold. But as the Franks established only a decuple proportion of gold and silver, Ten shillings will be a sufficient valuation of their solidus of gold. It was the common standard of the barbaric fines, and contained forty denarii, or silver thrippences. Twelve of these denarii made a solidus, or shilling, the twentieth part of the ponderal and numeral lever, or pound of silver, which has been so strangely reduced in modern France. See Francois Leblanc, Traite historique de mon noise de France, pages 36, 43, etc. right arrow curving left. Agathias, in Tom. 2, page 47. Gregory of Tours exhibits a very different picture. Perhaps it would not be easy, within the same historical space, to find more vice and less virtue. We are continually shocked by the union of savage and corrupt manners. Right arrow curving left. M. De Fonsmain has traced, in a correct and elegant dissertation, Memoirs de l Academy, Tom. 8, pages 505, 528, The Extent and Limits of the French Monarchy. Right arrow curving left. 
The Abbé Dubois, Histoire critique de la monarchie Françoise, Tom. I, pages 29, 36, has truly and agreeably represented the slow progress of these studies. And he observes that Gregory of Tours was only once printed before the year 1560. According to the complaint of Henexius, Opera Omnia, Tom. 3, Siloge 3, page 248, etc. Germany received with indifference and contempt the codes of barbaric laws, which were published by Heroldus, Linden Brogius, etc. At present those laws, as far as they relate to Gaul, the history of Gregory of Tours, and all the monuments of the Merovingian race, appear in a pure and perfect state. In the first four volumes of the Historians of France. Right arrow curving left. In the space of, about, M. 30 years, 1728-1765, this interesting subject has been agitated by the free spirit of the Comte de Boulainvilliers, Memoirs Historiques sur l'état de la France, particularly Tom. I. P. P. 1549, The Learned Ingenuity of the Abbé Dubois, Histoire critique de l'établissement de la monarchie Françoise dans les Gaules, three volumes in quarto. The comprehensive genius of the President de Montesquieu, de l'Esprit de Loix, particularly L. Etinii, triple X, XXXI. And the good sense and diligence of the Abbé de Mably, Observations sur l'histoire de France, three volumes duodecimo. Right arrow curving left. I have derived much instruction from two learned works of Hanexius, the history, and the elements, of the Germanic law. In a judicious preface to the elements, he considers, and tries to excuse the defects of that barbarous jurisprudence. Right arrow curving left. Latin appears to have been the original language of the Salic law. It was probably composed in the beginning of the 5th century, before the era, A.D. 421, of the real or fabulous Pharamond. The preface mentions the four cantons which produced the four legislators. And many provinces, Franconia, Saxony, Hanover, Brabant, etc., have claimed them as their own. See an excellent dissertation of Henexius, de Leg Salica, Tom. 3 Siloge 3, pages 247, 267. 9046 right arrow curving left. Egenhard, in Vita Caroli Magni, c. 29, in Tom. v. page 100. By these two laws, most critics understand the Salic and the Repuarian. The former extended from the Carbonarian forest to the lawyer, Tom. 4, page 151, and the latter might be obeyed from the same forest to the Rhine, Tom. 4, page 222. Right arrow curving left. Consult the ancient and modern prefaces of the several codes, in the fourth volume of the Historians of France. The original prologue to the Salic law expresses, though in a foreign dialect, the genuine spirit of the Franks more forcibly than the ten books of Gregory of Tours. Right arrow curving left. The most complete collection of these codes is in the Barbaro Rum Legis Antiqui by Paolo Canciani, 5 volumes folio, Venice, 1781, 9. M. Right arrow curving left. The Ripuarian law declares and defines this indulgence in favor of the plaintiff, Tit. XXXI in Tom. 4, page 240. And the same toleration is understood, or expressed, in all the codes, except that of the Visigoths of Spain. Tanta de versitas legum, says a Gobard in the 9th century, quanta non solum in regionibus, aut civitatibus, said idiom in multis domibus habitor. Nam plurump contingit ut simul int aut sedent quinqua homines, edi nullis irum communum legium cum altero habit, in Tom. 6, page 356. He foolishly proposes to introduce a uniformity of law, as well as of faith. 9047 right arrow curving left. Inter Romanos negotia causarum Romanis legibus precipimus terminari. Such are the words of a general constitution promulgated by Clotaire, the son of Clovis, the sole monarch of the Franks, in Tom. 4, page 116, about the year 560. Right arrow curving left. 
This liberty of choice 9048 has been aptly deduced, de l'esprit de l'oix, l. 18 i 2, from the constitution of Lothair i 9049, legis langobardorum, l. 2 tit. LVI in Codex Legum Antiquorum ex Bibliotheca Linden Brogius, page 664, though the example is too recent and partial. From a various reading in the Salic Law, tit. XLIV note XLV, the Abbe de Mably, Tom. I, pages 290, 293, has conjectured that, at first a barbarian only, and afterwards any man, consequently a Roman, might live according to the law of the Franks. I am sorry to offend this ingenious conjecture by observing that the stricter sense, barbarum, is expressed in the reformed copy of Charlemagne, which is confirmed by the royal and Wolfenbuttel MSS. The looser interpretation, hominem, is authorized only by the MS of Fulda from whence Heroldus published his edition. See the four original texts of the Salic Law, in Tom. 4, pp. 147, 173, 196, 220. Right arrow curving left. In the heroic times of Greece, the guilt of murder was expiated by a pecuniary satisfaction to the family of the deceased, Phetheus, Antiquitates Homericae, L. 2 c. 8. Hanexius, in his preface to the Elements of Germanic Law, favorably suggests that at Rome and Athens homicide was only punished with exile. It is true, but exile was a capital punishment for a citizen of Rome or Athens. Right arrow curving left. This proportion is fixed by the Salic, tit. XLIV in Tom. 4, page 147, and the Repuarian, tit. 7, 11, XXXVI in Tom. 4, pages 237, 241, Laws but the latter does not distinguish any difference of Romans. Yet the orders of the clergy are placed above the Franks themselves, and the Burgundians and Alamanni between the Franks and the Romans. Right arrow curving left. The Antrustians, Ca Entrust Dominica Sunt, Ludi, Fideles, undoubtedly represent the first order of Franks, but it is a question whether their rank was personal or hereditary. The Abbe de Mably, Tom. I. Pages 334, 347, is not displeased to mortify the pride of birth, de l'esprit de l'oix, l, triple x c. 25, by dating the origin of the French nobility from the reign of Clotaire II, a.d. 615. Right arrow curving left. See the Burgundian laws, tit. 2 in Tom. 4, page 257, the Code of the Visigoths, l, 6 tit. V in Tom. 4, page 384, and the constitution of Child Ebert, not of Paris, but most evidently of Austrasia, in Tom. 4, page 112. Their premature severity was sometimes rash, and excessive. Child Ebert condemned not only murderers but robbers, quomodo sign leg involavit, sign leg moriator, and even the negligent judge was involved in the same sentence. The Visigoths abandoned an unsuccessful surgeon to the family of his deceased patient, ut quat de eo facera volurent habiant potestatum, l. 11 tit. i in Tom. 4, page 435. Right arrow curving left. c. In the sixth volume of the works of Hanexius, the Elementa Juris Germanici, l. 2, page 2, number 261, 262, 280, 283. Yet some vestiges of these pecuniary compositions for murder have been traced in Germany as late as the 16th century. Right arrow curving left. The whole subject of the Germanic judges and their jurisdiction is copiously treated by Hanexius, Elementa Juris Germanici, L. 3. Number 1, 72. I cannot find any proof that, under the Merovingian race, the Scabini, or assessors, were chosen by the people. 9050 right arrow curving left. Gregorii Tyrannici, L. 8 c. 9, in Tom. 2, page 316. Montesquieu observes, de l'esprit de l'oix, L. 18 i c. 13, that the Salic law did not admit these negative proofs so universally established in the barbaric codes. 
Yet this obscure concubine, Fredegundes, who became the wife of the grandson of Clovis must have followed the Salic law. Right arrow curving left. Muratori, in the Antiquities of Italy, has given two dissertations, XVI, XXXAX, on the judgments of God. It was expected that fire would not burn the innocent. And that the pure element of water would not allow the guilty to sink into its bosom. Right arrow curving left. Montesquieu, de l'Esprit de Loix, L. Atini IC. 17, has condescended to explain and excuse, la manière de penser de nos pères, on the subject of judicial combats. He follows this strange institution from the age of Gundibald to that of St. Louis. And the philosopher is sometimes lost in the legal antiquarian. Right arrow curving left. In a memorable duel at Aix la Chapelle, AD 820, before the Emperor Louis the Pious, his biographer observes, Secundum legium proprium, ut pot quia uturc gothus erat. Equestri pugna congressus est, vita ludovici pi, c. 33, in Tom. 6, page 103. Ermoldus Nigellus, L. 3543, 628, in Tom. 6, pages 48, 50, who describes the duel, admires the Ars Nova of fighting on horseback, which was unknown to the Franks. Right arrow curving left. In his original edict, published at Lyons, A.D. 501, Gundibald establishes and justifies the use of judicial combat, Legis Burgundianum, tit. XLV in Tom. 2, pages 267, 268. Three hundred years afterwards, Agobard, Bishop of Lyons, solicited Louis the Pious to abolish the law of an Arian tyrant, in Tom. 6, pages 356, 358. He relates the conversation of Gundibald and Avitus. Right arrow curving left. Accident, says Agobard, ut non solemn valentes viribus, said idiom infirmi et senas lassisanter ad pugnam, idiom pro vilissimus rebus. Cabus feralibus certaminibus contingunt homicidia injusta, edi crudels ac perversi eventus judiciarum. Like a prudent rhetorician, he suppresses the legal privilege of hiring champions. Right arrow curving left. Montesquieu, de l'esprit de loix tini ic. 14, who understands why the judicial combat was admitted by the Burgundians, Ripuarians, Alemanni, Bavarians, Lombards, Thuringians, Frisons, and Saxons. Is satisfied, and a Gobard seems to countenance the assertion, that it was not allowed by the Salic law. Yet the same custom, at least in case of treason, is mentioned by Ermoldus Nigellus, L. 3543, in Tom. 6, page 48, and the anonymous biographer of Louis the Pious, c. 46, in Tom. 6, p. 112, as the Mos Antiquus Francorum, More Francis Salito, etc., expressions too general to exclude the noblest of their tribes. Right arrow curving left. Caesar, de Bello Gallico, L. I C. 31, in Tom. I, page 213. Right arrow curving left. The obscure hints of a division of lands occasionally scattered in the laws of the Burgundians, tit. Liv No. 1, 2, in Tom. 4, pages 271, 272, and Visigoths, L, X tit. I, No. 8, 9, 16, in Tom. 4, pages 428, 430, are skillfully explained by the President Montesquieu, de l'Esprit de Loix, L, triple X C, 7, 9. I shall only add that, among the Goths, the division seems to have been ascertained by the judgment of the neighborhood, that the barbarians frequently usurped the remaining third. And that the Romans might recover their right unless they were barred by a prescription of fifty years. Right arrow curving left. Sismondi, Histoire de Francais, Volume 1, p. 197, observes that the Franks were not a conquering people, who had emigrated with their families, like the Goths or Burgundians. The women, the children, the old, had not followed Clovis, 
they remained in their ancient possessions on the Val and the Rhine. The adventurers alone had formed the invading force, and they always considered themselves as an army, not as a colony. Hence their laws retained no traces of the partition of the Roman properties. It is curious to observe the recoil from the national vanity of the French historians of the last century. M. Sismondi compares the position of the Franks with regard to the conquered people with that of the day of Algiers and his corsair troops to the peaceful inhabitants of that province. M. Thierry, Lettre sur l'histoire de France, page 117, with that of the Turks towards the Reyes or Phanariotes, the mass of the Greeks. M. Right arrow curving left. It is singular enough that the President de Montesquieu, de l'Esprit de Loix, L. Triple X C. 7, and the Abbe de Mably, Observation sur l'histoire de France, Tom. I. P. P. 21, 22, agree in this strange supposition of arbitrary and private rapine. The Count de Boulainvilliers, Etat de la France, Tom. I. P. P. 22, 23, shows a strong understanding through a cloud of ignorance and prejudice. 9051 right arrow curving left. See the rustic edict, or rather code, of Charlemagne, which contains seventy distinct and minute regulations of that great monarch, in Tom. V. Pages 652, 657. He requires an account of the horns and skins of the goats, allows his fish to be sold, and carefully directs that the larger villas, Capitanio, shall maintain one hundred hens and thirty geese. And the smaller, Mansion Alesh, fifty hens and twelve geese. Mabillon, de Re Diplomatica, has investigated the names, the number, and the situation of the Merovingian villas. Right arrow curving left. The resumption of benefices at the pleasure of the sovereign, the general theory down to his time, is ably contested by Mr. Hallam, for this resumption some delinquency must be imputed to the vassal. Europe during the Middle Ages, Volume 1, page 162. The reader will be interested by the singular analogies with the beneficial and feudal system of Europe in a remote part of the world, indicated by Colonel. James Todd in his splendid work on Rajasthan, Volume 1 c. i, page 129, etc., m, right arrow curving left. From a passage of the Burgundian Law, Tit. i, number 4, in Tom. 4, p. 257, it is evident that a deserving son might expect to hold the lands which his father had received from the royal bounty of Gundibald. The Burgundians would firmly maintain their privilege, and their example might encourage the beneficiaries of France. Right arrow curving left. The revolutions of the benefices and fiefs are clearly fixed by the Abbé de Mably. His accurate distinction of times gives him a merit to which even Montesquieu is a stranger. Right arrow curving left. See the Salic Law, Tit. LXII in Tom. 4 page 156. The origin and nature of these Salic lands, which in times of ignorance were perfectly understood, now perplex our most learned and sagacious critics. 9052 right arrow curving left. Many of the 206 miracles of St. Martin, Greg Tyrannici in Maxima Bibliotheca Veterum Patrum, Tom. 11, pages 896, 932, were repeatedly performed to punish sacrilege. Audite haec omnes, exclaims the Bishop of Tours, Protestatum Habentis, after relating how some horses ran mad that had been turned into a sacred meadow. Right arrow curving left. Henexius, Elementa Juris Germanici, L. 2, page 1, number 8. Right arrow curving left. Jonas, Bishop of Orleans, A.D. 821, 826. Cave, Historia Literaria, page 443, censures the legal tyranny of the nobles. Pro ferris, quas cura hominum non aluit, said Deus in commune mortalibus ad utendum concessit, paupers a potentioribus spoliantur, flagellantur, ergastulus detrudentur, edi multa alia pediantur. Hoc enim cafaciant, leg mundi se facera just posse contendant. De institution lecorum, L. 2 c. 23, a pud Thomas sin, 
discipline de l'Eglise, Tom. 3, page 1348. Right arrow curving left. On a mere suspicion, Chundo, a chamberlain of Gontram, king of Burgundy, was stoned to death, Gregorii Tyrannici, L. X. C. 10, in Tom. 2, page 369. John of Salisbury, Polycraticus, L. I. C. 4, asserts the rights of nature, and exposes the cruel practice of the twelfth century. C. Henexius, Elementa Juris Germanici, L. 2, page 1, number 51, 57. Right arrow curving left. The custom of enslaving prisoners of war was totally extinguished in the 13th century by the prevailing influence of Christianity. But it might be proved, from frequent passages of Gregory of Tours, etc., that it was practiced without censure under the Merovingian race, and even Grotius himself, de jure belli et paces, l. 3c. 7, as well as his commentator Barbirac, have labored to reconcile it with the laws of nature and reason. Right arrow curving left. The state, professions, etc. of the German, Italian, and Gallic slaves, during the Middle Ages, are explained by Hanexius, Elementa Juris Germanici, L. I know. 28, 47, Muratori, Dissertation 14, 15, Du Cange, Glossarium Latinitatis, Sub Voci, Servi, and the Abbe de Mably, Observation sur l'Histoire de France. Tom. 2, page 3, etc., page 237, etc. Point nine zero five three right arrow curving left. Gregory of Tours, L. 6 C. 45, in Tom. 2, page 289, relates a memorable example, in which Chilperic only abused the private rights of a master. Many families, which belonged to his domus fiscals in the neighborhood of Paris, were forcibly sent away into Spain. Right arrow curving left. Licentium habiatus mihi qualum conc voluoritis disciplinam ponera. Vel venum der, aut quat vobis placurit de me facera. Markelfus formulae, L. 228, in Tom. 4, page 497. The formula of Linden Brogius, page 559, and that of Anjou, page 565, are to the same effect. Gregory of Tours, L. 7 c. 45, in Tom. 2, page 311, speaks of many persons who sold themselves for bread in a great famine. Right arrow curving left. When Caesar saw it, he laughed, Plutarch in parallel lives, Julius Caesar, in Tom. I, page 409. Yet he relates his unsuccessful siege of Jergovia with less frankness than we might expect from a great man to whom victory was familiar. He acknowledges, however, that in one attack he lost forty-six centurions and seven hundred men, de Bello Gallico, L. 6 c. 44, 53, in Tom. I. Pages 270, 272. Right arrow curving left. Audubant se quandum fat res latio dicera, Edi sanguin ab iliaco populos computare, Sidonius Apollinaris, L. 7, Epistola 7, in Tom. I, page 799. I am not informed of the degrees and circumstances of this fabulous pedigree. Right arrow curving left. Either the first or second partition among the sons of Clovis had given Barry to child Ebert, Gregorii Tyrannici, L. 3 c. 12, in Tom. 2, page 192. Valim, said he, Arvernam lemonem, quae tanta jacunditatis gratia refulgera dissider, oculi cernera, L. 3 c. 9, page 191. The face of the country was concealed by a thick fog when the king of Paris made his entry into Clermont. Right arrow curving left. For the description of Auvergne, C. Sidonius, L. 4, Epistola 21, in Tom. I. P. 793, with the notes of Savaron and Sermond, pages 279 and 51 of their respective editions, Bullenvilliers, Etat de la France, Tom. 2, pp. 242, 268, and the Abbe de la Longueru, Description de la France, Part 1, p. 
pages 132, 139. Right arrow curving left. Furarum gentium, quae de ulterior rini amnis part venerant, superar non poterat, Gregorii Turanisi, L. for C. 50, in Tom. 2. p. 229, was the excuse of another king of Austrasia, A.D. 574, for the ravages which his troops committed in the neighborhood of Paris. Right arrow curving left. From the name and situation, the Benedictine editors of Gregory of Tours, in Tom. 2. p. 192, have fixed this fortress at a place named Castel Merliac, two miles from Moriac, in the upper Auvergne. In this description, I translate infra as if I read intra. The two prepositions are perpetually confounded by Gregory or his transcribers, and the sense must always decide. Right arrow curving left. See these revolutions and wars of Auvergne in Gregory of Tours, L. 2 c. 37, in Tom. 2, page 183, and L. 3c. 9, 12, 13, pages 191, 192, de Miraculis S. Giuliani, c. 13, in Tom. 2, page 466. He frequently betrays his extraordinary attention to his native country. Right arrow curving left. The story of Attalus is related by Gregory of Tours, L. 3 c. 16, in Tom. 2, pages 193, 195. His editor, the Pair Ruinart, confounds this Attalus, who was a youth, pure, in the year 532, with a friend of Sidonius of the same name, who was Count of Auten, fifty or sixty years before. Such an error, which cannot be imputed to ignorance, is excused, in some degree, by its own magnitude. Right arrow curving left. This Gregory, the great-grandfather of Gregory of Tours, in Tom. 2, pp. 197, 490, lived 92 years, of which he passed 40 as Count of Auten, and 32 as Bishop of Langres. According to the poet Fortunatus, he displayed equal merit in these different stations. Nobilis antiqua decurrens pro parentum. Nobilier gestus, nunc super astra manae. Arbiter antiferox, dine pius ipsi sacerdos. Quos domuit judex, favit amore patris. Right arrow curving left. As M. De Valois and the Père Ruinart are determined to change the Mosella of the text into Mosa, it becomes me to acquiesce in the alteration. Yet, after some examination of the topography, I could defend the common reading. Right arrow curving left. The parents of Gregory, Gregorius Florentius Georgius, were of noble extraction, natalibus, illustres, and they possessed large estates, latifundia, both in Auvergne and Burgundy. He was born in the year 539, was consecrated Bishop of Tours in 573, and died in 593 or 595, soon after he had terminated his history. See his life by Odo, Abbot of Clugny, in Tom. 2, pp. 129, 135, and a new life in the Memoirs de l'Académie de Inscriptions, Tom. XXV, pages 598, 637. Right arrow curving left. Decident at immo potius perunt ab urbibus Gallicanis liberalium cultura literarum, etc., in prefacio in Tom. 2 p. 137, is the complaint of Gregory himself, which he fully verifies by his own work. His style is equally devoid of elegance and simplicity. In a conspicuous station, he still remained a stranger to his own age and country. And in a prolific work, the five last books contain ten years, he has omitted almost everything that posterity desires to learn. I have tediously acquired, by a painful perusal, the right of pronouncing this unfavorable sentence. Right arrow curving left. The Abbe de Mably, Tom. I. P. 247, 267, has diligently confirmed this opinion of the President de Montesquieu, de l'Esprit de Loix, L. Triple X. C. 13. Right arrow curving left. 
C. Du Bois, Histoire critique de la monarchie Francoise, Tom. 2L, 6C. 9, 10. The French antiquarians establish as a principle that the Romans and barbarians may be distinguished by their names. Their names undoubtedly form a reasonable presumption. Yet in reading Gregory of Tours, I have observed Gandolphus, of Senator Ian, or Roman extraction, L. 6 C. 11, in Tom. 2, page 273, and Claudius, a barbarian, L. 7 C. 29, page 303. Right arrow curving left. Unius Mummelus is repeatedly mentioned by Gregory of Tours, from the 4th, c. 42, page 224, to the 7th, c. 40, page 310, book. The computation by talents is singular enough. But if Gregory attached any meaning to that obsolete word, the treasures of Mummelus must have exceeded 100,000 pounds sterling. Right arrow curving left. C. Fleury, Discours sur l'histoire ecclesiastique 3. Right arrow curving left. The Bishop of Tours himself has recorded the complaint of Chilperic, the grandson of Clovis. Ecce pauper romancet fiscus noster, ecce divitii nostre ad ecclesias sunt translati. Nulli penitus nisi soli episcopi regnant, L. 6 c. 46, in Tom. 2, page 291. Right arrow curving left. See the Repuarian Code, Tit. XXXV in Tom. 4, page 241. The Salic Law does not provide for the safety of the clergy, and we might suppose, on the behalf of the more civilized tribe, that they had not foreseen such an impious act as the murder of a priest. Yet Pretextatus, Archbishop of Rouen, was assassinated by the order of Queen Fredegundes, before the altar. Gregorii Tyrannici, L. 8 c. 31, in Tom. 2, page 326. Right arrow curving left. M. Bonamy, Memoirs de l'Académie de Inscriptions, Tom. Ziv, pp. 582, 670, has ascertained the lingua romana rustica, which, through the medium of the Romance, has gradually been polished into the actual form of the French language. Under the Carlovingian race, the kings and nobles of France still understood the dialect of their German ancestors. Right arrow curving left. Ce beau système a été trouvé dans les bois. Montesquieu, de l'Esprit de Loix, L. 11 c. 6. Right arrow curving left. See the Abbé de Mably, Observation sur l'histoire de France, Tom. I. Pages 34, 56. It should seem that the institution of national assemblies, which are coeval with the French nation, has never been congenial to its temper. Right arrow curving left. Gregory of Tours, L. 8 c. 30, in Tom. 2 pp. 325, 326, relates, with much indifference, the crimes, the reproof, and the apology. Nullus regem matuit, nullus dusum, nullus comitem reveritor. Edsi fortisis aliqui ista displicent, edea, pro longa evitate vitae vestre, emender conator, statum seditio in populo, statum tumultus exorator. Et in tantum unasquis contra seniorem siva intention gracitor, ut vix se credat evadir, si tandem salari nequiverit. Right arrow curving left. This remarkable passage was published in 1779. M. Right arrow curving left. Spain, in these dark ages, has been peculiarly unfortunate. The Franks had a Gregory of Tours, the Saxons, or Angles, a Bede. The Lombards, a Paul Warnfrid, etc. But the history of the Visigoths is contained in the short and imperfect chronicles of Isidore of Seville and John of Beichler. Right arrow curving left. Such are the complaints of Saint Boniface the Apostle of Germany, and the Reformer of Gaul, in Tom. 4, page 94. The fourscore years, which he deplores, of license and corruption would seem to insinuate that the barbarians were admitted into the clergy about the year 660. Right arrow curving left. 
The Acts of the Councils of Toledo are still the most authentic records of the Church and Constitution of Spain. The following passages are particularly important, 317, 18, 475. V2, 5, 8, 6, 11, 14, 17, 18, 7, 1, 13, 2, 3, 6. I have found Moscow, History of the Ancient Germans 1529, and Annotations XXV and XXXI, and Ferreras, Histoire Générale d'Espagne, Tom. 2. Very useful and accurate guides. Right arrow curving left. The Code of the Visigoths, regularly divided into twelve books, has been correctly published by Dom Bouquet, in Tom. 4. Pages 273, 460. It has been treated by the President de Montesquieu, de l'Esprit de Loix, L. 18 I. C. 1, with excessive severity. I dislike the style, I detest the superstition. But I shall presume to think that the civil jurisprudence displays a more civilized and enlightened state of society than that of the Burgundians or even of the Lombards. Right arrow curving left. CST. Gildas, de Exidio et Conquesta Britanniae, c. 11, 25, pages 4, 9, edit. Gale, Nennius, Historia Britannum, c. 28, 35, 65, pages 105, 115, edit. Gale. Bede, Historia Ecclesiastica Gentis Anglorum I c. 12, 16, pages 49, 53, c. 22, page 58, edit. Smith, Chronicon Saxonicum, pages 11, 23, etc., edit. Gibson. The Anglo-Saxon Laws were published by Wilkins, London, 1731, in folio, and the Leges Wallachy, by Watton and Clark, London, 1730, in folio. Right arrow curving left. The laborious Mr. Cart and the ingenious Mr. Whitaker are the two modern writers to whom I am principally indebted. The particular historian of Manchester embraces, under that obscure title, a subject almost as extensive as the general history of England. 9054 right arrow curving left. This invitation, which may derive some countenance from the loose expressions of Gildas and Bede, is framed into a regular story by Wittekind of Corvey. A Saxon monk of the 10th century, C. Lewis Cousin, Histoire de l'Empire d'Occident, Tom. 2, page 356. Rappin, and even Hume, have too freely used this suspicious evidence, without regarding the precise and probable testimony of Nennius, Eteria venerant trace chuli a Germania in exilio pulsi. In cabus errant or et hengist. Right arrow curving left. Nennius imputes to the Saxons the murder of three hundred British chiefs, a crime not unsuitable to their savage manners. But we are not obliged to believe, see Geoffrey of Monmouth, L. 8 c. 9, 12, that Stonehenge is their monument, which the giants had formerly transported from Africa to Ireland, and which was removed to Britain by the order of Ambrosius and the art of Merlin. 9055 right arrow curving left. All these tribes are expressly enumerated by Bede, L. I C. 15, page 52, L. V. C. 9, page 190, and though I have considered Mr. Whitaker's remarks, History of Manchester, Volume 2, pp. 538, 543, I do not perceive the absurdity of supposing that the Frisians, etc. were mingled with the Anglo-Saxons. Right arrow curving left. This term, the heptarchy, must be rejected because an idea is conveyed thereby which is substantially wrong. At no one period were there ever seven kingdoms independent of each other. Palgrave, Volume 1, page 46. Mr. Sharon Turner has the merit of having first confuted the popular notion on this subject. The History of the Anglo-Saxons, Volume 1, page 302. M. Right arrow curving left. Bede has enumerated seven kings, two Saxons, a Jute, and four Angles, who successively acquired in the Heptarchy an indefinite supremacy of power and renown. 
But their reign was the effect, not of law, but of conquest, and he observes, in similar terms, that one of them subdued the Isles of Man and Anglesey. And that another imposed a tribute on the Scots and Picts, Historia Ecclesiastica Gentis Anglorum, L. 2 c. 5, page 83. Right arrow curving left. C. Gildas, De Exidio et Conquesta Britanniae, c. I, page 1, edit. Gale. Right arrow curving left. Mr. Whitaker, History of Manchester, Volume 2, pp. 503, 516, has smartly exposed this glaring absurdity, which had passed unnoticed by the general historians, as they were hastening to more interesting and important events. Right arrow curving left. At Baron Byrig, or Barbary Castle, near Marlborough. The Saxon Chronicle assigns the name and date. Camden, Britannia, Volume 1, page 128, ascertains the place. And Henry of Huntingdon, Rerum Anglicarum Scriptors Post Bidam Precipui, page 314, relates the circumstances of this battle. They are probable and characteristic. And the historians of the 12th century might consult some materials that no longer exist. Right arrow curving left. Cornwall was finally subdued by Athelstan, AD 927, 941, who planted an English colony at Exeter, and confined the Britons beyond the river Tamar. See William of Malmesbury, L. 2, in the Rerum Anglicarum Scriptors Post Bidam Precipui, page 50. The spirit of the Cornish knights was degraded by servitude. And it should seem, from the romance of Sir Tristram, that their cowardice was almost proverbial. Right arrow curving left. The establishment of the Britons in Gaul is proved in the 6th century by Procopius, Gregory of Tours, the Second Council of Tours, A.D. 567. And the least suspicious of their chronicles and lives of saints. The subscription of a bishop of the Britons to the First Council of Tours, A.D. 461, or rather 481, the army of Ryothemus, and the loose declamation of Gildas, Alii Transmarinas Pedibunt Regiones, c. 25, page 8, may countenance an emigration as early as the middle of the 5th century. Beyond that era, the Britons of Armorica can be found only in romance, and I am surprised that Mr. Whitaker, Genuine History of the Britons, pages 214, 221, should so faithfully transcribe the gross ignorance of Cart, whose venial errors he has so rigorously chastised. Right arrow curving left. The antiquities of Britannia, which have been the subject even of political controversy, are illustrated by Hadrian Valesius, Notitia Galliarum, Sub Voci, Britannia Cismarina, pp. 98, 100, M. D. Anvil, Notice de Lancy and Gaul, Corisopity, Curiosolites, Osismii, Verganium, pages 248, 258, 508, 720, and Etatsforms and Europe, pp. 76, 80, Longueru, Description de la France, Tom. I, pages 84, 94, and the Abbe de Vertot, Histoire critique de l'établissement de Bretons dans les Gaules, two volumes in duodecimo, Paris, 1720. I may assume the merit of examining the original evidence which they have produced. Point ninety fifty six right arrow curving left. Bede, who in his chronicle, p. 28, places Ambrosius under the reign of Zeno, A.D. 474, for 91, observes that his parents had been purpura in duty. Which he explains, in his ecclesiastical history, by Regium Nomen et Insignia Ferentibus, L. I. C. 16, page 53. The expression of Nennius, C. 44, page 110, edit. Gale, is still more singular, Unis de Consulibus Gentis Romanicae est Pater Meus. Right arrow curving left. By the unanimous, though doubtful, conjecture of our antiquarians, Ambrosius is confounded with Natanliad. Who, A.D. 508, lost his own life and five thousand of his subjects in a battle against Churdich, the West Saxon, Chronicon Saxonicum, pp. 17, 18. 
right arrow curving left. As I am a stranger to the Welsh bards Merton, Lamarck, 9057 and Taliesin. My faith in the existence and exploits of Arthur principally rests on the simple and circumstantial testimony of Nennius, Historia Britannum, c. 62, 63, page 114. Mr. Whitaker, History of Manchester, Volume 2, pages 31, 71, had framed an interesting, and even probable, narrative of the wars of Arthur. Though it is impossible to allow the reality of the round table. Right arrow curving left. The progress of romance and the state of learning in the Middle Ages are illustrated by Mr. Thomas Wharton, with the taste of a poet and the minute diligence of an antiquarian. I have derived much instruction from the two learned dissertations prefixed to the first volume of his History of English Poetry. 9058 right arrow curving left. Hoc anno, 490, Aella e t chissa obsederant andred sister, edi interfesserant omnes ca id in colorant, adio utne unis brito ibae supersts furet, chronicon saxonicum, p. 15, an expression more dreadful in its simplicity than all the vague and tedious lamentations of the British Jeremiah. Right arrow curving left. Andred Seister, or Anderida, is placed by Camden, Britannia, Volume. I. P. 258, at Newenden, in the marshy grounds of Kent, which might be formerly covered by the sea. And on the edge of the great forest, Anderida, which overspread so large a portion of Hampshire and Sussex. Right arrow curving left. Dr. Johnson affirms that few English words are of British extraction. Mr. Whitaker, who understands the British language, has discovered more than 3,000, and actually produces a long and various catalogue, volume 2, pages 235, 329. It is possible, indeed, that many of these words may have been imported from the Latin or Saxon into the native idiom of Britain. 9059 right arrow curving left. In the beginning of the 7th century, the Franks and the Anglo-Saxons mutually understood each other's language, which was derived from the same Teutonic root, bead, l. I see, 25, p. 60, right arrow curving left. After the first generation of Italian, or Scottish, missionaries, the dignities of the church were filled with Saxon proselytes. Right arrow curving left. Cart's History of England, Volume 1, page 195. He quotes the British historians, but I much fear that Geoffrey of Monmouth, L. 6 c. 15, is his only witness. Right arrow curving left. Bede, Historia Ecclesiastica Gentis Anglorum, L. I C. 15, page 52. The fact is probable and well attested. Yet such was the loose intermixture of the German tribes that we find, in a subsequent period, the law of the Angli in Warini of Germany, Lindenbrogius Codex, pages 479, 486. Right arrow curving left. C. D. R. Robert Henry's Useful and Laborious History of Great Britain, Volume 2, page 388. Right arrow curving left. Quickwood, says John of Tynemouth, inter Tynum et tessum fluvios extidit, sola arami vastitudo tunc temporis fut, etiad circo nalaius dicioni servivit. Eo quat sola indomitorum et silvestrium animalium spelunca et habitatio fut, a pud cart, volume. I, page 195. From Bishop Nicholson, English Historical Library, pp. 65, 98. I understand that fair copies of John of Tynemouth's ample collections are preserved in the libraries of Oxford, Lambeth, etc. Right arrow curving left. See the mission of Wilfred, etc. In Bede, Historia Ecclesiastica Gentis Anglorum, L. for C. 13, 16. Pages 155, 156, 159. Right arrow curving left. From the concurrent testimony of Bede, L. 2 C. 1, page 78, and William of Malmesbury, L. 3 P. 102, it appears that the Anglo Saxons, from the first to the last age, persisted in this unnatural practice. 
Their youths were publicly sold in the market of Rome. Right arrow curving left. According to the laws of Ina, they could not be lawfully sold beyond the seas. Right arrow curving left. The life of a Walus, or Cambricus, Homo, who possessed a hide of land, is fixed at 120 shillings, by the same laws, of Ina, tit. XXXI in Legis anglo saxonicae p. 20, which allowed 200 shillings for a free Saxon, 1,200 for a Thane, see likewise Legis anglo saxonicae page 71. We may observe that these legislators, the West Saxons and Mercians, continued their British conquests after they became Christians. The laws of the four kings of Kent do not condescend to notice the existence of any subject Britons. Right arrow curving left. See Cart's History of England, Volume 1, page 278. Right arrow curving left. At the conclusion of his history, A.D. 731, Bede describes the ecclesiastical state of the island, and censures the implacable, though impotent. Hatred of the Britons against the English nation and the Catholic Church, L. V. C. 23, page 219. Right arrow curving left. Mr. Penance a tour in Wales, pages 426, 449, has furnished me with a curious and interesting account of the Welsh bards. In the year 1568, a session was held at Kerwys by the special command of Queen Elizabeth, and regular degrees in vocal and instrumental music were conferred on fifty-five minstrels. The prize, a silver harp, was adjudged by the Mostyn family. Right arrow curving left. Regio lunge late que diffusa, melita, magus quam credible sit, referta. Partibus equidem in illis miles unis quinquaginta genrat, sortitis mor barbaro dinus aut amplius uxors. This reproach of William of Poitiers, in the Historians of France, Tom. 11, p. 88, is disclaimed by the Benedictine editors. Right arrow curving left. Geraldus Cambrensis confines this gift of bold and ready eloquence to the Romans, the French, and the Britons. The malicious Welshman insinuates that the English taciturnity might possibly be the effect of their servitude under the Normans. Right arrow curving left. The picture of Welsh and Armorican manners is drawn from Geraldus, Descriptio Cambrii, c. 6, 15, Interscriptors Camdini, pp. 886, 891, and the authors quoted by the Abbe de Vertot, Histoire Critique, Tom. 2, pages 259, 266. Right arrow curving left. C. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 4 C. 20, pages 620, 625. The Greek historian is himself so confounded by the wonders which he relates that he weakly attempts to distinguish the islands of Britia and Britain which he has identified by so many inseparable circumstances. Right arrow curving left. Theodebert, grandson of Clovis, and king of Austrasia, was the most powerful and warlike prince of the age. And this remarkable adventure may be placed between the years 534 and 547, the extreme terms of his reign. His sister Thudicildus retired to Sens, where she founded monasteries and distributed alms, see the notes of the Benedictine editors, in Tom. 2, page 216. If we may credit the praises of Fortunatus, L. 6, Carmen 5, in Tom. 2, page 507, Rad Iger was deprived of a most valuable wife. Right arrow curving left. Perhaps she was the sister of one of the princes or chiefs of the Angles, who landed in 527 and the following years between the Humber and the Thames and gradually founded the kingdoms of East Anglia and Mercia. The English writers are ignorant of her name and existence, but Procopius may have suggested to Mr. Rowe the character and situation of Rodogun in the tragedy of the royal convert. Right arrow curving left. In the copious history of Gregory of Tours, we cannot find any traces of hostile or friendly intercourse between France and England, except in the marriage of the daughter of Caribert. King of Paris, Quam regis cugistum in cancha filius matrimonio copulavit, l. 9 c. 26, in Tom. 
2, page 348. The Bishop of Tours ended his history and his life almost immediately before the conversion of Kent. Right arrow curving left. Such are the figurative expressions of Plutarch, Opera, Tom. 2, page 318, edit. Wetchel, to whom, on the faith of his son Lamprias, Fabricius, Bibliotheca Greca, Tom. 3, p. 341, I shall boldly impute the malicious declamation, pi epsilon rho tau omega mu alpha omega nu tau chi eta. The same opinions had prevailed among the Greeks 250 years before Plutarch. And to confute them is the professed intention of Polybius, Historii, L. I, page 90, edit. Jacobus Gronovius, Amstelidami, 1670. Right arrow curving left. See the inestimable remains of the sixth book of Polybius, and many other parts of his general history, particularly a digression in the seventeenth book. In which he compares the phalanx and the legion. Right arrow curving left. Sallust, de bello catalinario et jugurthino, c. 4. Such were the generous professions of P. Scipio and Q. Maximus. The Latin historian had read, and most probably transcribes, Polybius, their contemporary and friend. Right arrow curving left. While Carthage was in flames, Scipio repeated two lines of the Iliad, which expressed the destruction of Troy, acknowledging to Polybius, his friend and preceptor, Polybius in excerpt. De Virtutibus et Vidius, Tom. 2, pages 1455, 1465, that while he recollected the vicissitudes of human affairs, he inwardly applied them to the future calamities of Rome, Appian in Libysis, p. 136, edit. Tallius. Right arrow curving left. See Daniel 2 colon 31, 40. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, forasmuch as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things. The remainder of the prophecy, the mixture of iron and clay, was accomplished, according to St. Jerome, in his own time. Sicut enim in principio nihil Romano imperio fortius et durius, ita in fine rerum nihil imbecilius. Quum et in bella civilibus et adversus diversus nations, alierum gentium barbarum auxilio indigimus, opera, Tom. V, page 572. Right arrow curving left. It might be a curious speculation, how far the purer morals of the genuine and more active Christians may have compensated, in the population of the Roman Empire. For the secession of such numbers into inactive and unproductive celibacy. M. Right arrow curving left. The French and English editors of the genealogical history of the Tartars have subjoined a curious, though imperfect, description of their present state. We might question the independence of the Kalmucks, or Iluths, since they have been recently vanquished by the Chinese, who, in the year 1759, subdued the Lesser Bucaria. And advanced into the country of Badakshan, near the source of the Oxus, memoirs Sir Les Chinois, Tom. I, pages 325, 400. But these conquests are precarious, nor will I venture to ensure the safety of the Chinese Empire. Right arrow curving left. The prudent reader will determine how far this general proposition is weakened by the revolt of the Isaurians, the independence of Britain and Armorica, the Moorish tribes. Or the Bugatti of Gaul and Spain, here in chapter 10, here in chapter 31, here in chapter 33, here in chapter 35. Right arrow curving left. America now contains about six millions of European blood and descent, and their numbers, at least in the north, are continually increasing. Whatever may be the changes of their political situation, they must preserve the manners of Europe. And we may reflect with some pleasure that the English language will probably be diffused over an immense and populous continent. Right arrow curving left. On avoid fate venner, for the siege of Turin, 140 pieces de cannon, ADIL est a remarker k chac gro cannon monte reviant a environ 2000 ecus, il y avoid 100,000 boulettes. 106,000 cartouches dune facon, 8300,000 dune otra, 21,000 bombs, 
27,700 grenades, 15,000 sacks a terra, 30,000 instruments pour la pionage, 1,200,000 livres de poudre. Ajoutez à CES munitions, le plomb, le fer, et le fer blanc, les cordages, tout ce que cert aux menaces, le suffer, le salpeter, les autos de tout espèce. Il est certain que les phrases de two CES preparatives de destruction sufferoyant pour fonder et pour faire fleurir la plus nombreuse colony. Voltaire, siècle de Louis XIV, c. xx in his works, Tom. 11, page 391. Right arrow curving left. It would be an easy though tedious task to produce the authorities of poets, philosophers, and historians. I shall therefore content myself with appealing to the decisive and authentic testimony of Diodorus Siculus, Tom. I. L. I. Pages 11, 12, L. 3, page 184, etc., edit. Wesseling. The ichthyophagi, who in his time wandered along the shores of the Red Sea, can only be compared to the natives of New Holland, Dampier's Voyages, Volume 1, pages 464, 469. Fancy or perhaps reason may still suppose an extreme and absolute state of nature far below the level of these savages, who had acquired some arts and instruments. Right arrow curving left. See the learned and rational work of the President Gogut, de l'Origine de l'Oix, de Arts et de Sciences. He traces from facts or conjectures, Tom. I. Pages 147, 337, Edit. Duodecimo, the first and most difficult steps of human invention. Right arrow curving left. It is certain, however strange, that many nations have been ignorant of the use of fire. Even the ingenious natives of Odahite, who are destitute of metals, have not invented any earthen vessels capable of sustaining the action of fire and of communicating the heat to the liquids which they contain. Right arrow curving left. Plutarch, Questions Romani, in Tom. 2, page 275. Macrobius, Saturnalia, L. I C 8, page 152, edit. London. The arrival of Saturn, of his religious worship, in a ship may indicate that the savage coast of Latium was first discovered and civilized by the Phoenicians. Right arrow curving left. In the ninth and tenth books of the Odyssey, Homer has embellished the tales of fearful and credulous sailors who transformed the cannibals of Italy and Sicily into monstrous giants. Right arrow curving left. The merit of discovery has too often been stained with avarice, cruelty, and fanaticism, and the intercourse of nations has produced the communication of disease and prejudice. A singular exception is due to the virtue of our own times and country. The five great voyages successively undertaken by the command of His present Majesty were inspired by the pure and generous love of science and of mankind. The same prince, adapting his benefactions to the different stages of society, has founded his school of painting in his capital, and has introduced into the islands of the South Sea the vegetables and animals most useful to human life. Right arrow curving left. Jornans, de Rebus Genesis, c. 13, 14, pages 629, 630, edit. Grotius, has drawn the pedigree of Theodoric from Gapt, one of the onces or demigods who lived about the time of Domitian. Cassiodorus, the first who celebrates the royal race of the Amali, Variarum 85, 925, x2, 11 1, reckons the grandson of Theodoric as the seventeenth in descent. Peringskiold, the Swedish commentator of Cuclius, Vita Theodorici, page 271, etc., Stockholm, 1699, labors to connect this genealogy with the legends or traditions of his native country. 9060 right arrow curving left. More correctly, on the banks of the Lake Pelso, Musidler Sea, near Carnuntum, almost on the same spot where Marcus Antoninus composed his meditations, Jornans, c. 52, page 659. Severini, Pannonia Veterum Monumentis Illustrata, page 22, Celerius, Geographia Antiqua, Tom. I, page 350. Right arrow curving left. 
the date of Theodoric's birth is not accurately determined. We can hardly err, observes Manso, in placing it between the years 453 and 456. Manso, Gestic de Ostgothischen Reichs, page 14. M. Right arrow curving left. The four first letters of his name, Phi Epsilon Omicron Delta, were inscribed on a gold plate, and, when it was fixed on the paper. The king drew his pen through the intervals, Anonymous Valesianus ad Calcum Ammianus Marcellinus, p. 722, this authentic fact, with the testimony of Procopius, or at least of the contemporary Goths, de Bello Gothico, l. I c. 2, p. 311, far outweighs the vague praises of Enodius, sermoned, opera varia, tom. I, page 1596, and Theophanes, chronographia, page 112. 9061 right arrow curving left. Statura est quae resignet proseritate regnantem, Enodius, page 1614. The Bishop of Pavia, I mean the ecclesiastic who wished to be a bishop, then proceeds to celebrate the complexion, eyes, hands, etc., of his sovereign. Right arrow curving left. The state of the Ostrogoths in the first years of Theodoric are found in Jornans, c. 52, 56, pages 689, 696, and Malchus, excerpt a legationum, pp. 78, 80, who erroneously styles him the son of Wallamir. Right arrow curving left. Theophanes, p. 111, inserts a copy of her sacred letters to the provinces, Sigma tau epsilon tau iota beta alpha sigma lambda epsilon iota omicron nu mu tau epsilon rho nu sigma tau iota. Kappa Alpha Tau Iota Pyro Omicron Epsilon Chi Epsilon Iota Rho Eta Sigma Mu Epsilon Theta Alpha Beta Alpha Sigma Iota Lambda Alpha Tau Rho Alpha Sigma Kappa Alpha Lambda Lambda Iota Sigma Alpha Omicron Nu, etc. Such female pretensions would have astonished the slaves of the first Caesars. Right arrow curving left. Here and following in chapter 36. Right arrow curving left. Suedos, Tom. I. Pages 332, 333, edit. Custer. Right arrow curving left. Jonas Lydus accuses Zeno of timidity, or, rather, of cowardice, he purchased an ignominious peace from the enemies of the empire, whom he dared not meet in battle. And employed his whole time at home in confiscations and executions. Lydus, De Magistratibus 345, page 230. M. Right arrow curving left. Named Illus, M. Right arrow curving left. The contemporary histories of Malchus and Candidus are lost, but some extracts or fragments have been saved by Photius, LXXVII, LXXAX, pp. 100, 102, Constantine Porphyrogenitus, excerpt a legationum, pages 78, 97, and in various articles of the lexicon of Suedos. The Chronicle of Marcel Linus, Imago Historii, are originals for the reigns of Zeno and Anastasius. And I must acknowledge, almost for the last time, my obligations to the large and accurate collections of Tillamont, Histoire de Empereurs, Tom. 6, pages 472, 652. Right arrow curving left. The Panegyric of Procopius of Gaza, edited by Jean-Baptiste Gaspard d'Anci de Villoisen in his Anecdota Greca, and reprinted in the new edition of the Byzantine Historians by Niebuhr. In the same volume. With Dexippus and Eunapius, 8, pages 488, 516, was unknown to Gibbon. It is vague and pedantic, and contains few facts. The same criticism will apply to the poetical panegyric of Prussian, edited from the M.S. of Bob Bio by Angelo Mai. Prishan, the grammarian, Niebuhr argues from this work, must have been born in the African, not in either of the Asiatic Caesareas. Prefacio, page 11. M. Right arrow curving left. In Ipsis Congressionis tui foribus sesit invasor, cum profugo per te sceptra rhetorenter de salute dubitanti. Enodius then proceeds, pages 1596, 1597, Tom. I sermoned, 
to transport his hero, on a flying dragon, into Ethiopia, beyond the Tropic of Cancer. The evidence of the Valesian fragment, p. 717, Liberatus, Breviarium Causi Nestorianorum et Eutychianorum, c. 25, page 118, and Theophanes, page 112, is more sober and rational. Right arrow curving left. This cruel practice is specially imputed to the Triarian Goths, less barbarous, as it should seem, than the Wallamirs. But the son of Theodomir is charged with the ruin of many Roman cities, Malchus, Excerpta Legationum, page 95. Right arrow curving left. Jornans, c. 56, 57, p. 696, displays the services of Theodoric, confesses his rewards, but dissembles his revolt, of which such curious details have been preserved by Malchus, Excerpta Legationum, pages 78, 97. Marcellinus, a domestic of Justinian, under whose fourth consulship, A.D. 534, he composed his chronicle, Scaliger, Thesaurus Temporum, Pars 2, pp. 34, 57, betrays his prejudice and passion, in Grecium de Bacantum. Zanoni's Munificentia Pim Picatus, Beneficius Nunquam Satiatus, etc. Right arrow curving left. Gibbon has omitted much of the complicated intrigues of the Byzantine court with the two Theodorics. The weak emperor attempted to play them one against the other, and was himself in turn insulted, and the empire ravaged, by both. The details of the successive alliance and revolt, of hostility and of union, between the two Gothic chieftains, to dictate terms to the emperor, may be found in Malchus. M. Right arrow curving left. As he was riding in his own camp, an unruly horse threw him against the point of a spear which hung before a tent, or was fixed on a wagon, Marcellinus in Chronicon, Evagrius, L. 3 c. 25, right arrow curving left. C. Malchus, page 91, and Evagrius, L. 3 c. 35. Right arrow curving left. Malchus, page 85. In a single action, which was decided by the skill and discipline of Sabinian, Theodoric could lose five thousand men. Right arrow curving left. Jornans, c. 57, pages 696, 697, has abridged the great history of Cassiodorus. C. Compare, and reconcile Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I C. 1. The Valesian Fragment, p. 718, Theophanes, page 113, and Marcellinus, in Chronicon. Right arrow curving left. Theodoric's march is supplied and illustrated by Enodius, pp. 1598, 1602, when the bombast of the oration is translated into the language of common sense. Right arrow curving left. Tot Regis, etc., Enodius, page 1602. We must recollect how much the royal title was multiplied and degraded, and that the mercenaries of Italy were the fragments of many tribes and nations. Right arrow curving left. See Enodius, pages 1603-1604. Since the orator, in the king's presence, could mention and praise his mother, we may conclude that the magnanimity of Theodoric was not hurt by the vulgar reproaches of concubine and bastard. 9062 right arrow curving left. This anecdote is related on the modern but respectable authority of Sigonius, Opera Omnia, Tom. I, page 580, Historiarum de Occidentali Imperio, L. 15 His words are curious, would you return, etc. She presented and almost displayed the original recess.9063 right arrow curving left. Historia Micella, L. 15, A Roman History from Janus to the 9th Century, An Epitome of Eutropius, Paulus Diaconus, and Theophanes, which Muratori has published from a M.S. In the Ambrosian Library, Rerum Italicarum Scriptors, Tom. I, page 100, right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I.C. 1, approves himself an impartial skeptic, 
Phi Alpha Sigma Iota, Delta Omicron Lambda Epsilon Rho Tau Rho Pi Kappa Tau Epsilon Iota Nu Epsilon. Cassiodorus, in Chronicon, and Enodius, page 1604, are loyal and credulous, and the testimony of the Valesian Fragment, page 718, may justify their belief. Marcellinus spits the venom of a Greek subject, perjurious electus, interfectus guest, in Chronicon. Right arrow curving left. The sonorous and servile oration of Enodius was pronounced at Milan or Ravenna in the years 507 or 508, sermoned, Tom. I, page 1615. Two or three years afterwards, the orator was rewarded with the bishopric of Pavia, which he held till his death in the year 521, de Pan, Bibliothèque Ecclesiastique, Tom. V, pages 11, 14. See Christophori Saxiae, Onomastican Literarium, Tom. 2, page 12. Right arrow curving left. Our best materials are occasional hints from Procopius and the Valesian Fragment, which was discovered by Sermond, and is published at the end of Ammianus Marcellinus. The author's name is unknown, and his style is barbarous, but in his various facts he exhibits the knowledge, without the passions, of a contemporary. The President Montesquieu had formed the plan of a history of Theodoric, which at a distance might appear a rich and interesting subject. Right arrow curving left. The best edition of the Variarum Libri 12 is that of Johann Garetius, Rotomagi, 1679, in Opera Omnia Cassiodorus, two volumes in folio. But they deserved and required such an editor as the Marquis Scipio Maffei, who thought of publishing them at Verona. The Barbara Eleganza, as it is ingeniously named by Tiraboski, is never simple, and seldom perspicuous. Right arrow curving left. Compare here in Chapter 36, Manso observes that this division was conducted not in a violent and irregular, but in a legal and orderly, manner. The barbarian, who could not show a title of grant from the officers of Theodoric appointed for the purpose, or a prescriptive right of thirty years. In case he had obtained the property before the Ostrogothic conquest, was ejected from the estate. He conceives that estates too small to bear division paid a third of their produce, Gestic de Ostgothischen Reichs, page 82, m, right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, l. I c. I, Variarum 2. Maffei, Verona Illustrata, part 1, page 228, exaggerates the injustice of the Goths, whom he hated as an Italian noble. The plebeian muratori crouches under their oppression. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 3 c. 4, 21. Enodius describes, pages 1612, 1613, the military arts and increasing numbers of the Goths. Right arrow curving left. When Theodoric gave his sister to the king of the Vandals, she sailed for Africa with a guard of one thousand noble Goths, each of whom was attended by five armed followers, Procopius. De Bello Vandalico, L. I C. 8. The Gothic nobility must have been as numerous as brave. Right arrow curving left. Manso, page 100, quotes two passages from Cassiodorus to show that the Goths were not exempt from the fiscal claims. Cassiodorus I 19, 414. M. Right arrow curving left. See the acknowledgement of Gothic liberty, Variarum V 30. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I C. 2. The Roman boys learnt the language, Variarum 821, of the Goths. Their general ignorance is not destroyed by the exceptions of Amalasuntha, a female, who might study without shame, or of Theodatus, whose learning provoked the indignation and contempt of his countrymen. Right arrow curving left. A saying of Theodoric was founded on experience, Romanus miser imitator got hum, ut utilis, dives, Gothus imitator Romanum. See the fragment and notes of Valesius, page 719. Right arrow curving left. The view of the military establishment of the Goths in Italy is collected from the epistles of Cassiodorus, Variarum I 24, 40, 
33, 24, 48, 413, 14, v 26, 27, 83, 4, 25. They are illustrated by the learned Moscow, History of the Ancient Germans, L. 1140, 44, Annotation 14, point 9064 right arrow curving left. See the clearness and vigor of his negotiations in Enodius, p. 1607, and Cassiodorus, Variarum 3 1, 4, 4 13, v 43, 44, who gives the different styles of friendship, counsel, expostulation, etc. right arrow curving left. Even of his table, Variarum 6 9, and Pallas, 7 5. The admiration of strangers is represented as the most rational motive to justify these vain expenses, and to stimulate the diligence of the officers to whom these provinces were entrusted. Right arrow curving left. See the public and private alliances of the Gothic monarch, with the Burgundians, Variarum I 45, 46, with the Franks, 240, with the Thuringians, 4 1, and with the Vandals, V 1. Each of these epistles affords some curious knowledge of the policy and manners of the barbarians. Right arrow curving left. His political system may be observed in Cassiodorus, Variarum 4191, Jornans, c. 58, pages 698, 699, and the Valesian fragment, pages 720, 721. Peace, honorable peace was the constant aim of Theodoric. Right arrow curving left. The curious reader may contemplate the Heroli of Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 2 c. 14, and the patient reader may plunge into the dark and minute researches of M. Du Butte, Histoire Ancients de Pupils de Lerup, Tom. 9, pages 348, 396.9065 right arrow curving left. Variarum 4-2. The spirit and forms of this martial institution are noticed by Cassiodorus. But he seems to have only translated the sentiments of the Gothic king into the language of Roman eloquence. Right arrow curving left. Cassiodorus, who quotes Tacitus to the Estians, the unlettered savages of the Baltic, Variarum v2, describes the amber for which their shores have ever been famous, as the gum of a tree. Hardened by the sun, and purified and wafted by the waves. When that singular substance is analyzed by the chemists, it yields a vegetable oil and a mineral acid. Right arrow curving left. Scansia, or Thule, is described by Jornans, c. 3, pp. 610, 613, and Procopius, de Bello Gothico, l. 2 c. 15. Neither the Goth nor the Greek had visited the country, both had conversed with the natives in their exile at Ravenna or Constantinople. Right arrow curving left. Safarina's Pels. In the time of Jornans they inhabited Swethens, the proper Sweden, but that beautiful race of animals has gradually been driven into the eastern parts of Siberia. See Buffon, Histoire Naturelle, Tom. 13, pages 309, 313, Quarto Edition, Pennant, Synopsis of Quadrupeds, Volume 1, pages 322, 328, Gmelin, Histoire Générale de Voyages, Tom. 18, pages 257, 258. And Pierre Charles Levesque, Histoire de Russie, Tom. V, pages 165, 166, 514, 515, right arrow curving left. In the system or romance of M. Bailey, Lettre sur les sciences et Lettre sur l'Atlantide de Platon, Tom. I, pages 249, 256, Tom. 2, pp. 114, 139, The Phoenix of the Edda, and the annual death and revival of Adonis and Osiris, are the allegorical symbols of the absence and return of the sun in the Arctic regions. This ingenious writer is a worthy disciple of the great Buffon, nor is it easy for the coldest reason to withstand the magic of their philosophy. Right arrow curving left. Alpha tau eta tau epsilon theta omicron upsilon lambda tau alpha iota mu epsilon gamma sigma tau eta tau nu omicron rho tau nu sigma tau iota, says Procopius. 
At present a rude Manichaeism, generous enough, prevails among the Samoyeds in Greenland and in Lapland, Histoir de Voyages, Tom. 18, pages 508, 509, Tom. 19, pages 105, 106, 527, 528. Yet, according to Grotius, Samajudi Selim ac Astra Durant, Numina Hod Aliis in Acquira, Annals et Historiae de Rebus Belgicis, L. 4, p. 338, Folio edition A sentence which Tacitus would not have disowned. Right arrow curving left. See the Histoire Anciens de Pupils de Lerup, Tom. 9, pages 255, 273, 396, 501. The Count du Butte was French minister at the court of Bavaria, a liberal curiosity prompted his inquiries into the antiquities of the country. And that curiosity was the germ of twelve respectable volumes. Right arrow curving left. See the Gothic transactions on the Danube and the Illyricum, in Jornans, c. 58, page 699, Anodius, pages 1607, 1610, Marcelmus, in Chronicon, pages 44, 47, 48. And Cassiodorus, in Chronicon and Variarum 323, 50, 413, 74, 24, 89, 11, 21, 98, 9. Right arrow curving left. I cannot forbear transcribing the liberal and classic style of Count Marcel Linus, Romanus comes domesticorum, Aedi rusticus cum scolariarum cum centumarmatis navibus, totidemc dramonibus. Octo milia militum armatorum secum ferentibus, ad devastanda Italii littora processorunt, ut usqui ad torrentum antiquissimum civitatum aggressi sunt. Remensic mari inhenstam victor I am quam piratico osu Romani ex Romanis repurant, Anastasio Cizari reporterant, in Chronicon, page 48. C. Variarum I 16, 238. Right arrow curving left. See the royal orders and instructions, Variarum 415, v 16, 20. These armed boats should be still smaller than the thousand vessels of Agamemnon at the siege of Troy. Manso, page 121. M. Right arrow curving left. See here and following in chapter 38. Right arrow curving left. Enodius, page 1610, and Cassiodorus, in the royal name, Variarum 241, record his salutary protection of the Alamanni. Right arrow curving left. The Gothic transactions in Gaul and Spain are represented with some perplexity in Cassiodorus, Variarum 332, 38, 41, 43, 44, v. 39, Jornans, c. 58, pp. 698, 699, and Procopius, de Bello Gothico, l. I. C. 12. I will neither hear nor reconcile the long and contradictory arguments of the Abbe du Boss and the Count du Butte about the wars of Burgundy. Right arrow curving left. Theophanes, page 113, right arrow curving left. Procopius affirms that no laws whatsoever were promulgated by Theodoric and the succeeding kings of Italy, de Bello Gothico, L. 2 c. 6. He must mean in the Gothic language. A Latin edict of Theodoric is still extant, in 154 articles. 9066 right arrow curving left. The image of Theodoric is engraved on his coins, his modest successors were satisfied with adding their own name to the head of the reigning emperor, Muratori. Antiquitates Italici Medii Evi, Tom. 2 Dissertation XXVA, pages 577, 579, Giannoni, Historia Civil del Regno di Napoli, Tom. I, page 166. Right arrow curving left. The alliance of the Emperor and the King of Italy are represented by Cassiodorus, Variarum I 1, 2 1, 3, 6 1, and Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L, 2 c, 6, L, 3 c. 21, who celebrate the friendship of Anastasius and Theodoric but the figurative style of compliment was interpreted in a very different sense at Constantinople and Ravenna. 
right arrow curving left. All causes between Roman and Roman were judged by the old Roman courts. The Cums Gotharum judged between Goth and Goth. Between Goths and Romans, without considering which was the plaintiff, the Cums Gotharum, with a Roman jurist as his assessor, making a kind of mixed jurisdiction. But with a natural predominance to the side of the Goth. Savigny, Volume 1, page 290, m, right arrow curving left. To the seventeen provinces of the Notitia, Paul Warnfred the deacon, de gestis langobardorum, l, 2 c. 14, 22, has subjoined an eighteenth, the Apennine, Muratori, rerum italicarum scriptors, tom. i, pages 431, 443. But of these Sardinia and Corsica were possessed by the Vandals, and the two Rishas, as well as the Cotian Alps, seem to have been abandoned to a military government. The state of the four provinces that now form the Kingdom of Naples is labored by Giannoni, Tom. I, pages 172-178, with patriotic diligence. Right arrow curving left. Manso enumerates and develops at some length the following sources of the royal revenue of Theodoric. A domain, either by succession to that of Odoacer, or a part of the third of the lands, was reserved for the royal patrimony. Regalia, including mines, unclaimed estates, treasure trove, and confiscations. Land tax. Orarium, like the Chrysargerum, a tax on certain branches of trade. Grant of monopolies. Siliquaticum, a small tax on the sale of all kinds of commodities. Portoria, customs. Manso, 96, 111. Savigny, I 285, supposes that in many cases the property remained in the original owner, who paid his tertia, a third of the produce, to the crown, volume 1, page 285, m. Right arrow curving left. See the Gothic history of Procopius, L. I C 1, L, 2 C. 6. The Epistles of Cassiodorus, Passim, but especially the fifth and sixth books, which contain the formulae, or patents of offices, and the civil history of Giannoni, Tom. I L 2, 3. The Gothic counts, which he places in every Italian city, are annihilated, however, by Maffei, Verona Illustrata, Part 1 L. 8, page 227. For those of Syracuse and Naples, Variarum 622, 23, were special and temporary commissions. Right arrow curving left. Two Italians of the name of Cassiodorus, the father, Variarum I 24, 40, and the son, 924, 25, were successively employed in the administration of Theodoric. The son was born in the year 479 his various epistles as quaestor, master of the offices, and praetorian prefect extend from 509 to 539, and he lived as a monk about thirty years, Tiraboschi. Storia della letteratura italiana, Tom. 3, pages 7, 24, Fabricius, Bibliotheca Latina Medii et Infamii Tatus, Tom. I, pages 357, 358, edit. Monsi. Right arrow curving left. Cassiodorus was of an ancient and honorable family. His grandfather had distinguished himself in the defense of Sicily against the ravages of Genseric. His father held a high rank at the court of Valentinian III, enjoyed the friendship of Aetius, and was one of the ambassadors sent to arrest the progress of Attila. Cassiodorus himself was first the treasurer of the private expenditure to Odoacer, afterwards, count of the sacred largesses. Yielding with the rest of the Romans to the dominion of Theodoric, he was instrumental in the peaceable submission of Sicily. Was successively governor of his native provinces of Brutium and Lucania, Quester, Magister Palatii, Praetorian Prefect, Patrician, Consul, and Private Secretary, and, in fact, First Minister of the King. He was five times Praetorian Prefect under different sovereigns, the last time in the reign of Vitages. This is the theory of Manso, which is not unencumbered with difficulties. M. 
Butte had supposed that it was the father of Cassiodorus who held the office first named. Compare Manso, page 85, etc., and Bailage 7. It certainly appears improbable that Cassiodorus should have been count of the sacred largesses at twenty years old. M. Right arrow curving left. See his regard for the Senate in Cocleus, Vita Theodorus I 8, pp. 72, 80. Right arrow curving left. No more than 120,000 modii, or 4,000 quarters, anonymous Valesianus, page 721, and Variarum I 35, 618. 11, 5, 39. Right arrow curving left. See his regard and indulgence for the spectacles of the circus, the amphitheatre, and the theatre, in the chronicle and epistles of Cassiodorus, Variarum I 20, 27, 30, 32, 351, 451. Illustrated by the fourteenth annotation of Masca's history, who has contrived to sprinkle the subject with ostentatious though agreeable learning. Right arrow curving left. Anonymous Valesianus, page 721. Marius of Entesensis in Chronicon. In the scale of public and personal merit, the Gothic conqueror is at least as much above Valentinian, as he may seem inferior to Trajan. Right arrow curving left. Vita Fulgentiae in Baronius, Annals Ecclesiasticae, AD 500, No. 10. Right arrow curving left. Cassiodorus describes in his pompous style the Forum of Trajan, Variarum 7-6, the Theatre of Marcellus, 451, and the Amphitheatre of Titus, v. 42. And his descriptions are not unworthy of the reader's perusal. According to the modern prices, the Abbe Barthelemy computes that the brickwork and masonry of the Colosseum would now cost twenty millions of French livres, memoirs de l'Académie de Inscriptions. Tom. Atenii, pages 585, 586. How small a part of that stupendous fabric! Right arrow curving left. For the aqueducts and cloacae, see Strabo, L. V. P. 360, Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historiae XXXVI 24, Cassiodorus, Variarum 330, 31, 66, Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I. C. 19, and Nardini, Roma Antica pages 514, 522. How such works could be executed by a king of Rome is yet a problem. Point ninety sixty seven right arrow curving left. For the Gothic care of the buildings and statues, see Cassiodorus, Variarum I 21, 25, 234, 430. 7 6, 13, 15, and the Valesian fragment, page 721. Right arrow curving left. Variarum 715. These horses of Monte Cavallo had been transported from Alexandria to the Baths of Constantine, Nardini, page 188. Their sculpture is disdained by the Abbe du Bos, Reflections Critique sur la Poésie et sur la Peinture, Tom. I section 39, and admired by Johann Joachim Winkelmann, Histoire de l'Art et l'Antiquite, Tom. 2, page 159. Right arrow curving left. Variarum X10. They were probably a fragment of some triumphal car, Cuper, de Elephantis 210. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 4c. 21, relates a foolish story of Myron's cow, which is celebrated by the falsehood of 36 Greek epigrams, Anthologia Graeca, L. 4, pages 302, 306, edit. Henricus Stephanus. Ausonius, Epigrammata 13, LXVAI. Right arrow curving left. See an epigram of Enodius, 2 3, pages 1893, 1894, on this garden and the royal gardener. Right arrow curving left. His affection for that city is proved by the epithet of Verona Tua, and the legend of the hero, under the barbarous name of Dietrich of Bern. Peringskiold ad Cocleum, p. 240, Maffei traces him with knowledge and pleasure in his native country, L. 9, pages 230, 236. Right arrow curving left. 
C. Maffe, Verona Illustrata, Part 1, pages 231, 232, 308, etc. He imputes Gothic architecture, like the corruption of language, writing, etc., not to the barbarians, but to the Italians themselves. Compare his sentiments with those of Tiraboski, Tom. 3. Page 61, point 9068 right arrow curving left. The villas, climate, and landscape of Bai, Variarum 96, C. Clavirius, Italia Antiqua, L. for C. 2, page 1119, etc. Istria, Variarum 1222, 26, and Comum, Variarum 1114, compare with Pliny the Younger's two villas, 97, are agreeably painted in the epistles of Cassiodorus. Right arrow curving left. In Liguria Numerosa Agricolorum Progenies, Enodius, pages 1678, 1680. Saint Epiphanius of Pavia redeemed by prayer or ransom 6,000 captives from the Burgundians of Lyons and Savoy. Such deeds are the best of miracles. Right arrow curving left. The political economy of Theodoric, see Anonymous Valesianus, p. 721, and Cassiodorus, in Chronicon, may be distinctly traced under the following heads, Iron Mine, Variarum 323, Gold Mine, 93, Pomptine Marshes, 232, 33, Spoleto, 221, Corn, I-34. X-27, 28, 11, 11, 12, Trade, 6, 7, 7, 9, 23, Fair of Lucatho or St. Cyprian in Lucania, 833, Plenty, 124, The Cursus, or Public Post, I-29, 231, 447, V-5, 66, 733. The Flaminian Way, 1218, point 9069 right arrow curving left. LX modii tritici in solidum ipsius tempori furant, e divinum triple x amphoras in solidum, fragment valesius. Corn was distributed from the granaries at 15 or XXV modii for a piece of gold, and the price was still moderate. Right arrow curving left. See the life of St. Caesarius in Baronius, AD 508, number 12, 14. The king presented him with 300 gold solidi, and a discus of silver of the weight of 60 pounds. Right arrow curving left. Enodius in Vita S. Epiphani, in Sermond, Opera Varia, Tom. I, pages 1672-1690. Theodoric bestowed some important favors on this bishop, whom he used as a counselor in peace and war. Right arrow curving left. Devotissimus ACSI Catholicus, Anonymous Valesianus, page 720. Yet his offering was no more than two silver candlesticks, serostrata, of the weight of seventy pounds. Far inferior to the gold and gems of Constantinople and France, Anastasius Bibliothecarius in Divitus Romanorum Pontificum in Hormista, p. 34, edit. Paris. Right arrow curving left. The tolerating system of his reign, Enodius, page 1612, Anonymous Valesianus, page 719, Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I C. 1. L. 2 C. 6, may be studied in the epistles of Cassiodorus, under the following heads, bishops, Variarum I 9, 8 15, 24, 11 23, immunities, I 26, 2 29, 30, church lands, 4 17, 20. Sanctuaries, 2 11, 3 47, church plate, 12 20, discipline, for 44, which prove at the same time that he was the head of the church as well as of the state. 9070 right arrow curving left. We may reject a foolish tale of his beheading a Catholic deacon who turned Arian, Theodorus Lector No. 17. Why is Theodoric surnamed Afer? From Vafer? Valesius Adlock. A light conjecture. Right arrow curving left. Enodius, pages 1621. 1622, 1636, 1638. His libel was approved and registered, synodaliter, by a Roman council, 
Baronius, AD 503, No. 6. Franciscus Pagi in Breviarium Pontificum Romanum, Tom. I, page 242. Right arrow curving left. See Cassiodorus, Variarum 815, 915, 16, Anastasius, in, Simacho, page 31, and the 17th annotation of Moscow. Baronius, Pagi, and most of the Catholic doctors confess, with an angry growl, this Gothic usurpation. Right arrow curving left. He disabled them, a licentia testandi, and all Italy mourned, lamentabili justitio. I wish to believe that these penalties were enacted against the rebels who had violated their oath of allegiance, but the testimony of Anodius, pp. 1675-1678, is the more weighty, as he lived and died under the reign of Theodoric. Right arrow curving left. Enodius, in Vita S. Epiphani, pages 1589-1690. Boethius, De Consolation Philosophiae, L. I prosa 4, pp. 45-47. Respect, but weigh the passions of the saint and the senator, and fortify or alleviate their complaints by the various hints of Cassiodorus, 2-8-436-8-5. Right arrow curving left. Imanium expensarum pondus, pro ipsorum salute, etc., yet these are no more than words. Right arrow curving left. The Jews were settled at Naples, Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I C. 8, at Genoa, Variarum 228, 433, Milan, V 37, Rome, 443. See likewise Basnage, Histoire de Juifs, Tom. 8 c. 7, page 254. Right arrow curving left. See History of the Jews, Volume 3, page 217. M. Right arrow curving left. Rex Avidus Communis Exitiae, etc., Boethius, L. I, page 59 Rex Dolum Romanis Tendebat, Anonymous Valesianus, page 723. These are hard words, they speak the passions of the Italians, and those, I fear, of Theodoric himself. Right arrow curving left. Gibbon should not have omitted the golden words of Theodoric in a letter which he addressed to Justin, that to pretend to a dominion over the conscience is to usurp the prerogative of God. That by the nature of things the power of sovereigns is confined to external government. That they have no right of punishment but over those who disturb the public peace, of which they are the guardians. That the most dangerous heresy is that of a sovereign who separates from himself a part of his subjects because they believe not according to his belief. Compare Lobo, Volume 8, page 68, M. Right arrow curving left. I have labored to extract a rational narrative from the dark, concise, and various hints of the Valesian fragment, pages 722, 724, Theophanes, page 145, Anastasius in Johann, p. 35, and the Historia Micella, page 103, edit. Muratori. A gentle pressure and paraphrase of their words is no violence. Consult likewise Muratori, Annali d'Italia, Tom. 4, pp. 471-478, with the Annals and Breviary, Tom. I, pages 259-263, of the two pages, the uncle and the nephew. Right arrow curving left. Leclerc has composed a critical and philosophical life of Anicius Manlius Severinus Boethius, Bibliotheque Choisy, Tom. 16, pages 168, 275, and both Tiraboski, Tom. 3, and Fabricius, Bibliotheca Latina, may be usefully consulted. The date of his birth may be placed about the year 470, and his death in 524, in a premature old age, De Consolation Philosophiae I, page 5, right arrow curving left. For the age and value of this MS. Now in the Medician Library at Florence, see the Cenotaphia Pisani, pages 430, 447, of Cardinal Norris, right arrow curving left. The Athenian studies of Boethius are doubtful, 
Baronius, AD 510, No. 3. From a spurious tract, De Disciplina Scholarum, and the term of eighteen years is doubtless too long. But the simple fact of a visit to Athens is justified by much internal evidence, Brucker, Historia Critica Philosophiae, Tom. 3. pp. 524, 527, and by an expression, though vague and ambiguous, of his friend Cassiodorus, very era my 45, lunge posidas Athenas in trioisti. Right arrow curving left. Bibliotheci comptos ibor ac vitro 9071 parieties, etc., de consolation philosophiae, l. I prosa v, page 74. The epistles of Anodius, 6 6, 7 13. 8 1, 31, 37, 40, and Cassiodorus, very era my 39, 4 6, 9 21, afford many proofs of the high reputation which he enjoyed in his own times. It is true that the Bishop of Pavia wanted to purchase of him an old house at Milan, and praise might be tendered and accepted in part of payment. Right arrow curving left. Pagi, Miratori, etc. Are agreed that Boethius himself was consul in the year 510, his two sons in 522, and in 487, perhaps, his father. A desire of ascribing the last of these consulships to the philosopher had perplexed the chronology of his life. In his honors, alliances, children, he celebrates his own felicity, his past felicity, page 109, 110, right arrow curving left. See Ego Sissum 2 Nasissus. Boethius adopts this answer, L. I prosa 4, p. 53, of Julius Canus whose philosophic death is described by Seneca, De Tranquillitate Animi, c. 14, right arrow curving left. The characters of his two delators, Basilius, Variarum 2 10, 11. For 22, and Opilio, v. 41, 8 16, are illustrated, not much to their honor, in the epistles of Cassiodorus, which likewise mention Decoratus, v. 31, the worthless colleague of Boethius, L. 3 prosa 4, page 193, right arrow curving left. A severe inquiry was instituted into the crime of magic, variarum 422, 23, 918. And it was believed that many necromancers had escaped by making their jailers mad, for mad I should read drunk. Right arrow curving left. Boethius had composed his own apology, p. 53 perhaps more interesting than his consolation. We must be content with the general view of his honors, principles, persecution, etc., l. I prosa 4, pp. 42, 62, which may be compared with the short and weighty words of the Valesian fragment, page 723. An anonymous writer, Jean Rodolphe Sinner, Catalogus Codicum Mises Bibliotheci Bernensis, Tom. I, page 287, charges him home with honorable and patriotic treason, right arrow curving left. He was executed in Agro Calvinciano, Calvinzano, between Marignano and Pavia, anonymous Valesianus, p. 723, by order of Eusebius, Count of Ticinum or Pavia. This place of confinement is styled the baptistry, an edifice and name peculiar to cathedrals. It is claimed by the perpetual tradition of the Church of Pavia. The Tower of Boethius subsisted till the year 1584, and the draft is yet preserved, Tiraboski, Tom. 3, pages 47, 48. Right arrow curving left. See the Biographia Britannica, Alfred, Tom. I, pages 80, second edition. The work is still more honorable if performed under the learned eye of Alfred by his foreign and domestic doctors. For the reputation of Boethius in the Middle Ages, consult Brucker, Historia Critica Philosophiae, Tom. 3, pages 565, 566. Right arrow curving left. The inscription on his new tomb was composed by the preceptor of Otto III, the learned Pope Sylvester II, who, like Boethius himself, was styled a magician by the ignorance of the times. 
The Catholic martyr had carried his head in his hands a considerable way, Baronius, A.D. 526, No. 17, 18, yet on a similar tale, a lady of my acquaintance once observed, La distance n.y. fate reign. Ilny a k lo remier pa ka kut, 9072 right arrow curving left. Boethius applauds the virtues of his father-in-law, L. I prosa 4, page 59, L, 2 prosa 4, page 118. Procopius, de bello gothico, L. I see. 1. The Valesian Fragment, page 724, and the Historia Micella, L, 15, page 105, agree in praising the superior innocence or sanctity of Symmachus. And in the estimation of the legend, the guilt of his murder is equal to the imprisonment of a pope. Right arrow curving left. In the fanciful eloquence of Cassiodorus, the variety of sea and river fish are an evidence of extensive dominion. And those of the Rhine, of Sicily, and of the Danube were served on the table of Theodoric, Variarum 1214. The monstrous turbot of Domitian, Juvenal, Satires 339, had been caught on the shores of the Adriatic. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de bello gothico, L. I C. 1. But he might have informed us whether he had received this curious anecdote from common report or from the mouth of the royal physician. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de bello gothico, L. I C. 1, 2, 12, 13. This partition had been directed by Theodoric, though it was not executed till after his death, Regni Hereditatum Superst's Reliquit, Isidorus, Chronicon, page 721, edit. Grotius. Right arrow curving left. Berimund, the third in descent from Hermann Rick, king of the Ostrogoths, had retired into Spain, where he lived and died in obscurity, Jornans, c. 33, page 202, edit. Muratori. See the discovery, nuptials, and death of his grandson Eutheric, c. 58, page 220. His Roman games might render him popular, Cassiodorus in Chronicon, but Eutheric was Asper in Religione, Anonymous Valesianus, pages 722, 723. Right arrow curving left. See the counsels of Theodoric, and the professions of his successor, in Procopius, de bello gothico, l. I c. 1, 2, Jornans, c. 59, pages 220, 221, and Cassiodorus, Variarum 8 1, 7. These epistles are the triumph of his ministerial eloquence. Right arrow curving left. Anonymous Valesianus, page 724. Agnellus, Vitae Pontificum Ravenanatum in Muratori, Rerum Italicarum Scriptors, Tom. 2 Pars I, p. 67, Alberti, Discrizion d'Italia, p. 311.9073 Right arrow curving left. This legend is related by Gregory I, Dialogues 430, and approved by Baronius, A.D. 526, No. 28. And both the Pope and Cardinal are grave doctors, sufficient to establish a probable opinion. Right arrow curving left. Theodoric himself, or rather Cassiodorus, had described in tragic strains the volcanoes of Lipari, Clavirius, Sicilii Antiqui, pages 406, 410, and Vesuvius, 450. Right arrow curving left. There is some difficulty in the date of his birth, Joannes Petri de Ludwig in Vita Justiniani, page 125. None in the place, the district Badiriana the village Torigium, which he afterwards decorated with his name and splendor, D'Anvil, Histoire de l'Academy, Tom. XXXI, pages 287, 292. Right arrow curving left. The names of these Dardanian peasants are Gothic, and almost English, Justinian is a translation of Aprada, upright. His father Sebatius, in Greco-Barbarous language Stipes, was styled in his village Istoc, Stock, his mother Byglanisa was softened into Vigilantia. Right arrow curving left. Ludwig, pp. 127, 135, 
attempts to justify the initial name of Justinian and Theodora, and to connect them with a family from which the House of Austria has been derived. Right arrow curving left. See the anecdotes of Procopius, c. 6, with the notes of Nicholas Alamanus. The satirist would not have sunk, in the vague and decent appellation of Gamma Epsilon Omega Rho Gamma, the Beta Omicron Kappa Omicron Lambda Omicron and Sigma Upsilon Phi Omicron Rho Beta of Zonaras. Yet why are those names disgraceful? And what German baron would not be proud to descend from the Eumius of the Odyssey, 9074 right arrow curving left. St. Martin questions the fact in both cases. The ignorance of Justin rests on the secret history of Procopius. St. Martin's Notes on Lebeau, Volume 8, Page 8, M, right arrow curving left. His virtues are praised by Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I C. 11. The quester Proclus was the friend of Justinian, and the enemy of every other adoption. Right arrow curving left. Manichaean signifies Eutychian. Here the furious acclamations of Constantinople and Tyre, the former no more than six days after the decease of Anastasius. They produced, the latter applauded, the eunuch's death, Baronius, A.D. 518, p. 2 No. 15. Fleury, Histoire Ecclesiastique, Tom. 7, pages 200, 205, from the Councils, Tom. V, pages 182, 207. Right arrow curving left. His power, character, and intentions are perfectly explained by the Count du Butte, Tom. 9, pages 54, 81. He was great grandson of Aspar, hereditary prince in the Lesser Scythia, and Count of the Gothic Federati of Thrace. The Bessi, whom he could influence, are the minor Goths of Jornans, c. 51. Right arrow curving left. Justiniani Patriciae faction dissider interfectus fuis, Victor Tunyonensis, Chronicon in Thesaurus Temporum, Scaliger, Pars 2, page 7. Procopius, Anecdota, c. 7, styles him a tyrant, but acknowledges the delta epsilon lambda phi omicron pi iota sigma tau alpha, which is well explained by Alamanus. Right arrow curving left. In his earliest youth, plain adolescence, he had passed some time as a hostage with Theodoric. For this curious fact, Alamanus, ad Procopius, Anecdota, c. 9, page 34, of the first edition, quotes a M.S. History of Justinian, by his preceptor Theophilus. Ludwig, p. 143, wishes to make him a soldier. Right arrow curving left. The ecclesiastical history of Justinian will be shown hereafter. See Baronius, A.D. 518, 521, and the copious article, Justinianas, in the index to the seventh volume of his Annals. Right arrow curving left. The reign of the elder Justin may be found in the three chronicles of Marcel Linus, Victor, and John Malala's, Tom. 2, pages 130, 150, the last of whom, in spite of Hodi, prolegomena no. 14, 39, edit. Oxonii, lived soon after Justinian, Jordan's Remarks on Ecclesiastical History, Volume 4, page 383 in the Ecclesiastical History of Evagrius, L. 4 c. 1, 3, 9, and the Excerpta of Theodorus Lector, No. 37, and in Cedrinus, pages 362, 366, and Zonaras, L. 14, pages 58, 61, who may pass for an original. 9075 right arrow curving left. See the characters of Procopius and Agathias in La Mothe Le Veyer, Tom. 8, pages 144, 174, Vossius, De Historicis Grisus, L, 2 c, 22, and Fabricius, Bibliotheca Greca, L, V, c. 5, Tom. 6, pages 248, 278. Their religion, an honorable problem, betrays occasional conformity, with a secret attachment to paganism and philosophy. Right arrow curving left. In the seven first books, two Persic, two Vandalic, and three Gothic, 
Procopius has borrowed from Appian the division of provinces and wars, the eighth book. Though it bears the name of Gothic, is a miscellaneous and general supplement down to the spring of the year 553, from whence it is continued by Agathias till 559, page I, Critica Baroniae, AD 579. No. 5. Right arrow curving left. The literary fate of Procopius has been somewhat unlucky. His book De Bello Gothico were stolen by Leonard R. Tin, and published, Fulginii, 1470, Venetius, 1471, Apud Jansen. Matire, Annals Typographici, Tom. I edit. Posterior, pages 290, 304, 279, 299, in his own name, C. Vossius, De Historicis Latinis, L. 3 C. 5, and the feeble defense of the Venice Journal de Letterati, Tom. 19, page 207. His works were mutilated by the first Latin translators, Christopher Persona, Journal, Tom. 19, pp. 340, 348, and Raphael de Volaterra, Hute, De Claris Interpretibus, page 166, who did not even consult the MS of the Vatican Library, of which they were prefects, Alemannus in Prefacio Anecdota. The Greek text was not printed till 1607, by Hoeschelius of Augsburg, Dictionnaire de Belle, Tom. 2, page 782. The Paris edition was imperfectly executed by Claude Maltret, a Jesuit of Toulouse, in 1663, far distant from the Louvre Press and the Vatican MS. From which, however, he obtained some supplements. His promised commentaries, etc., have never appeared. The Agathias of Leiden, 1594, has been wisely reprinted by the Paris editor, with the Latin version of Bonaventura Vulcanius, a learned interpreter, Hute, page 176. 9076. Right arrow curving left. Agathias in Prefacio, pages 7, 8, L, 4, page 137. Evagrius, L, 4, C, 12. C. Likewise Photius, Codex LXII, page 65. Right arrow curving left. Caparo Omicron Upsilon Pi Alpha Iota Delta Epsilon Alpha, says he, Prefacio ad loc. De Edificius, Pi Epsilon Rho Kappa Tau Oda Sigma Mu Tau Omega Nu, is no more than Caparo Omicron Upsilon Pi Alpha Iota Delta Iota upon. In these five books, Procopius affects a Christian as well as a courtly style. Right arrow curving left. Procopius discloses himself, prefacio ad anecdota, c. 1, 2, 5, and the anecdotes are reckoned as the ninth book by Suedas, Tom. 3, page 186, edit. Custer. The silence of Evagrius is a poor objection. Baronius, A.D. 548, no. 24, regrets the loss of this secret history, it was then in the Vatican Library, in his own custody, and was first published sixteen years after his death. With the learned but partial notes of Nicholas Alemannus, Lugduni Batavorum, 1623. Right arrow curving left. Justinian Anas, The Perfect Likeness of Domitian, Anecdota, c. 8. Theodora's lovers driven from her bed by rival demons, her marriage foretold with a great demon, a monk saw the prince of the demons, instead of Justinian. On the throne, the servants who watched beheld a face without features, a body walking without a head, etc. etc. Procopius declares his own and his friend's belief in these diabolical stories, c. 12. Right arrow curving left. Montesquieu, consideration sur les causes de la grandeur de Roma et de leur décadence, c. XX, gives credit to these anecdotes, as connected, 1 with the weakness of the empire, and, too, with the instability of Justinian's laws. Right arrow curving left. The anecdota of Procopius, compared with the former works of the same author, appear to me the basest and most disgraceful work in literature. The wars which he has described in the former volumes as glorious or necessary are become unprofitable and wanton massacres. 
The buildings which he celebrated, as raised to the immortal honor of the great emperor and his admirable queen, either as magnificent embellishments of the city, or useful fortifications for the defense of the frontier, are become works of vain prodigality and useless ostentation. I doubt whether Gibbon has made sufficient allowance for the malignity of the anecdota. At all events, the extreme and disgusting profligacy of Theodora's early life rests entirely on this virulent libel. M. Right arrow curving left. For the life and manners of the Empress Theodora see the anecdotes. More especially see, 1, 5, 9, 10, 17, with the learned notes of Alamanus, a reference which is always implied. Right arrow curving left. Camito was afterwards married to Sita's Duke of Armenia, the father perhaps, at least she might be the mother, of the Empress Sophia. Two nephews of Theodora may be the sons of Anastasia, Alamanus, pages 30, 31. Right arrow curving left. Her statute was raised at Constantinople, on a porphyry column. See Procopius, de Edificius, L. I C. 11 who gives her portrait in the Anecdotes, c. 10. Alamanus, page 47, produces one from a mosaic at Ravenna, loaded with pearls and jewels, and yet handsome. Right arrow curving left. A fragment of the Anecdotes, c. 9, somewhat too naked, was suppressed by Alamanus, though extant in the Vatican MS, nor has the defect been supplied in the Paris or Venice editions. La Mothe Le Veyre, Tom. 8, p. 155, gave the first hint of this curious and genuine passage, Jordan's Remarks on Ecclesiastical History, Volume 4, p. 366, which he had received from Rome, and it has been since published in the Menagiana, Tom. 3, pages 254, 259, with a Latin version. Right arrow curving left. After the mention of a narrow girdle, as none could appear stark naked in the theater, Procopius thus proceeds, Nu alpha pi epsilon pi tau omega kappa epsilon tau epsilon nu tau delta phi epsilon iota pi tau alpha kappa epsilon iota tau omicron. Theta tau epsilon delta tau iota nu epsilon, kappa rho iota theta alpha tau pi epsilon rho theta epsilon nu tau nu alpha delta omicron omega nu rho rho iota pi tau omicron nu delta omicron chi nu epsilon. Omicron tau omicron tau omicron pi alpha rho epsilon sigma kappa epsilon upsilon alpha sigma mu nu omicron iota tau gamma chi alpha nu omicron nu tau omicron sigma tau mu alpha sigma iota nu nu theta nu delta epsilon kappa alpha tau mu alpha nu nu epsilon lambda mu epsilon nu omicron iota sigma theta iota omicron nu. I have heard that a learned prelate, now deceased, was fond of quoting this passage in conversation. Right arrow curving left. Theodora surpassed the Crispa of Ausonius, Epigrammata LXXI, who imitated the capitalis luxus of the females of Nola. See Quintilian, De Institution Oratoria 8-6, and Terentius ad Horatius, Sermons, L. I Saturday 2, v. 101. At a memorable supper, thirty slaves waited round the table. Ten young men feasted with Theodora. Her charity was universal. Eti lasata viris, nectum satiata, recessit. Right arrow curving left. Delta kappa kappa tau nu tau rho iota nu tau rho upsilon pi eta mu tau omega nu rho gamma alpha zeta omicron mu nu eta nu epsilon kappa lambda epsilon iota tau phi sigma epsilon iota. Delta Upsilon Sigma Phi Omicron Rho Omicron Mu Epsilon Nu Eta Tau Iota Delta Mu Kappa Alpha Tau Iota Tau Theta Omicron Alpha Tau Epsilon Rho Tau Epsilon Rho Omicron Nu 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 Epsilon Sigma Iota Tau Rho Upsilon Pi Eta Pi Omega Delta Upsilon Nu Alpha Tau Epsilon Eta Kappa Alpha Kappa Epsilon Nu Rho Gamma Zeta Epsilon Sigma Theta Alpha Iota. She wished for a fourth altar, on which she might pour libations to the God of Love. Right arrow curving left. Gibbon should have remembered the axiom which he quotes in another piece, Celera ostendi opertet dum puniantur abscondi flagitia. M. Right arrow curving left. Anonymous de Antiquitates Constantinopolitani, L. 3132 in Banduri, Imperium Oriental, Tom. I. Page 48. Ludwig, Page 154, 
argues sensibly that Theodora would not have immortalized a brothel. But I apply this fact to her second and chaster residence at Constantinople. Right arrow curving left. See the old law in Justinian's Code, L. V. Tit. V. Leg. 7. Tit. XXVI Leg. 1. Under the years 336 and 454. The New Edict, about the year 521 or 522, Alamanus, pages 38, 96, very awkwardly repeals no more than the clause of Mulier's Scenicae, Libertini, Tabernarii. See the novels 89 and 117, and a Greek rescript from Justinian to the bishops, Alamanus, page 41. Right arrow curving left. I swear by the Father, etc. By the Virgin Mary, by the four Gospels, quae in manibus tenio, and by the holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, purum conscientium germanum servitium me servitorum. Sacratissimis ddnn, dominus nostris. Justiniano et theodori conjugi aegis, novella 8, tit. 3. Would the oath have been binding in favor of the widow? Communes titulli et triumphi, etc., Alamanus, pages 47, 48. Right arrow curving left. Let greatness own her, and she's mean no more, etc. Without Warburton's critical telescope, should never have seen, in this general picture of triumphant vice, any personal allusion to Theodora. Right arrow curving left. Her prisons, a labyrinth, a Tartarus, anecdota, c. 4, were under the palace. Darkness is propitious to cruelty, but it is likewise favorable to calumny and fiction. Right arrow curving left. A more jocular whipping was inflicted on Saturninus, for presuming to say that his wife, a favorite of the empress, had not been found tauroeta tau omicron, anecdota, c. 17. Right arrow curving left. Per viventum in secula excoriari te facium. Anastasius, De Vitus Romanorum Pontificum in Vigilio, page 40. Right arrow curving left. Ludwig, pages 161-166. I give him credit for the charitable attempt, although he hath not much charity in his temper. Right arrow curving left. Compare the anecdotes, c. 17, with the edifices, l. I see. 9. How differently may the same fact be stated? John Malala's, Tom. 2, pp. 174, 175, observes that on this or a similar occasion she released and clothed the girls whom she had purchased from the stews at five orii apiece. Right arrow curving left. Novella 8 1. An allusion to Theodora. Her enemies read the name Demonadora, Alamanus. Page 66. Right arrow curving left. St. Sabas refused to pray for a son of Theodora, lest he should prove a heretic worse than Anastasius himself, Cyril in Vita Sabi, a put Alamanus, pages 70, 109. Right arrow curving left. See John Malala's, Tom. 2, p. 174, Theophanes, page 158. Procopius, de Edificius, L. V. C. 3. Right arrow curving left. Theodora Chalcedonensis Synodi Inimica Canceris Plaga Toto Corpori Perfusa Vitam Prodigios Finovit, Victor Tunyonensis in Chronicon. On such occasions, an orthodox mind is steeled against pity. Alamanus, pages 12, 13, understands the Epsilon Sigma Beta Omega Kappa Omicron Iota Mu Theta Eta of Theophanes as civil language, which does not imply either piety or repentance. Yet two years after her death St. Theodora is celebrated by Paul Silentiarius, in Pro M V 58, 62. Right arrow curving left. As she persecuted the popes, and rejected a council, Baronius exhausts the names of Eve, Delilah, Herodias, etc. After which he has recourse to his infernal dictionary, Civis Inferni, Alumna Demonum, Satanico Agitata Spirituestro Persida Diabolico, etc., etc., AD 548, number 24. Right arrow curving left. 
Read and feel the twenty-second book of the Iliad, a living picture of manners, passions, and the whole form and spirit of the chariot race. Gilbert West's Dissertation on the Olympic Games, Sect. 12, 17, affords much curious and authentic information. Right arrow curving left. The four colors, Albati, Rasati, Persini, Venity, represent the four seasons, according to Cassiodorus, Variarum 351, who lavishes much wit and eloquence on this theatrical mystery. Of these colors, the three first may be fairly translated white, red, and green. Venetus is explained by Carolulius, a word various and vague, it is properly the sky reflected in the sea. But custom and convenience may allow blue as an equivalent, Roberti Stephani sub voci Joseph Spence's Polymetus, page 228. Right arrow curving left. C. Anufrius Panvinius, Deludi Circensibus, L. I. C. 10, 11. The seventeenth annotation on Mascus' history of the ancient Germans, and Alemannus ad C. 7. Right arrow curving left. Marcel Linus in Chronicon, page 47. Instead of the vulgar word venata, he uses the more exquisite terms of Carolia and Carialis. Baronius, A.D. 501, number 4, 6, is satisfied that the blues were orthodox. But Tillamont is angry at the supposition, and will not allow any martyrs in a playhouse, Histoire de Emperors, Tom. 6, page 554. Right arrow curving left. C. Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I. C. 24. In describing the vices of the factions and of the government, the public is not more favorable than the secret historian. Alemannus, p. 26, has quoted a fine passage from Gregory Nazianzen, which proves the inveteracy of the evil. Right arrow curving left. The partiality of Justinian for the blues, Anecdota, c. 7, is attested by Evagrius, Historia Ecclesiastica, L. for c. 32, John Malala's, Tom. 2, pages 138, 139, especially for Antioch, and Theophanes, page 142. Right arrow curving left. A wife, says Procopius, who was seized and almost ravished by a blue coat, threw herself into the Bosphorus. The bishops of the second Syria, Alemannus, p. 26, deplore a similar suicide, the guilt or glory of female chastity, and name the heroine. Right arrow curving left. The doubtful credit of Procopius, Anecdota, c. 17, is supported by the less partial Evagrius, who confirms the fact and specifies the names. The tragic fate of the prefect of Constantinople is related by John Malala's, Tom. 2, page 139. Right arrow curving left. See John Malala's, Tom. 2, page 147, yet he owns that Justinian was attached to the blues. The seeming discord of the emperor and Theodora is perhaps viewed with too much jealousy and refinement by Procopius, Anecdota, c. 10. C. Alemannus, Prefacio, page 6. Right arrow curving left. This dialogue, which Theophanes has preserved, exhibits the popular language, as well as the manners, of Constantinople in the 6th century. Their Greek is mingled with many strange and barbarous words, for which Du Kanj cannot always find a meaning or etymology. Right arrow curving left. See this church and monastery in Du Kanj, Constantinopolis Christiana, L. 4, page 182. Right arrow curving left. The history of the Nika sedition is extracted from Marcellinus, in Chronicon, Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I. C. 26, John Malala's, Tom. 2, pages 213, 218, Chronicon Pascale, pp. 336, 340, Theophanes, Chronographia, pages 154, 158, and Zonaras, L. 14, pages 61, 63. Right arrow curving left. Marcel Linus says in general terms, Enumerus populus in circo trucidatus. 
Procopius numbers 30,000 victims, and the 35,000 of Theophanes are swelled to 40,000 by the more recent Zonaras. Such is the usual progress of exaggeration. Right arrow curving left. Hierocles, a contemporary of Justinian, composed his Sigma Upsilon Nu Delta Chimu Omicron, Vetera Romanorum Itineraria, p. 631, or Review of the Eastern Provinces and Cities, before the year 535, Wesseling, in Prefacio and Not. Add page 623, etc. Right arrow curving left. See the Book of Genesis, 1210, and the Administration of Joseph. The annals of the Greeks and Hebrews agree in the early arts and plenty of Egypt, but this antiquity supposes a long series of improvement. And Warburton, who is almost stifled by the Hebrew, calls aloud for the Samaritan chronology, Divine Legation of Moses, Volume 3, page 29, etc. 9077 right arrow curving left. Eight millions of Roman modii, besides a contribution of 80,000 orii for the expenses of water carriage, from which the subject was graciously excused. See the 13th Edict of Justinian. The numbers are checked and verified by the agreement of the Greek and Latin texts. Right arrow curving left. Homer's Iliad 6289. These veils, pi pi lambda omicron iota pi alpha mu pi omicron kappa iota lambda omicron iota, were the work of the Sidonian women. But this passage is more honorable to the manufacturers than to the navigation of Phoenicia, from whence they had been imported to Troy in Phrygian bottoms. Right arrow curving left. See in Ovid, De Arte Amandi 3269, etc., a poetical list of twelve colors borrowed from flowers, the elements, etc. But it is almost impossible to discriminate by words all the nice and various shades both of art and nature. Right arrow curving left. By the discovery of cochineal, etc., we far surpass the colors of antiquity. Their royal purple had a strong smell, and a dark cast as deep as bull's blood, obscured as Rubens, says Cassiodorus, Variarum 1, 2, Nigrido Seguinia. The President Gogut, de l Origin de Loix, de Arts et de Sciences, Part 2L, 2C, 2, pages 184, 215, will amuse and satisfy the reader. I doubt whether his book, especially in England, is as well known as it deserves to be. Right arrow curving left. Historical proofs of this jealousy have been occasionally introduced, and many more might have been added. But the arbitrary acts of despotism were justified by the sober and general declarations of law, Codex Theodosianus, L. X. Tit. 21, Leg. 3, Codex Justinianus, L. 11 Tit. 8, Leg. 5. An inglorious permission, and necessary restriction, was applied to the Mimai, the female dancers, Codex Theodosianus, L. 15 Tit. 7, Leg. 11. Right arrow curving left. In the history of insects, far more wonderful than Ovid's Metamorphoses, the silkworm holds a conspicuous place. The bombyx of the Isle of CEOs, as described by Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historiae 1126, 27, with the notes of the two learned Jesuits, Harduin and Brotier. May be illustrated by a similar species in China, Memoirs sur les Chinois, Tom. 2, pages 575, 598, but our silkworm, as well as the white mulberry tree, were unknown to Theophrastus and Pliny the Elder. Right arrow curving left. The first ancient writer who gives any information respecting the use of silk is Aristotle, Historia Animalium v. c. 19, whose account has been adopted with various modifications by Pliny the Elder, Clemens Alexandrinus, and Basil. Gibbon has fallen into one or two mistakes, he has confounded the island of CEOs, near the coast of Attica, with the island of Kos, off the western coast of Asia Minor, the latter, and not CEOs being celebrated for its transparent garments. And he has without authority supposed that a species of silkworm was bred in this island. But Aristotle, after describing the silkworm of the East, only says, Pamphile, daughter of plates, 
is reported to have first woven in Kos. It is therefore probable that the raw silk from the interior of Asia was brought to Kos, and there manufactured, in the same way, as we learn from Procopius. That it was brought some centuries later to be woven in the Phoenician cities of Tyre and Berytus. See James Yates, Textrinum Antiquorum, page 162, E.D. S. Right arrow curving left. Georgics 2.121. Serica quando venerant in usum planisim non sio, suspicur tamen in juli Caesaris evo, nam anti non invenio, says Justus Lipsius, excursus I ad Tacitus, Annals 232. C. Dion Cassius, L. XLIA, page 358, edit. Raymar, and Pausanias, L. 6, page 519, the first who describes, however strangely, the Seric insect. Right arrow curving left. Tam longinquo orb peditor, ut in publico matrona transluciat, ut denudit foeminas vestis, Pliny the Elder 620, 1121. Varro and Publius Cyrus had already played on the toga vitrea, ventus texilis, and nebula linen, Horatius, Sermons I 2, 101, with the notes of Terentius and Dacier. Right arrow curving left. Gibbon must have written transparent draperies and naked matrons. Though sometimes affected, he is never inaccurate. M. Right arrow curving left. On the texture, colors, names, and use of the silk, half silk, and linen garments of antiquity, see the profound, diffuse, and obscure researches of the great Salmasius, in Historia Augusta. pp. 127, 309, 310, 339, 341, 342, 344, 388, 391, 395, 513, who was ignorant of the most common trades of Dijon or Leiden. Right arrow curving left. Flavius Vipiscus in Aurelian, c. 45, in Historia Augusta, page 224. C. Salmasius ad Historia Augusta, page 392, and Pliniani Exercitations in Salinus, pages 694, 695. The Anecdotes of Procopius, c. 25, state a partial and imperfect rate of the price of silk in the time of Justinian. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Edificius, L. 3 c. 1. These pins de mer are found near Smyrna, Sicily, Corsica, and Menorca, and a pair of gloves of their silk was presented to Pope Benedict the Fourteenth. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I C. 20, L. 2 C. 25. De Bello Gothico, L. 4 C. 17. Menander in Excerpta Legationum, page 107. Of the Parthian or Persian Empire, Isidore of Carex, in Stathmus Parthesis, pp. 7, 8, in Hudson, Geography Greci Minoris, Tom. 2, has marked the roads, and Ammianus Marcellinus, L. Xeic, 6, page 400, has enumerated the provinces. 9078 right arrow curving left. The blind admiration of the Jesuits confounds the different periods of the Chinese history. They are more critically distinguished by M. de Gaines, Histoire de Huns, Tom. I part 1 in the tables, part 2 in the geography, Memoirs de l'Académie de Inscriptions, Tom. XXXA, XXXV, XLII, XLIII, who discovers the gradual progress of the truth of the annals, and the extent of the monarchy, Till the Christian era. He has searched, with a curious eye, the connections of the Chinese with the nations of the West, but these connections are slight, casual, and obscure. Nor did the Romans entertain a suspicion that the Ceres or Sinai possessed an empire not inferior to their own. 9079 right arrow curving left. The roads from China to Persia and Hindostan may be investigated in the relations of Hakluyt and Thevenot, the ambassadors of Sharok, Anthony Jenkinson, the Pear Gruber, etc. See likewise Jonas Hanway's Travels, Volume 1, pages 
357. A communication through Tibet has been lately explored by the English sovereigns of Bengal. Right arrow curving left. For the Chinese navigation to Malacca and Achen, perhaps to Ceylon, see Renaudot, Ancient Accounts of India and China, by two Mohammedan travelers, pages 8, 11, 13, 17, 141, 157. Dampier, Volume 2, page 136, The Histoire Philosophique de Du Inns, Tom. I, page 98, and Histoire Générale de Voyages, Tom. 6, page 201. Right arrow curving left. The knowledge, or rather ignorance, of Strabo, Pliny the Elder, Ptolemy, Arian, Martian, etc. Of the countries eastward of Cape Comorin is finely illustrated by D'Anville, Antiquite Geographique de l'Inde, especially pages 161, 198. Our geography of India is improved by commerce and conquest, and has been illustrated by the excellent maps and memoirs of Major Rennell. If he extends the sphere of his inquiries with the same critical knowledge and sagacity, he will succeed, and may surpass, the first of modern geographers. Right arrow curving left. The Taprobane of Pliny the Elder, 624, Salinus, c. 53, and Salmasius, Pliniani Exercitations, pp. 781, 782, and most of the ancients, who often confound the islands of Ceylon and Sumatra, is more clearly described by Cosmos Indicoplusts. Yet even the Christian topographer has exaggerated its dimensions. His information on the Indian and Chinese trade is rare and curious, L. 2, page 138, L. 11, pages 337, 338, edit. Montfaucon. Right arrow curving left. C. Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. 2 C. 20. Cosmas affords some interesting knowledge of the port and inscription of Adulis, Topographia Christiana, L. 2, pp. 138, 140, 143, and of the trade of the Axumites along the African coast of Barbaria or Zingi, pages 138, 139, and as far as Taprobane, L. 11, page 339. Right arrow curving left. Mr. Salt obtained information of considerable ruins of an ancient town near Zula, called Azuli, which answers to the position of Adulis. Mr. Salt was prevented by illness, Mr. Stewart, whom he sent, by the jealousy of the natives, from investigating these ruins, of their existence there seems no doubt. Salt's Second Journey, page 452. M. Right arrow curving left. See the Christian missions in India, in Cosmos, L. 3, pages 178, 179, L. 11, page 337, and consult Asimani, Bibliotheca Orientalis, Tom. 4, pages 413, 548. Right arrow curving left. The invention, manufacture, and general use of silk in China may be seen in Du Hald, Description de l'Empire de la Chine. Tom. 2, pages 165, 205, 223. The province of Czechian is the most renowned both for quantity and quality. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, L. 8, de Bello Gothico for C. 17, Theophanes of Byzantium Apud Photius, Codex 84, page 38. Zonaras, Tom. 2 L. 14, Page 69. Page I, Tom. 2, page 602, assigns to the year 552 this memorable importation. Menander, in Excerpta Legationum, page 107, mentions the admiration of the Sogdoites. And Theophylact Symacata, L. 7 C. 9, darkly represents the two rival kingdoms in, China, the country of silk. Right arrow curving left. Cosmas, surnamed Indicoplusts, or the Indian Navigator, performed his voyage about the year 522, and composed at Alexandria, between 535 and 547, Christian Topography, Montfaucon. Prefacio c. 
one, in which he refutes the impious opinion that the earth is a globe, and Photius had read this work, Codex XXXVI, pp. 9, 10, which displays the prejudices of a monk, with the knowledge of a merchant. The most valuable part has been given in French and in Greek by Melchisedec Thevenot, Relations de Divers Voyages Curiax, Part 1. And the whole is since published in a splendid edition by Père Montfaucon, Collectio Nova Patrum, Paris, 1707, two volumes. In folio, Tom. 2, pages 113, 346. But the editor, a theologian, might blush at not discovering the Nestorian heresy of Cosmos, which has been detected by Maturin Vassier La Croix, Histoire du Christianisme de Inns, Tom. I, pp. 40, 56. Right arrow curving left. See the character of Anastasius in Jonas Lydus, de Magistratibus, L. 3 c. 45, 46, pages 230, 232. His economy is there said to have degenerated into parsimony. He is accused of having taken away the levying of taxes and payment of the troops from the municipal authorities, the decurionate, in the eastern cities. And entrusted it to an extortionate officer named Munnus. But he admits that the imperial revenue was enormously increased by this measure. A statue of iron had been erected to Anastasius in the Hippodrome, on which appeared one morning this pasquinade. Epsilon iota kappa nu alpha sigma omicron iota, beta alpha sigma iota lambda epsilon kappa omicron sigma mu omicron phi theta rho epsilon, tau nu delta epsilon sigma iota delta rho omicron upsilon. Sigma tau sigma alpha mu epsilon nu. Chi alpha lambda kappa, omicron sigma alpha nu, tau iota mu omicron tau rho alpha nu, pi omicron lambda lambda nu, anth. Nu tau phi nu omicron upsilon, pi epsilon nu eta tau lambda omicron, Lambda iota mu omicron tau epsilon kappa alpha rho gamma. Omicron, anth, pi nu tau alpha phi theta epsilon rho epsilon iota sigma phi iota lambda omicron chi rho eta mu omicron sigma nu eta. Gamma epsilon tau omicron nu alpha delta sigma kappa lambda lambda eta lambda omicron nu nu theta epsilon nu tau omicron chi rho upsilon beta delta iota nu. Gamma rho iota omicron nu mu eta sigma tau nu tau omicron tau omicron nu nu alpha sigma tau sigma iota omicron nu. Delta epsilon sigma iota theta iota kappa alpha omicron, sigma kappa lambda lambda alpha, tau epsilon alpha phi rho epsilon sigma, mu sigma epsilon kappa alpha alpha tau omicron nu. Beta rho zieta, chi alpha lambda kappa epsilon eta upsilon delta alpha mu omicron nu alpha kappa epsilon rho mu alpha tau sigma alpha. This epigram is also found in the anthology Palatina, Jacobs, Volume 4, p. 114, with some better readings. This iron statue meetly do we place. To thee, world-wasting king, than brass more base. For all the death, the penury, famine, woe. That from thy wide destroying avarice flow. This fell Charybdis, Scylla, near to thee. This fierce devouring Anastasius, see. And tremble, Scylla. On thee, too, his greed. Coining thy brazen deity, may feed. But Lydus, with no uncommon inconsistency in such writers, proceeds to paint the character of Anastasius as endowed with almost every virtue, not accepting the utmost liberality. He was only prevented by death from relieving his subjects altogether from the capitation tax, which he greatly diminished. M. Right arrow curving left. Evagrius, L. 3 c. 39, 40, is minute and grateful, but angry with Zosimus for calumniating the great Constantine. In collecting all the bonds and records of the tax, the humanity of Anastasius was diligent and artful. Fathers were sometimes compelled to prostitute their daughters, Zosimus, Historia Nova, L. 2 c. 38, pages 165, 166, Lipsi, 1784. Timotheus of Gaza chose such an event for the subject of a tragedy, Suedos, Tom. 3, page 475, which contributed to the abolition of the tax, Cedrinus, p. 35 a happy instance, if it be true, of the use of the theatre. 
right arrow curving left. See Joshua Stylites, in the Bibliotheca Orientalis of Asimani, Tom. I, page 268. This capitation tax is slightly mentioned in the Chronicle of Edessa. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, Anecdota, c. 19, fixes this sum from the report of the treasurers themselves. Tiberius had Vices Termiles. But far different was his empire from that of Anastasius. Right arrow curving left. Evagrius, L. for c. 30, in the next generation, was moderate and well informed, and Zonaras, L. 14 c. 61, in the 12th century, had read with care, and thought without prejudice, yet their colors are almost as black as those of the anecdotes. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, Anecdota, c. 30, relates the idle conjectures of the times. The death of Justinian, says the secret historian, will expose his wealth or poverty. Right arrow curving left. C. Charippus, De Laudibus Justini Augusti, L. 2260, etc. 384, etc. Plurima sunt vivo nimium a neglecta parenti. Unde tot exhaustus contracts it debita fiscus. Centenaries of gold were brought by strong men into the hippodrome. Debita per solvit, genitoris cauda respit. Right arrow curving left. The anecdotes, c. 11, 14, 18, 20, 30, supply many facts and more complaints. 9080 right arrow curving left. 1 to Scythopolis, capital of the Second Palestine, and 12 for the rest of the province. Alamanus, p. 59, honestly produces this fact from a M.S. Life of St. Sabas, by his disciple Cyril, in the Vatican Library, and since published by Codelirius. Right arrow curving left. John Malala's, Tom. 2, p. 232, mentions the want of bread, and Zonara's, L. 14, page 63, the leaden pipes, which Justinian, or his servants, stole from the aqueducts. Right arrow curving left. Karl Dietrich Hulman, Gestic de Byzantinischen Handels, page 15, shows that the despotism of the government was aggravated by the unchecked rapacity of the officers. This state monopoly, even of corn, wine, and oil, was in force at the time of the First Crusade. M. Right arrow curving left. For an aureus, one sixth of an ounce of gold, instead of two hundred and ten, he gave no more than one hundred and eighty falls, or ounces of copper. A disproportion of the mint, below the market price, must have soon produced a scarcity of small money. In England twelve pence in copper would sell for no more than seven pence, Smith's The Wealth of Nations, Volume 1, page 49. For Justinian's gold coin, C. Evagrius, L. For C. 30. Right arrow curving left. The oath is conceived in the most formidable words, Novella 8, Tit. 3. The defaulters imprecate on themselves, quicquid habent talorum armamentaria cali, the part of Judas, the leprosy of Giza, the tremor of Cain, etc., besides all temporal pains. Right arrow curving left. A similar or more generous act of friendship is related by Lucian of Eudamidas of Corinth, in, Taxaris, c. 22, 23, Tom. 2, p. 530, and the story has produced an ingenious, though feeble, comedy of Fontenelle. Right arrow curving left. John Malala's, Tom. 2, pages 101, 103. Right arrow curving left. One of these, Anatolius, perished in an earthquake, doubtless a judgment. The complaints and clamors of the people in Agathias, L. V., pages 146, 147, are almost an echo of the anecdote. The Aelina Pecunia Redenda of Charippus, L. 2381, etc., is not very honorable to Justinian's memory. Right arrow curving left. See the history and character of John of Cappadocia in Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I C. 24, 25, L. 2 C. 30. De Bello Vandalico, L. 
I C 13. Anecdota, C 2, 17, 22. The agreement of the history and anecdotes is a mortal wound to the reputation of the prefect. Right arrow curving left. This view, particularly of the cruelty of John of Cappadocia, is confirmed by the testimony of Jonas Lydus, who was in the office of the prefect. An eyewitness of the tortures inflicted by his command on the miserable debtors, or supposed debtors, of the state. He mentions one horrible instance of a respectable old man, with whom he was personally acquainted, who, being suspected of possessing money, was hung up by the hands till he was dead. Lydus, De Magistratibus, Lib. 3 c. 57, page 254. M. Right arrow curving left. Omicron gamma rho lambda lambda omicron omicron delta nu gamma rho alpha mu mu alpha tau iota sigma tau omicron phi omicron iota tau nu mu alpha theta epsilon nu tau iota mu gamma rho mu mu alpha tau alpha kappa alpha tau alpha tau alpha kappa alpha kappa kappa alpha kappa gamma rho psi alpha iota, a forcible expression. Right arrow curving left. Jonas Lydus is diffuse on this subject, lib 3 c. 65, page 268. But the indignant virtue of Lydus seems greatly stimulated by the loss of his official fees, which he ascribes to the innovations of the minister. M. Right arrow curving left. According to Lydus, Theodora disclosed the crimes and unpopularity of the minister to Justinian, but the emperor had not the courage to remove, and was unable to replace. A servant under whom his finances seemed to prosper. He attributes the sedition and conflagration called the New Kappa Alpha, see earlier in this chapter, to the popular resentment against the tyranny of John, Lib. 3 c. 70, page 278. Unfortunately there is a large gap in his work just at this period. M. Right arrow curving left. The chronology of Procopius is loose and obscure. But with the aid of Pagi I can discern that John was appointed Praetorian Prefect of the East in the year 530. That he was removed in January, 532, restored before June, 533, banished in 541, and recalled between June, 548 and April 1, 549. Alemannus, pp. 96, 97, gives the list of his ten successors, a rapid series in a part of a single reign. 9081 right arrow curving left. This conflagration is hinted by Lucian, in Hippias, C. 2, and Galen, L. 3 de Temperamentis, Tom. I, page 81, edit. Basilii, in the second century. A thousand years afterwards, it is positively affirmed by Zonaras, L. 9, p. 424, on the faith of Dion Cassius, by John Tsetses, Kiliades 2.119, etc., Eustathius, Ad Iliad v., page 338, and the Scoliast of Lucian. C. Fabricius, Bibliotheca Graeca, L. 3 c. 22, Tom. 2, pages 551, 552, to whom I am more or less indebted for several of these quotations. Right arrow curving left. Zonaras, L. 14, page 55, affirms the fact, without quoting any evidence. Right arrow curving left. Setsis describes the artifice of these burning glasses, which he had read, perhaps with no learned eyes, in a mathematical treatise of Anthemius. That treatise, Pi Epsilon Rho Pi Alpha Rho Alpha Delta Xi Omega Nu Mu Eta Chi Alpha Nu Eta Mu Tau Omega Nu, has been lately published, translated, and illustrated, by M. Dupuis, a scholar and a mathematician, Memoirs de l'Académie de Inscriptions, Tom. XLI, pages 392, 451. Right arrow curving left. In the siege of Syracuse, by the silence of Polybius, Plutarch, Livy. In the siege of Constantinople, by that of Marcel Linus and all the contemporaries of the 6th century. Right arrow curving left. Without any previous knowledge of Tsetses or Anthemius, the immortal Buffon imagined and executed a set of burning glasses. With which he could inflame planks at the distance of 200 feet, supplement a list war naturel, Tom. I 399, 483, quarto edition. 
What miracles would not his genius have performed for the public service, with royal expense, and in the strong son of Constantinople or Syracuse? Right arrow curving left. John Malala's, Tom. 2, pages 120, 124, relates the fact, but he seems to confound the names or persons of Proclus and Marinus. Right arrow curving left. Agathias, L. V., pages 149, 152. The merit of Anthemius as an architect is loudly praised by Procopius, de Edificius, L. I. C., 1, and Paulus Silentiarius, part 1 134, etc. Right arrow curving left. C. Procopius, de Edificius, L. I. C., 1, 2, L. 2 C. 3. He relates a coincidence of dreams which supposes some fraud in Justinian or his architect. They both saw, in a vision, the same plan for stopping an inundation at Dara. A stone quarry near Jerusalem was revealed to the emperor, L. V. C. 6, an angel was tricked into the perpetual custody of Saint Sophia, anonymous de Antiquitates Constantinopolitani, L. 4, page 70. Right arrow curving left. Among the crowd of ancients and moderns who have celebrated the edifice of Esti. Sophia, I shall distinguish and follow. For original spectators and historians, Procopius, de Edificius, L. I C. 1, Agathias, L. V. P. P. 152, 153, Paul Silentiarius, in a poem of 1026 hexameters, Ad Calcum Anacomena, Alexias, and Evagrius, L. for C. 31. Two legendary Greeks of a later period, George Codinus, Scriptors Originum Constantinopolitanarum, pages 64, 74, and the anonymous writer of Banduri, Imperium Oriental, Tom. I. L. for P. P. 65, 80. The great Byzantine antiquarian Du Cange, comment. Add Paul Silentiarius, pages 525, 598, and Constantinopolis Christiana, L. 3, pages 5, 78. Two French travelers, the one, Petrus Gilius, de Topographia Constantinopolios, L. 2 c. 3, 4, in the 16th. The other, Guillaume Joseph Grelet, Relation Nouvelle d'un Voyage de Constantinople, pages 95, 164, Paris, 1680, in quarto he has given plans, prospects and inside views of Saint Sophia. And his plans, though on a smaller scale, appear more correct than those of Duke Ange. I have adopted and reduced the measures of Grelet, but as no Christian can now ascend the dome, the height is borrowed from Evagrius, compared with Gilius, Greaves, and the Oriental geographer. Right arrow curving left. Solomon's temple was surrounded with courts, porticos, etc. But the proper structure of the house of God was no more, if we take the Egyptian or Hebrew cubic at 22 inches, than 55 feet in height, 36 and two-thirds in breadth, and 110 in length, a small parish church. Says Prido, the Old and New Testament Connected, Volume. I, page 144, folio, but few sanctuaries could be valued at four or five million sterling. 9,082 right arrow curving left. Paul Silentiarius, in dark and poetic language, describes the various stones and marbles that were employed in the edifice of St. Sophia, pars 2, pages 129, 133, etc., etc. The Christian, pale, with iron veins. The Phrygian, of two sorts, both of a rosy hue, the one with a white shade, the other purple, with silver flowers. The porphyry of Egypt, with small stars. The green marble of Laconia. The carrion, from Mount Iasus, with oblique veins, white and red. The Lydian, pale, with a red flower. The African, or Mauritanian, of a gold or saffron hue. The Celtic, black, with white veins. The Bosphoric, white, with black edges. Besides the Proconesian which formed the pavement, the Thessalian, Molossian, etc., which are less distinctly painted. 
right arrow curving left. The six books of the edifices of Procopius are thus distributed, the first is confined to Constantinople, the second includes Mesopotamia and Syria, the third, Armenia and the Euxene. The fourth, Europe, the fifth, Asia Minor and Palestine, the sixth, Egypt and Africa. Italy is forgot by the emperor or the historian, who published this work of adulation before the date, A.D. 555, of its final conquest. Right arrow curving left. Justinian once gave forty-five centenaries of gold, one hundred and eighty thousand pounds, for the repairs of Antioch after the earthquake, John Malala's, Tom. 2, pages 146, 149. Right arrow curving left. For the Hiriam, the palace of Theodora, C. Gilius, de Bosphoro Thracio, L. 3 C. 11, Alamanus, note ad anecdota, pp. 80, 81, who quote several epigrams of the anthology, and do Cange, Constantinopolis Christiana, L. for C. 13, pages 175, 176, right arrow curving left. Compare, in the edifices, L. I see, 11, and in the anecdotes, C. 8, 15, the different styles of adulation and malevolence, stripped of the paint, or cleansed from the dirt, the object appears to be the same. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, L. 829. Most probably a stranger and wanderer, as the Mediterranean does not breed whales. Bellini quoque in Nostra Maria Penetrant, Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historii 9-2. Between the polar circle and the tropic, the cetaceous animals of the ocean grow to the length of 50, 80, or 100 feet, Histoire de Voyages, Tom. 15, page 289, Penance British Zoology, Volume 3, p. 35, right arrow curving left. Montesquieu observes, consideration sur les causes de la grandeur de Rama et de leur décadence, Tom. 3 c. xx. p. 503, that Justinian's empire was like France in the time of the Norman inroads, never so weak as when every village was fortified. Right arrow curving left. Procopius affirms, L. 4 c. 6, that the Danube was stopped by the ruins of the bridge. Had Apollodorus the architect left a description of his own work, The Fabulous Wonders of Dion Cassius, L. Lxvii, p. 1129, would have been corrected by the genuine picture. Trajan's bridge consisted of twenty or twenty-two stone piles with wooden arches. The river is shallow, the current gentle, and the whole interval no more than 443, Rhymer ad Dion, from Marsigli, or 517 Toises, D'Anville, Geography Ancienne, Tom. I, page 305. Right arrow curving left. Of the two Dacias, Mediterranea and Ripensis, Dardania, Prevalitana, the second Mesia, and the second Macedonia. See Justinian, Novella 11, who speaks of his castles beyond the Danube, and of Hominis Semperbellisis Sidoribus in Herandes. Right arrow curving left. C. D. Anvil, Memoirs de l'Académie de Inscriptions, Tom. XXXI, pages 289, 290, Paul Rycott, The Present State of the Ottoman Empire, pages 97, 316, Luigi Ferdinando Marsigli, Stato Militare del Imperio Ottomano, page 130. The Sanjak of Justendal is one of the twenty under the Beglerbeg of Rursilus, and his district maintains 48 Zames and 588 Timariots. Right arrow curving left. These fortifications may be compared to the castles in Mingrelia, Chardon, Voyages and Purse, Tom. I, pages 60, 131, A Natural Picture. Right arrow curving left. The valley of Tempe is situate along the river Peneus, between the hills of Ossa and Olympus, it is only five miles long, and in some places no more than 120 feet in breadth. Its verdant beauties are elegantly described by Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historii, L. 415, and more diffusely by Alien, Varia Historia, L. 3 c. 1, right arrow curving left. 
Xenophon, Hellenica, L. 3 c. 2. After a long and tedious conversation with the Byzantine declaimers, how refreshing is the truth, the simplicity, the elegance of an Attic writer. Right arrow curving left. See the long wall in Evagrius, L. 4 c. 38. This whole article is drawn from the fourth book of the Edifices, except Ancylus, L. 3 c. 7, right arrow curving left. Turn back to here in chapter 10. In the course of this history, I have sometimes mentioned, and much oftener slighted, the hasty inroads of the Isaurians, which were not attended with any consequences. Right arrow curving left. Trebellius Pollio in Historia Augusta, page 107, who lived under Diocletian, or Constantine. See likewise Panserolus ad Notitia Imperium Orientale, c. 115, 141. See Codex Theodosianus, L. 9 tit. 35, leg. 37, with a copious collective annotation of Godefroy, Tom. 3, pages 256, 257, right arrow curving left. See the full and wide extent of their inroads in Philostorgius, Historia Ecclesiastica, L. 11 c. 8, with Godefroy's learned dissertations. Right arrow curving left. Codex Justinianus, L. 9 tit. 12, leg. 10, the punishments are severe, a fine of a hundred pounds of gold, degradation, and even death. The public peace might afford a pretense, but Zeno was desirous of monopolizing the valor and service of the Isaurians. Right arrow curving left. The Isaurian War and the Triumph of Anastasius are briefly and darkly represented by John Malala's, Tom. 2, pages 106, 107, Evagrius, L. 3 c. 35, Theophanes, pp. 118, 120, and the Chronicle of Marcellinus. Right arrow curving left. Fortesie Regio, says Justinian, Vero's habit, any C in Ullo differed of Isoria, though Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I C. 18, marks an essential difference between their military character, yet in former times the Lycaonians and Pisidians had defended their liberty against the great king, Xenophon, and Abbasus, L. 3 C. 2. Justinian introduces some false and ridiculous erudition of the ancient empire of the Pisidians, and of Lycaon, who, after visiting Rome, long before Aeneas. Gave a name and people to Lycaonia, Novelli 24, 25, 27, 30. Right arrow curving left. C. Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I. C. 19. The altar of national concord, of annual sacrifice and oaths, which Diocletian had created in the Isle of Elephantine, was demolished by Justinian with less policy than zeal. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Edificius, L. 3 c. 7. Historia, L. 8 c. 3, 4. These unambitious Goths had refused to follow the standard of Theodoric. As late as the 15th and 16th century, the name and nation might be discovered between Kaffa and the Straits of Azov, D. Anvil, Memoirs de l Academy de Inscriptions, Tom. Triple X page 240. They well deserved the curiosity of Busbequius, pages 321, 326, but seem to have vanished in the more recent account of the missions du Levant, Tom. 1, Tot, Pazanel, etc. Right arrow curving left. For the geography and architecture of this Armenian border, see the Persian Wars and Edifices, L, 2 c, 4, 7, L, 3 c, 2, 7, of Procopius. Right arrow curving left. The country is described by Tournefort, Voyage au Levant, Tom. 3 Lettre 17, 18. That skillful botanist soon discovered the plant that infects the honey, Pliny the Elder XXI 44, 45. He observes that the soldiers of Lucullus might indeed be astonished at the cold, since, even in the plain of Erzurum, Snow sometimes falls in June and the harvest is seldom finished before September. 
The hills of Armenia are below the fortieth degree of latitude. But in the mountainous country which I inhabit, it is well known that an ascent of some hours carries the traveller from the climate of Languedoc to that of Norway. And a general theory has been introduced that under the line an elevation of 2,400 toises is equivalent to the cold of the polar circle, Louis Raymond de Carboniers. Observations fates don les Pyrenees pour server de suite à de observations sur les Alpes, Tom. 2, page 104. Right arrow curving left. The identity or proximity of the Calibians, or Chaldeans may be investigated in Strabo, L. 12, pages 825, 826, Celarius, Geographia Antiqua, Tom. 2, pp. 202, 204, and Frerit, Memoirs de l Academy, Tom. 4, page 594. Xenophon supposes, in his romance, Cyropedia, L. 3, the same barbarians against whom he had fought in his retreat, Anabasis, L. 4, right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I. C. 15. De Edificius, L. 3, C. 6. Right arrow curving left. N. I. Taurus Abstet in Nostra Maria Venturis, Pomponius Mela 3 8. Pliny the Elder, a poet as well as a naturalist, v. 20, personifies the river and mountain, and describes their combat. See the course of the Tigris and Euphrates in the excellent treatise of D'Anville. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. 2 c. 12, tells the story with a tone half skeptical, half superstitious, of Herodotus. The promise was not in the primitive lie of Eusebius, but dates at least from the year 400. And a third lie, the Veronica, was soon raised on the two former, Evagrius, L. 4 c. 27. As Edessa has been taken, Tillamont must disclaim the promise, Memoirs Ecclesiastiques, Tom. I. P. P. 362, 383, 617. Right arrow curving left. Phyras the Conqueror, unfortunately so named. C. St. Martin, Volume 6, page 439. M. Right arrow curving left. Rather Hephthalites. M. Right arrow curving left. They were purchased from the merchants of Adulis who traded to India, Cosmos, Topographia Christiana, L. 11, page 339. Yet, in the estimate of precious stones, the Scythian emerald was the first, the Bactrian the second, the Ethiopian only the third, Hills Theophrastus, page 61, etc., 92. The production, mines, etc. of emeralds are involved in darkness, and it is doubtful whether we possess any of the twelve sorts known to the ancients, Gogut, de l'origine de l'oix, de arts et de sciences, etc., part 2l. 2c, 2, art. 3. In this war the Huns got, or at least Perosa's lost, the finest pearl in the world, of which Procopius relates a ridiculous fable. Right arrow curving left. The Indocythi continued to reign from the time of Augustus, Dionysius Periagites 1088, with the commentary of Eustathius, in Hudson, Geography Greci Minoris, Tom. 4. To that of the elder Justin, Cosmos, Topographia Christiana, L. 11, pages 338, 339. On their origin and conquests, see D'Anville, Eclaircissements Geographiques sur L. Ind, pages 18, 45, etc. 69, 85, 89. In the second century they were masters of Laris or Guzarat. Right arrow curving left. According to the Persian historians he was misled by guides who used the old stratagem of Zoparis. Malcolm, Volume. I, page 101. M, right arrow curving left. In the MS Chronicle of Tabari, it is said that the Mubadan Mobd, or Grand Pontiff, opposed with all his influence the violation of the treaty. St. Martin, Volume 7, p. 254, m, right arrow curving left. See the fate of Phyraus or Peroses, and its consequences, 
in Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I C. 3, 6, who may be compared with the fragments of Oriental history, D. Herbalot, Bibliotheca Oriental, page 351, and Pedro Teixeira, History of Persia, translated or abridged by Stevens, L. I C. 32, pages 132, 138. The chronology is ably ascertained by Asimani, Bibliotheca Orientalis, Tom. 3, pages 396, 427. Right arrow curving left. When Pharaohs advanced, Kushnuaz, the king of the Huns, presented on the point of a lance the treaty to which he had sworn. And exhorted him yet to desist before he destroyed his fame forever. Malcolm, Volume 1, page 103. M. Right arrow curving left. End notes 5001, 5, 500. The Persian War, under the reigns of Anastasius and Justin, may be collected from Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I C. 7, 9, Theophanes, in Chronographia, pp. 124, 127, Evagrius, L. 3 C. 37, Marcellinus, in Chronicon, page 47, and Joshua Stylites, Apud Asimani, Tom. I. Pages 272, 281. Right arrow curving left. Gibbon should have written, Some Prostitutes. Procopius, De Bello Persico, Volume 1 C. 7. M. Right arrow curving left. The description of Dara is amply and correctly given by Procopius, De Bello Persico, L. I C. 10, L. 2 C. 13. De Edificius, L. 2 C. 1, 3, L. 3 C. 5. See the situation in D. Anvil, L. Euphrate E. T. Le Tigre, pages 53, 55, though he seems to double the interval between Dara and Nisibis. Right arrow curving left. The situation, of Dara, does not appear to give it strength, as it must have been commanded on three sides by the mountains, but opening on the south towards the plains of Mesopotamia. The foundation of the walls and towers, built of large hewn stone, may be traced across the valley and over a number of low rocky hills which branch out from the foot of Mount Massius. The circumference I conceive to be nearly two miles and a half. And a small stream, which flows through the middle of the place, has induced several Kurdish and Armenian families to fix their residence within the ruins. Besides the walls and towers, the remains of many other buildings attest the former grandeur of Dara. A considerable part of the space within the walls is arched and vaulted underneath, and in one place we perceived a large cavern, supported by four ponderous columns. Somewhat resembling the great cistern of Constantinople. In the center of the village are the ruins of a palace, probably that mentioned by Procopius, or church, one hundred paces in length and sixty in breadth. The foundations, which are quite entire, consist of a prodigious number of subterraneous vaulted chambers, entered by a narrow passage forty paces in length. The gate is still standing. A considerable part of the wall has bid defiance to time, etc. John MacDonald Kinnear's Journey Through Asia Minor, Armenia, and Kurdistan, page 438. M. Right arrow curving left. For the city and pass of Derbend, see D. Herbalot, Bibliotheca Rintal, pages 157, 291, 807, Petis de la Croix, Histoire du Grand Genghiskin, L. 4 C. 9, Histoire Genealogique de Tatars, Tom. I, page 120, Adam Olierius, Relation du Voyage d'Adam Olierius en Moscovy, Tartari, E. Purse, pages 1039, 1041, and Cornet Le Bruyne, Voyages, Tom. I, pages 146, 147 His view may be compared with the plan of Olierius, who judges the wall to be of shells and gravel hardened by time. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, though with some confusion, always denominates them Caspian, de Bello Persico, L. I C. 10. The pass is now styled Tatar Topa, the Tartar Gates, D'Anville, Geography Ancienne, Tom. 2, 
pages 119, 120, right arrow curving left. Malty Brun, Tom. 8, p. 12, makes three passes. The central, which leads from Mostock to Teflis, the Pi Lambda Alpha Iota Kappa Alpha Upsilon Kappa Sigma Iota Alpha Iota. The Albanian, more inland than the Derbend Pass. The Derbend, the Caspian Gates. But the narrative of Colonel Monteith, in the Journal of the Royal Geographical Society of London, Volume 3, p. I, p. 39, clearly shows that there are but two passes between the Black Sea and the Caspian, the Central, the Caucasian, or, as Colonel. Monteith calls it, the Caspian Gates, and the Pass of Derbend, though it is practicable to turn this position, of Derbend, by a road a few miles distant through the mountains, page 40, m. Right arrow curving left. The imaginary rampart of Gog and Magog, which was seriously explored and believed by a caliph of the 9th century, appears to be derived from the gates of Mount Caucasus. And a vague report of the Wall of China, Geographia Nubiensis, pp. 267, 270, Memoirs de l Academy, Tom. XXXI, pages 210, 219. Right arrow curving left. See a learned dissertation of Bayer, de Muro Caucasio, in Commentarii Academiae Scientiarum Imperialis Petropolitani, anno 1726, Tom. I, pages 425, 463. But it is destitute of a map or plan. When the Tsar Peter I became master of Derbend in the year 1722, the measure of the wall was found to be 3,285 Russian or Jio, or Fathom, each of seven feet English. In the whole somewhat more than four miles in length. Right arrow curving left. See the fortifications and treaties of Khosro, or Nusherwan, in Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I C. 16, 22, L. 2 and D. Herbalot, p. 682, right arrow curving left. The life of Isocrates extends from Olympiad LXXXVI1 to CX3, Antichrist 436, 338. See Dionysi Halicarnassensis, Tom. 2, pages 149, 150, edit. Hudson. Plutarch, Civ Anonymous, in Vita X Oratorum, pages 1538-1543, edit. Henricus Stephanus. Photius, Codex CCLAX, page 1453. Right arrow curving left. The schools of Athens are copiously though concisely represented in the De Fortuna Attica of Mercius, c. 8, pages 59-73, in Tom. I Opera. For the state and arts of the city, See the first book of Pausanias, and a small tract of Dicarchus, in the second volume of Hudson's Geographers. Who wrote about Olympiad CXVI, Dodwell's Dissertation Cyprianicae, Sect. 4, right arrow curving left. Diogenes Laertius, Vitae Philosophorum, L. V. Segm. 37, page 289, right arrow curving left. See the Testament of Epicurus in Diogenes Laertius, L. X. Segm. 16, 20, pages 611, 612. A single epistle, Epistuli ad Familiars 13 1, displays the injustice of the Areopagus, the fidelity of the Epicureans, the dexterous politeness of Cicero, and the mixture of contempt and esteem with which the Roman senators considered the philosophy and philosophers of Greece. Right arrow curving left. Damascus, in Vita Isidori, a Pud Photius, Codex CCXLII, page 1054, right arrow curving left. C. Lucian, in Eunicus, Tom. 2, pages 350, 359, edit. Writes, Philostratus, in Vita Sophisterum, L. 2 C. 2, and Dion Cassius, or Ziphilin, L. LXXI, page 1195, with their editors Moise du Sol, Olierius, and Raymar, and, above all, Salmasius, Ad Historia Augusta, page 72. 
A Judicious Philosopher, Smith's Wealth of Nations, Volume 2, pages 340, 374, prefers the free contributions of the students to a fixed stipend for the professor. Right arrow curving left. Brucker, Historia Critica Philosophiae, Tom. 2, page 310, etc. Right arrow curving left. The birth of Epicurus is fixed to the year 342 before Christ, Bell, Olympiad CX3. And he opened his school at Athens, Olympiad CXVII 3, 306 years before the same era. This intolerant law, Athenius, L. 13, page 610, Diogenes Laertius, L. V. Segm. 38, page 290. Julius Pollux 9.5, was enacted in the same or the succeeding year, Sigonius, Opera Omnia, Tom. V, page 62, Menagius ad Diogenes Laertius, page 204, Cursini, Fasti Adesai, Tom. 4, pages 67, 68. Theophrastus, chief of the Peripatetics, and disciple of Aristotle, was involved in the same exile. Right arrow curving left. This is no fanciful era, the pagans reckoned their calamities from the reign of their hero. Proclus, whose nativity is marked by his horoscope, A.D. 412, February 8, at Constantinople, died 124 years pi omicron upsilon lambda alpha nu omicron beta alpha sigma iota lambda epsilon alpha, A.D. 485, Marinus in Vita Procli, c. 36. Right arrow curving left. The Life of Proclus, by Marinus, was published by Fabricius, Hamburg, 1700, Etiad Calcum Bibliotheca Latina, London 1703. C. Suedos, Tom. 3, pp. 185, 186, Fabricius, Bibliotheca Greca, L. V. C. 26, pages 449, 552, and Brucker, Historia Critica Philosophiae, Tom. 2, pages 319, 326. Right arrow curving left. The life of Isidore was composed by Damasius, Apud Photius, Codex CCXLII, pages 1028, 1076. See the last age of the pagan philosophers in Brucker, Tom. 2, pages 341, 351. Right arrow curving left. The suppression of the schools of Athens is recorded by John Malalas, Tom. 2, page 187, Sub Decio Company's Soul, and an anonymous chronicle in the Vatican Library, Apud Alamanus, page 106. Right arrow curving left. Agathias, L. 2, pages 69, 71, relates this curious story. Cosro ascended the throne in the year 531 and made his first peace with the Romans in the beginning of 533, a date most compatible with his young fame and the old age of Isidore, Asimani. Bibliotheca Orientalis, Tom. 3, page 404, page I, Tom. 2, pages 543, 550, right arrow curving left. Cassiodorus, Variarum, Epistola 6-1. Jornans, C. 57, page 696, edit. Grotius. Quat sumum bonum primumc in mundo decus edicitor. Right arrow curving left. See the regulations of Justinian, novella CV, dated at Constantinople, July 5, and addressed to Strategus, treasurer of the empire. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, in Anecdota, C. 26. Alamanus, page 106. In the eighteenth year after the consulship of Basilius, according to the reckoning of Marcellinus, Victor, Marius, etc. The secret history was composed, and, in the eyes of Procopius, the consulship was finally abolished. Right arrow curving left. By Leo the Philosopher, Novella XCIV, AD 886, 911. C. Page I, Dissertatio Hypatica, pp. 325, 362, and Du Cange, Glossarium Gresitatis, pages 1635, 1636.
Even the title was vilified, Consolatus Codicilli, Vileskunt, says the emperor himself. Right arrow curving left. According to Julius Africanus, etc. The world was created the 1st of September, 5,508 years, 3 months, and 25 days before the birth of Christ, see Paulive Pezrin, Lantiquite de Thames readably et defendu, pp. 20, 28, and this era has been used by the Greeks, the Oriental Christians, and even by the Russians, till the reign of Peter I. The period, however arbitrary, is clear and convenient. Of the 7,296 years which are supposed to elapse since the creation, we shall find 3,000 of ignorance and darkness, 2,000 either fabulous or doubtful. 1,000 of ancient history, commencing with the Persian Empire, and the republics of Rome and Athens, 1,000 from the fall of the Roman Empire in the West to the discovery of America. And the remaining 296 will almost complete three centuries of the modern state of Europe and mankind. I regret this chronology, so far preferable to our double and perplexed method of counting backwards and forwards the years before and after the Christian era. Right arrow curving left. The era of the world has prevailed in the East since the Sixth General Council, AD 681. In the West the Christian era was first invented in the 6th century. It was propagated in the 8th by the authority and writings of Venerable Bede, but it was not till the tenth that the use became legal and popular. See L'Art de Verifier Les Dates, Discours Preliminaire, p. 3, 12. Dictionnaire Diplomatique, Tom. I, pages 329, 337, The Works of a Laborious Society of Benedictine Monks. Right arrow curving left. The complete series of the Vandal War is related by Procopius in a regular and elegant narrative, L. I C 9, 25, L, 2 C, 1, 13. And happy would be my lot, could I always tread in the footsteps of such a guide. From the entire and diligent perusal of the Greek text, I have a right to pronounce that the Latin and French versions of Grotius and Cousin may not be implicitly trusted. Yet the President Cousin has been often praised, and Hugo Grotius was the first scholar of a learned age. Right arrow curving left. See Ruinart, Commentarius Historicus de Persecution Vandalica, c. 12, page 589. His best evidence is drawn from the life of Asti. Fulgentius, composed by one of his disciples, transcribed in a great measure in the annals of Baronius, and printed in several great collections, Catalogus Bibliotheci Bunaviani, Tom. I. Volume 2, p. 1258, right arrow curving left. For what quality of the mind or body? For speed, or beauty, or valor, in what language did the Vandals read Homer, did he speak German, the Latins had four versions, Fabricius, Tom. I L 2 C 3, page 297 Yet, in spite of the praises of Seneca, Consolation, C. 26, they appear to have been more successful in imitating than in translating the Greek poets. But the name of Achilles might be famous and popular, even among the illiterate barbarians. Right arrow curving left. A year, absurd exaggeration. The conquest of Africa may be dated A.D. 533, September 14. It is celebrated by Justinian in the preface to his Institutes, which were published November 21 of the same year. Including the voyage and return, such a computation might be truly applied to our Indian Empire. Right arrow curving left. Omega rho mu eta tau omicron delta beta epsilon lambda iota sigma rho iota omicron kappa gamma epsilon rho mu alpha nu alpha, theta rho kappa omega nu tau epsilon kappa alpha lambda lambda epsilon rho omega nu mu epsilon tau alpha xi kappa epsilon tau alpha iota, Procopius, de bello vandalico, L. I C. 11. Alamanus, not. Add anecdota, p. 5. An Italian, could easily reject the German vanity of Gyphanius and Velsurus, who wished to claim the hero. But his Germania, a metropolis of Thrace, I cannot find in any civil or ecclesiastical lists of the provinces and cities. 9083 right arrow curving left. 
the two first Persian campaigns of Belisarius are fairly and copiously related by his secretary, De Bello Persico, L. I C. 12, 18. Right arrow curving left. The battle was fought on Easter Sunday, April 19, not at the end of the summer. The date is supplied from John Malala's by Lord Mahone, page 47, M. Right arrow curving left. See the birth and character of Antonina, in the anecdotes, c. 1, and the notes of Alamanus, page 3, right arrow curving left. See the preface of Procopius. The enemies of archery might quote the reproaches of Diomed, Iliad 11 385, etc., and the permitter of Vulnera Ventis of Lucan, 8 384, yet the Romans could not despise the arrows of the Parthians. And in the siege of Troy, Pandarus, Paris, and Tusser pierced those haughty warriors who insulted them as women or children. Right arrow curving left. Nu epsilon upsilon rho nu mu nu mu alpha zeta pi lambda alpha sigma epsilon nu, tau xi delta sigma delta eta rho omicron nu, Iliad 4 1 23. How concise, how just, how beautiful is the whole picture. I see the attitudes of the archer, I hear the twanging of the bow. Lambda gamma ze epsilon beta iota, nu epsilon upsilon rho delta mu gamma alpha chi epsilon nu, lambda tau omicron delta sigma tau. Right arrow curving left. The text appears to allow for the largest vessels 50,000 medimni, or 3,000 tons, since the medimnus weighed 160 Roman, or 120 avoirdupois, pounds. I have given a more rational interpretation, by supposing that the Attic style of Procopius conceals the legal and popular Modius, a sixth part of the Medimnus, Hooper's ancient weights and measures. p. 152, etc. A contrary, and indeed a stranger, mistake has crept into an oration of Denarchus, contra Demosthenum, in Reisk, Orators Greasy, Tom. 4 Pars 2. Page 34. By reducing the number of ships from 500 to 50, and translating mu epsilon delta iota mu nu omicron iota by mines, or pounds. Cousin has generously allowed 500 tons for the whole of the imperial fleet. Did he never think? Right arrow curving left. I have read of a Greek legislator who inflicted a double penalty on the crimes committed in a state of intoxication, but it seems agreed that this was rather a political than a moral law. Right arrow curving left. Or even in three days, since they anchored the first evening in the neighboring Isle of Tenedos. The second day they sailed to Lesbos, the third to the promontory of Euboea, and on the fourth they reached Argos, Homer, Odyssey 4 130, 183, Wood's Essay on Homer, pages 40, 46. A pirate sailed from the Hellespont to the seaport of Sparta in three days, Xenophon, Hellenica, L. 2 C. 1. Right arrow curving left. Kakana, near Camarina, is at least 50 miles, 350 or 400 stadia, from Syracuse, Clavirius, Sicilii Antiqui, page 191.9084 right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I. C. 3. Tibi talit hinitum apta quadrigis equa, in the Sicilian pastures of Grosphus, Horatius, Carmina 216. Acragas, magnanimum quandum generator equorum, Virgil, Aeneid 3704. Thero's horses, whose victories are immortalized by Pindar, were bred in this country. Right arrow curving left. The Caput Veda of Procopius, where Justinian afterwards founded a city, De Edificius, L. 6 c. 6 is the promontory of Ammon in Strabo, the Bracodes of Ptolemy, the Capodia of the Moderns, a long narrow slip that runs into the sea, Shaw's Travels, page 111. Right arrow curving left. A centurion of Mark Antony expressed, though in a more manly strain, the same dislike to the sea and to naval combats, Plutarch in Parallel Lives, Antonio, page 1730, edit. Henricus Stephanus. Right arrow curving left. Rather into the present lake of Tunis. Lord Mahone, page 92, M. Right arrow curving left. Select is perhaps the Turris Hannibalis, an old building, now as large as the Tower of London. 
The march of Belisarius to Leptis, Adramedum, etc., is illustrated by the campaign of Caesar, Hertius, de Bello Africo, with the analysis of Guichard, and Shaw's travels, pp. 105, 113, in the same country. Right arrow curving left. Pi alpha rho delta epsilon iota sigma omicron kappa lambda lambda iota sigma tau omicron pi nu tau omega nu nu mu epsilon sigma mu epsilon nu. The paradises, a name and fashion adopted from Persia, may be represented by the royal garden of Ispahan, relation du voyage d'Adam Oliarius, page 774. C. In the Greek romances, their most perfect model, Longus, Pastoralia, L. 4, pages 99, 101, Achilles Tatius, L. I. pages 22, 23, right arrow curving left. 80, 000, mu upsilon rho alpha delta epsilon kappa tau. Historia Arcana, C. 18. Gibbon has been misled by the translation. See Lord Mahone, page 99, M, right arrow curving left. The neighborhood of Carthage, the sea, the land, and the rivers are changed almost as much as the works of man. The isthmus, or neck, of the city is now confounded with the continent, the harbor is a dry plain, and the lake, or stagnum, no more than a morass, with six or seven feet water in the mid-channel. C. D. Anvil, Geography Ancienne, Tom. 3, page 82, Shaw, Travels, pages 77, 84, Marmel, L'Afrique de Marmel, Tom. 2, page 465, Anthuanus, LVI 12, Tom. 3, page 334. Right arrow curving left. From Delphi, the name of Delphi cum was given, both in Greek and Latin, to a tripod. And, by an easy analogy, the same appellation was extended at Rome, Constantinople, and Carthage, to the royal banqueting room, Procopius, de Bello Vandalico, L. I C. 21. Ducange, Glossarium Gresitatis, page 277, Delta Epsilon Lambda Omicron Iota Kappa Nu, Ad Alexias, page 412, right arrow curving left. And a few others, Lambda Gamma Alpha Tau Tau Alpha, Procopius states in his work De Edificius, L. 6 Volume 1, page 5, M. Right arrow curving left. Gibbon had forgotten that the bearer of the victorious letters of his brother had sailed into the port of Carthage, and that the letters had fallen into the hands of the Romans. Procopius, de Bello Vandalico, L. I C. 23, M., right arrow curving left. These orations always express the sense of the times, and sometimes of the actors. I have condensed that sense, and thrown away declamation. Right arrow curving left. The relics of St. Augustine were carried by the African bishops to their Sardinian exile, A.D. 500. And it was believed in the 8th century that Lyotprand, king of the Lombards, transported them, A.D. 721, from Sardinia to Pavia. In the year 1695, the Augustan friars of that city found a brick arch, marble coffin, silver case, silk wrapper, bones, blood, etc., and perhaps an inscription of Agostino in Gothic letters. But this useful discovery has been disputed by reason and jealousy, Baronius, Annals Ecclesiastici, A.D. 725, No. 2, 9, Tillamont, Memoirs Ecclesiastiques, Tom. 13, page 944. Montfaucon, Diaria Metallicum, pages 26, 30, Muratori, Antiquitates Italici Medii Evi, Tom. V. Dessert. L. V. A. P. 9, who had composed a separate treatise before the decree of the Bishop of Pavia, and Pope Benedict XIII. Right arrow curving left. Tau tau pi omicron lambda iota tau epsilon alpha pi rho omicron omicron mu iota alpha is the expression of Procopius, de Edificius, L. 6 c. 7, Ceuta, which has been defaced by the Portuguese, flourished in nobles and palaces, in agriculture and manufactures, under the more prosperous reign of the Arabs, L'Afrique de Marmel, Tom. 2, p. 236, right arrow curving left. 
see the second and third preambles to the Digest, or Pandex, promulgated A.D. 533, December 16. To the titles of Vandalicus and Africanus, Justinian, or rather Belisarius, had acquired a just claim, Gothicus was premature, and Francicus false and offensive to a great nation. Right arrow curving left. See the original Acts in Baronius, A.D. 535, number 21, 54. The emperor applauds his own clemency to the heretics, come sufficiat eis vivera. Right arrow curving left. Depan, Geographia Sacra Africana, p. Lx ad optatus malevitinus, observes and bewails this episcopal decay. In the more prosperous age of the church, he had noticed 690 bishoprics. But however minute were the dioceses, it is not probable that they all existed at the same time. Right arrow curving left. The African laws of Justinian are illustrated by his German biographer, Codex Justinianus, L. I. Tit. 27, Novelli 36, 37, 131, Vita Justiniani, pages 349, 377, right arrow curving left. Mount Papua is placed by D'Anville, Tom. 3, p. 92, and Tabula Imperium Romanum Occidental, near Hippo Regius and the Sea. Yet this situation ill agrees with the long pursuit beyond Hippo and the words of Procopius, L. 2 C. 4, Nu Tau Omicron Nu Omicron Upsilon Mu Iota Delta Alpha Sigma Chi Tau Omicron Iota.9085 Right arrow curving left. Shaw, Travels, p. 220, most accurately represents the manners of the Bedouins and Kabyles, the last of whom, by their language, are the remnant of the Moors, yet how changed, how civilized are these modern savages. Provisions are plenty among them, and bread is common. Right arrow curving left. By Procopius it is styled a lyre, perhaps harp would have been more national. The instruments of music are thus distinguished by Venantius Fortunatus. Romanusque lyra tibi plaudat, barbarous harpa. Right arrow curving left. Herodotus elegantly describes the strange effects of grief in another royal captive, Semeticus of Egypt. Who wept at the lesser and was silent at the greatest of his calamities, L. 3 c. 14. In the interview of Paulus Emilius and Persis, Belisarius might study his part, but it is probable that he never read either Livy or Plutarch. And it is certain that his generosity did not need a tutor. Right arrow curving left. After the title of imperator had lost the old military sense, and the Roman auspices were abolished by Christianity, see La Bleterie, Memoirs de l'Academie, Tom. XXI, pp. 302-332, a triumph might be given with less inconsistency to a private general. Right arrow curving left. If the Ecclesiastes be truly a work of Solomon, and not, like Pryor's poem, a pious and moral composition of more recent times, in his name, and on the subject of his repentance. The latter is the opinion of the learned and free-spirited Grotius, Opera Omnia Theologica, Tom. I, page 258. And indeed the Ecclesiastes and Proverbs display a larger compass of thought and experience than seem to belong either to a Jew or a king. 9086 right arrow curving left. In the Belisaire of Marmontel, the king and the conqueror of Africa meet, sup, and converse, without recollecting each other. It is surely a fault of that romance, that not only the hero, but all to whom he had been so conspicuously known, appear to have lost their eyes or their memory. Right arrow curving left. Shaw, page 59. Yet since Procopius, L. 2 c. 13, speaks of a people of Mount Atlas, as already distinguished by white bodies and yellow hair, the phenomenon, which is likewise visible in the Andes of Peru, Buffon, Tom. 3. p. 504, may naturally be ascribed to the elevation of the ground and the temperature of the air. Right arrow curving left. The geographer of Ravenna, L. 3. c. 11, pp. 129, 131, Paris, 1688, describes the Mauritania Gaditana, 
opposite to Cadiz, Gubi gens vandalorum, abelisario de victa in Africa, fugit, et nunquam comparat. Right arrow curving left. A single voice had protested, and Genseric dismissed, without a formal answer, the vandals of Germany. But those of Africa derided his prudence and affected to despise the poverty of their forests, Procopius, de Bello Vandalico, L. I C. 22. Right arrow curving left. From the mouth of the great elector, in 1687, Tallius describes the secret royalty and rebellious spirit of the Vandals of Brandenburg. Who could muster five or six thousand soldiers who had procured some cannon, etc. Itineraria Hungaricum, page 42, Apud du Boss, Histoire Critique de la Monarchie Francoise, Tom. I, pages 182, 183. The veracity, not of the elector, but of Tallius himself, may justly be suspected. 9087 right arrow curving left. Procopius, L. I see, 22, was in total darkness. Omicron delta mu nu mu eta tau iota Omicron delta kappa Omicron mu alpha mu alpha zeta epsilon tau alpha iota. Under the reign of Dagobert, A.D. 630, the Sclavonian tribes of the Sorbi and Veneti already bordered on Thuringia, Moscow, History of the Ancient Germans 15 3, 5. Right arrow curving left. Sallust represents the Moors as a remnant of the army of Heracles, de bello Catalinario et Jugurthino, c. 21, and Procopius, de bello Vandalico, l. 2 c. 10, as the posterity of the Canaanians who fled from the robber Joshua, Lambda Eta Sigma Tau. He quotes two columns, with a Phoenician inscription. I believe in the columns, I doubt the inscription, and I reject the pedigree. 9088 right arrow curving left. Virgil, Georgics 3339, and Pomponius Mela, I-8, describe the wandering life of the African shepherds, similar to that of the Arabs and Tartars, and Shaw, p. 222, is the best commentator on the poet and the geographer. Right arrow curving left. The customary gifts were a scepter, a crown or cap, a white cloak, a figured tunic and shoes, all adorned with gold and silver. Nor were these precious metals less acceptable in the shape of coin, Procopius, de bello vandalico, l. I c. 25. Right arrow curving left. See the African government and warfare of Solomon, in Procopius, de bello vandalico, l. 2 c. 10, 13, 19, 20. He was recalled, and again restored. And his last victory dates in the thirteenth year of Justinian, A.D. 539. An accident in his childhood had rendered him a eunuch, L. I C. 11. The other Roman generals were amply furnished with beards, Pi Gamma Omega Nu Omicron Mu Pi Iota Pi Lambda Mu Epsilon Nu Omicron Iota, L. 2 C. 8. Right arrow curving left. The natural antipathy of the horse for the camel is affirmed by the ancients, Xenophon, Cyropedia, L. 6, page 438, L. 7, pages 483, 492, edit. Hutchinson. Polyenus, Stratagemata 7 6. Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historii 826. Alien, De Natura Animalium, L. 3 c. 7. But it is disproved by daily experience, and derided by the best judges, the Orientals, Relation du Voyage d'Adam Oliarius, page 553. Right arrow curving left. Procopius is the first who described Mount Oregius, de Bello Vandalico, L. 2 c. 13, de Edificius, L. 6 c. 7. He may be compared with Leo Africanus, Della Discretion dell'Africa, Part V, in Remusio, Tom. I Folio 77, Recto, Marmel, Tom. 2, page 430, and Shaw, pages 56, 59. Right arrow curving left. Isidore, Chronicon, p. 722, edit. Grotius. Mariana, Historii de Rebus Hispaniae, L. V. C. 8, page 173. Yet, according to Isidore, 
the siege of Senta and the death of Thuds happened, a.ae.h, Anno Era Historia, 586, A.D. 548. And the place was defended, not by the Vandals, but by the Romans. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Vandalico, L. I C. 24. Right arrow curving left. See the original Chronicle of Isidore, and the fifth and sixth books of the History of Spain by Mariana. The Romans were finally expelled by Suintila king of the Visigoths, A.D. 621, 626, after their reunion to the Catholic Church. Right arrow curving left. See the marriage and fate of Amalafrida in Procopius, de Bello Vandalico, L. I C. 8, 9, and in Cassiodorus, Variarum 9 1, the expostulation of her royal brother. Compare likewise the chronicle of Victor Tunyonensis. Right arrow curving left. Lilibium was built by the Carthaginians, Olympiad XCV 4. And in the First Punic War a strong situation and excellent harbor rendered that place an important object to both nations. Right arrow curving left. Compare the different passages of Procopius, de Bello Vandalico, L. 2c, 5, de Bello Gothico, L. I c, 3. Right arrow curving left. For the reign and character of Amalasantha, see Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I C 2, 4, and Anecdota, C. 16, with the notes of Alamanus, Cassiodorus, Variarum 8, 9, X, and 11, 1, and Jornans, De Rebus Genesis, C, 59, and De Regnorum A C Temporum Succession in Muratori, Tom. I, page 24. Right arrow curving left. The marriage of Theodoric with Audiflata, the sister of Clovis, may be placed in the year 495, soon after the conquest of Italy, Dubiut, Histoire Ancients de Pupils de l'Urup, Tom. 9, p. 213, the nuptials of Eutheric and Amalasantha were celebrated in 515, Cassiodorus in Chronicon, page 453. Right arrow curving left. At the death of Theodoric, his grandson Athalaric is described by Procopius as a boy about eight years old, Capitao Gamma Epsilon Gamma Omicron Nu Taueta. Cassiodorus, with authority and reason, adds two years to his age, Infantulum adu vix decenum. Right arrow curving left. The lake, from the neighboring towns of Etruria, was styled either Volsiniensis, now of Bolsina, or Tarquiniensis. It is surrounded with white rocks, and stored with fish and wildfowl. The younger Pliny, Epistule 296, celebrates two woody islands that floated on its waters, if a fable, how credulous the ancients. If a fact, how careless the moderns. Yet, since Pliny, the island may have been fixed by new and gradual accessions. Right arrow curving left. Amalasantha was not alive when this new ambassador, Peter of Thessalonica, arrived in Italy. He could not then secretly contribute to her death. But, says M. de St. Croix, it is not beyond probability that Theodora had entered into some criminal intrigue with Gundelina, for that wife of Theodatus wrote to implore her protection. Reminding her of the confidence which she and her husband had always placed in her former promises. See on Amalasantha and the authors of her death an excellent dissertation of M. de St. Croix in the Archives Literaires de l'Europe published by M. Charles Vandenburg, No. 50, T. 17, page 216. G. Right arrow curving left. Yet Procopius discredits his own evidence, Anecdota, C. 16, by confessing that in his public history he had not spoken the truth. See the epistles from Queen Gundelina to the Empress Theodora, Variarum X 20, 21, 23, and observe a suspicious word, de illa persona, etc., with the elaborate commentary of Butte, Tom. X, pp. 177, 185. Right arrow curving left. For the conquest of Sicily, compare the narrative of Procopius with the complaints of Tatila, de Bello Gothico, L. I c, 5, L, 3 c, 16. 
the Gothic queen had lately relieved that thankless island, Variarum 9 10, 11. Right arrow curving left. The ancient magnitude and splendor of the five quarters of Syracuse are delineated by Cicero, in Verrem Actio 2L for C, 52, 53, Strabo, L, 6, P. 415, and Jax Philippe D'Orville, Sicula, Tom. 2, pages 174, 202. The new city, restored by Augustus, shrunk towards the island. Right arrow curving left. A hundred, there was no room on board for more. Gibbon has again been misled by Cousin's translation. Lord Mahone, page 157. M. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Vandalico, L. 2 c. 14, 15, so clearly relates the return of Belisarius into Sicily, p. 146, edit. Hoskilii, that I am astonished at the strange misapprehension and reproaches of a learned critic, over de la Mothe Leveyer, Tom. 8, pages 162, 163. Right arrow curving left. The ancient Alba was ruined in the first age of Rome. On the same spot, or at least in the neighborhood, successively arose, 1, the villa of Pompey, etc., 2, a camp of the Praetorian cohorts. 3, the modern episcopal city of Albanum or Albano, Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 2 c. 4. Clavirius, Italia Antiqua, Tom. 2, page 914. Right arrow curving left. A Sibylline oracle was ready to pronounce, Africa capta mundus cum nato peribit, a sentence of portentous ambiguity, de bello gothico, l. I see. 7, which has been published in unknown characters by Opsipaeus, an editor of the oracles. The Père Maltret has promised a commentary, but all his promises have been vain and fruitless. Right arrow curving left. In his chronology, Imitated in some degree from Thucydides, Procopius begins each spring the years of Justinian and of the Gothic War. And his first era coincides with the 1st of April, 535, and not 536, according to the Annals of Baronius, Pagi, Critica Baroniae, Tom. 2 p. 555, who is followed by Muratori and the editors of Saigonius. Yet, in some passages, we are at a loss to reconcile the dates of Procopius with himself and with the chronicle of Marcellinus. Right arrow curving left. The series of the First Gothic War is represented by Procopius, L. I C. 5, 29, L. 2 C. 1, 30, L. 3 C. 1, till the captivity of Vitages. With the aid of Saigonius, Opera Omnia, Tom. I Historiarum de Occidentali Imperio, L. 17, 18, and Muratori, Annali d'Italia, Tom. V. I have gleaned some few additional facts. Right arrow curving left. Jornans, De Rebus Genesis, C. 60, page 702, edit. Grotius, and Tom. I. page 221. Muratori, De Regnorum AC Temporum Succession, page 241. Right arrow curving left. Nero, says Tacitus, Annals 1535, Neapolum quasi Graecam Urbum de Legit. 150 years afterwards, in the time of Septimius Severus, the Hellenism of the Neapolitans is praised by Philostratus, Gamma nu Omicron Lambda Lambda Eta nu Epsilon Kappa Alpha Sigma Tau Upsilon Kappa Omicron. Delta Theta Epsilon Nu Kappa Alpha Tau Sigma Pi Omicron Upsilon Delta Tau Nu Lambda Gamma Omega Nu Lambda Lambda Eta Nu Iota Kappa Omicron Epsilon Sigma Iota, Icons, L. I, page 763, edit. Oliarius. Right arrow curving left. The odium of Naples is praised by the Roman poets, by Virgil, Horace, Silius Italicus, and Statius, Clavirius, Italia Antiqua, L. 4, pages 1149, 1150. In an elegant epistle, Silvi, L. 3 5, pages 94, 98, edit. Markland, 
Statius undertakes the difficult task of drawing his wife from the pleasures of Rome to that calm retreat. Right arrow curving left. This measure was taken by Roger I after the conquest of Naples, AD 1139, which he made the capital of his new kingdom, Giannoni, Historia Civil del Regno di Napoli, Tom. 2, page 169. That city, the third in Christian Europe, is now at least twelve miles in circumference, Julie Cesaris Capacii, Historii Neapolitani, L. I. P. 47, and contains more inhabitants, 350,000, in a given space than any other spot in the known world. Right arrow curving left. Not geometrical, but common, paces or steps of 22 French inches, d anvil, trait de measures itineraires, pages 7, 8. The 2363 do not make an English mile. Right arrow curving left. Belisarius was reproved by Pope Silverius for the massacre. He repeopled Naples, and imported colonies of African captives into Sicily, Calabria, and Apulia, Historia Macella, L. 16 in Muratori, Tom. I, pages 106, 107. Right arrow curving left. Beneventum was built by Diomede, the nephew of Meliager, Clavirius, Tom. 2, pages 1195, 1196. The Caledonian hunt is a picture of savage life, Ovid, Metamorphoses, L. 8. Thirty or forty heroes were leagued against a hog, the brutes, not the hog, quarreled with a lady for the head. Right arrow curving left. The De Synovium is strangely confounded by Clavirius, Tom. 2, page 1007, with the river Euphens. It was in truth a canal of nineteen miles, from Forum Appii to Terracina, on which Horace embarked in the night. The De Synovium, which is mentioned by Lucan, Dion Cassius, and Cassiodorus, has been sufficiently ruined, restored, and obliterated, De Anvil, Analyse Geographique de l'Italie, page 185, etc. Right arrow curving left. A Jew gratified his contempt and hatred for all the Christians, by enclosing three bands, each of ten hogs, and discriminated by the names of Goths, Greeks, and Romans. Of the first, almost all were found dead, almost all the second were alive, of the third, half died, and the rest lost their bristles. No unsuitable emblem of the event. Right arrow curving left. Bergier, Histoire de Grands Chemins de l'Empire Romain, Tom. I. Pages 221, 228, 440, 444, examines the structure and materials, while D'Anville, Analyse Geographique de l'Italie, pp. 200, 213, defines the geographical line. Right arrow curving left. Of the first recovery of Rome, the year, 536, is certain from the series of events, rather than from the corrupt, or interpolated, text of Procopius. The month, December, is ascertained by Evagrius, L, for C, 19, and the day, the 10th, may be admitted on the slight evidence of Nicephorus Callistus, L, 17 C, 13. For this accurate chronology, we are indebted to the diligence and judgment of Pagi, Tom. 2, pages 559, 560. 9089 right arrow curving left. A horse of a bay or red color was styled Phylambda Iota Omicron by the Greeks, Balan by the barbarians, and Spadix by the Romans. Honesty Spadices, says Virgil, Georgics, L. 372, with the observations of Martin and Hain. Sigma Pi Delta Iota Xi or Beta Iota Omicron Nu signifies a branch of the palm tree, whose name, Phi Omicron Nu Iota Xi, is synonymous to red, Aulus Gellius 226. Right arrow curving left. I interpret beta alpha nu delta alpha lambda rho iota omicron, not as a proper name, but an office, standard bearer, from bandum, vexilum, a barbaric word adopted by the Greeks and Romans, Paul Diaconus, L. I see, 20, page 760. Grotius, nomina appellativa et verba gothica, page 575, Ducange, 
Glossarium Latinitatis, Tom. I, pages 539, 540. Right arrow curving left. M. D'Anville has given, in the Memoirs of the Academy for the year 1756, Tom. Triple X, pages 198, 236, a plan of Rome on a smaller scale, but far more accurate than that which he had delineated in 1738 for Rollins' history. Experience had improved his knowledge. And instead of Rossi's topography, he used the new and excellent map of Nolly. Pliny's old measure of 13 must be reduced to 8 miles. It is easier to alter a text than to remove hills or buildings. 9090 CHLXXI. It is quite clear, observe Sir John Hobhouse, that all these measurements differ, in the first and second it is 21, in the next 12 and 345 paces, in the last 10. Yet it is equally clear that the historian avers that they are all the same. The present extent 12 and 3 quarters, nearly agrees with the second statement of Gibbon. Sir J. Hobhouse also observes that the walls were enlarged by Constantine. But there can be no doubt that the circuit has been much changed. Historical illustrations of the fourth canto of Child Herald, page 180. M. Right arrow curving left. In the year 1709, Labat, Voyages en Espagne et en Italy, Tom. 3, page 218, reckoned 138,568 Christian souls, besides 8,000 or 10,000 Jews, without souls. In the year 1763, the numbers exceeded 160,000. Right arrow curving left. The accurate eye of Nardini, Roma Antica, L. I see, 8, page 31, could distinguish the tumultuary au pair di Bellisurio. Right arrow curving left. The fissure and leaning in the upper part of the wall, which Procopius observed, de Bello Gothico, L. I see, 13, is visible to the present hour, Donatus, Roma Vetus AC Recens, L. I see, 17, pp. 53, 54. Right arrow curving left. Lipsius, Opera Omnia, Tom. 3, Poliorcetic and Civ de Machinus, Tormentus, Tellus, L. 3, was ignorant of this clear and conspicuous passage of Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I C. 21, the engine was named New Alpha Gamma Rho Omicron, the wild ass, a calcitrando, Henricus Stephanus, Thesaurus Greeki Lingui, Tom. 2, Pages 1340, 1341, Tom. 3, page 877. I have seen an ingenious model, contrived and executed by General Melville, which imitates or surpasses the art of antiquity. Right arrow curving left. The description of this mausoleum, or mole, in Procopius, L. I see. 25, is the first and best. The height above the walls sigma chi epsilon delta nu lambda theta omicron epsilon beta omicron lambda nu. On Nolly's great plan, the sides measure 260 English feet. 9091 right arrow curving left. Praxiteles excelled in fauns, and that of Athens was his own masterpiece. Rome now contains about 30 of the same character. When the ditch of St. Angelo was cleansed under Urban VIII. The workmen found the sleeping fawn of the Barberini Palace. But a leg, a thigh, and the right arm had been broken from that beautiful statue, Winkleman, Histoire de l'Art Atlantiquite, Tom. 2, pages 52, 53, Tom. 3, page 265. Right arrow curving left. Procopius has given the best description of the Temple of Janus a national deity of Latium, Hain, excursus v ad l, 7 Aeneid. It was once a gate in the primitive city of Romulus and Numa, Nardini, pages 13, 256, 329. Virgil has described the ancient rite like a poet and an antiquarian. Right arrow curving left. Vivarium was an angle in the new wall enclosed for wild beasts, Procopius, de Bello Gothico, l. I see, 23. The spot is still visible in Nardini, 
L4C2 PP 159 160 and Nali's great plan of Rome right arrow curving left for the Roman trumpet and its various notes consult Lipsius De Militia Romana Opera Omnia Tom 3L4 Dialogue X pages 125 129 a mode of distinguishing the charge by the horse trumpet of solid brass, and the retreat by the foot trumpet of leather and light wood, was recommended by Procopius, and adopted by Belisarius. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 2 C. 3, has forgot to name these aqueducts. Nor can such a double intersection, at such a distance from Rome, be clearly ascertained from the writings of Frontinus, Fabretti, and Eschinard, de Aquis e de Agro Romano. Or from the local maps of Lamedy and Singalani. Seven or eight miles from the city, fifty stadia, on the road to Albano, between the Latin and Appian ways, I discern the remains of an aqueduct, probably the Septimian. A series, six hundred and thirty paces, of arches twenty-five feet high, Sieta Lambda Gamma Alpha Nu. Right arrow curving left. They made sausages, lambda lambda nu tau alpha, of mule's flesh, unwholesome, if the animals had died of the plague. Otherwise the famous Bologna sausages are said to be made of ass flesh, voyages en Espain et and Italy de Labat, Tom. 2, page 218. Right arrow curving left. The name of the palace, the hill, and the adjoining gate were all derived from the senator Pincius. Some recent vestiges of temples and churches are now smoothed in the garden of the Minims of the Trinita del Monte, Nardini, L. for C. 7, page 196, Eschinard, pp. 209, 210, The Old Plan of Buffalino, and the Great Plan of Nali. Belisarius had fixed his station between the Pincian and Salarian gates, Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I. C. 15. Right arrow curving left. From the mention of the primum et secundum velum, it should seem that Belisarius, even in a siege, represented the emperor, and maintained the proud ceremonial of the Byzantine palace. Right arrow curving left. Le Beau, as a good Catholic, makes the Pope the victim of a dark intrigue. Lord Mahone, page 225, with whom I concur, sums up against him. M. Right arrow curving left. Of this act of sacrilege, Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I see, 25, is a dry and reluctant witness. The narratives of Liberatus, Breviarium Causi Nestorianorum, c. 22, and Anastasius, de Vitus Romanorum Pontificum, page 39, are characteristic, but passionate. Here the execrations of Cardinal Baronius, A.D. 536, number 123, A.D. 538, no. For, twenty portentum, fascinus omni execration dignum. Right arrow curving left. The old capina was removed by Aurelian to, or near, the modern gate of St. Sebastian, see Nali's plan. That memorable spot has been consecrated by the Egerian grove, the memory of Numa, triumphal arches, the sepulchres of the Scipios, Metelli, etc. Right arrow curving left. The expression of Procopius has an invidious cast, tau caeta nu kappa tau omicron sigma phi alpha lambda omicron tau nu sigma phi sigma iota xi upsilon mu beta eta sigma omicron mu nu eta nu kappa alpha rho alpha delta omicron kappa epsilon nu, de bello gothico, l, 2 c, 4. Yet he is speaking of a woman. Right arrow curving left. Anastasius, page 40, has preserved this epithet of Sanguinarius, which might do honor to a tiger, right arrow curving left. This transaction is related in the public history, de Bello Gothico, L. 2 c. 8, with candor or caution, in the anecdotes, c. 7, with malevolence or freedom. But Marcel Linus, or rather his continuator, in Chronicon, casts a shade of premeditated assassination over the death of Constantine. He had performed good service at Rome and Spoleto, Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. I. C. 7, 14, 
but Alamanus confounds him with a Constantinus cum stabuli. Right arrow curving left. They refused to serve after his departure, sold their captives and cattle to the Goths, and swore never to fight against them. Procopius introduces a curious digression on the manners and adventures of this wandering nation, a part of whom finally emigrated to Thule or Scandinavia. De Bello Gothico, L. 2 c. 14, 15. Right arrow curving left. This national reproach of perfidy, Procopius, De Bello Gothico, L. 2 c. 25, offends the ear of La Mothe Louvaire, Tom. 8, pp. 163, 165, who criticizes, as if he had not read, the Greek historian. Right arrow curving left. Baronius applauds his treason, and justifies the Catholic bishops, caeni sub heretico principi de gant omnum lapidem movent, a useful caution. The more rational muratori, Annali d'Italia, Tom. V. Page 54, hints at the guilt of perjury and blames at least the imprudence of Dacius, right arrow curving left. St. Dacius was more successful against devils than against barbarians. He traveled with a numerous retinue, and occupied at Corinth a large house, Baronius, A.D. 538, No. 89, A.D. 539, No. 20. Right arrow curving left. Mu Upsilon Rho Iota Delta Epsilon Tau Rho Iota Kappa Omicron Nu Tau Alpha, compare Procopius, De Bello Gothico, L. 2 c. 7, 21. Yet such population is incredible. And the second or third city of Italy 9092 need not repine if we only decimate the numbers of the present text. Both Milan and Genoa revived in less than thirty years, Paul Diaconus, De Gestis Langobardorum, L. 2 c. 38. Right arrow curving left. Besides Procopius, perhaps two Roman, see the chronicles of Marius and Marcel Linus, Jornans, in De Regnorum A.C. Temporum Succession in Muratori, Tom. I. Page 241, and Gregory of Tours, L. 3 c. 32, in Tom. Two of the Historians of France. Gregory supposes a defeat of Belisarius, who, in I Moin, de gestis Francorum, L. 2 c. 23, in Tom. 3, page 59, is slain by the Franks. Right arrow curving left. Agathias, L. I, pages 14, 15. Could he have seduced or subdued the Jeopardy or Lombards of Pannonia, the Greek historian is confident that he must have been destroyed in Thrace. Right arrow curving left. The king pointed his spear, the bull overturned a tree on his head, he expired the same day. Such is the story of Agathias, but the original historians of France, Tom. 2, pp. 202, 403, 558, 667, impute his death to a fever. Right arrow curving left. Without losing myself in a labyrinth of species and names, the aurochs, urus, bisons, bubulus, bonasus, buffalo, etc. Buffon, Histoire naturelle, Tom. 11, and supplement, Tom. 3, 6, it is certain that in the 6th century a large wild species of horned cattle was hunted in the great forests of the Vosges in Lorraine, and the Ardennes, Gregorii Turanici, Tom. 2L, XC. 10, page 369, right arrow curving left. Oximum, page 175, M, right arrow curving left. In the siege of Oximum, he first labored to demolish an old aqueduct, and then cast into the stream, 1, dead bodies, 2, mischievous herbs, and 3. Quicklime, which is named, says Procopius, L, 2C, 27, Tau Tau Alpha Nu Omicron by the ancients, by the modern Sigma Beta Epsilon Sigma Tau Omicron. Yet both words are used as synonymous in Galen, Dioscorides, and Lucian, Henricus Stephanus, Thesaurus Greeki Lingui, Tom. 3, page 748. Right arrow curving left. The Goths suspected Mathesuintha as an accomplice in the mischief, which perhaps was occasioned by accidental lightning. Right arrow curving left. 
In strict philosophy, a limitation of the rights of war seems to imply nonsense and contradiction. Grotius himself is lost in an idle distinction between the just naturi and the just gentium, between poison and infection. He balances in one scale the passages of Homer, Odyssey I-259, etc. And Florus, L. 2 C. 20, number 7 Ultimate. And in the other the examples of Solon, Pausanias, L. X. C. 37, and Belisarius. See his great work De Jure Belli et Paces, L. 3 C. 4, S. 15, 17, and in Barbirac's version, Tom. 2, page 257. Etc. Yet I can understand the benefit and validity of an agreement, tacit or express, mutually to abstain from certain modes of hostility. See the Amphictyonic Oath in Eschines. De false allegation. Right arrow curving left. Ravenna was taken, not in the year 540, but in the latter end of 539, and Pagi, Tom. 2, page 569, is rectified by Muratori, and Ali d'Italia, Tom. V. P. 62, who proves from an original act on papyrus, Antiquitates Italici Medii Evi, Tom. 2 Dessert. XXXA, pages 999, 1007, Maffei, Historia Diplomatica, pp. 155, 160, that before the 3rd of January, 540, peace and free correspondence were restored between Ravenna and Faenza. Right arrow curving left. He was seized by John the Sanguinary, but an oath or sacrament was pledged for his safety in the Basilica Julie, Historia Macella, L. 17 in Muratori, Tom. I. Page 107. Anastasius, in De Vitus Romanorum Pontificum, page 40, gives a dark but probable account. Montfaucon is quoted by Moscou, History of the Ancient Germans 1221, for a votive shield representing the captivity of Vitages, and now in the collection of Senior Landi at Rome. Right arrow curving left. Vitages lived two years at Constantinople, and Imperatoris in effectu convictus, or conjunctus, rebus excessit humanis. His widow, Mathiswenta, the wife and mother of the patricians, the elder and younger Germanus, united the streams of Anitian and Amali blood, Jornans, c. 60, page 221 in Muratori, Tom. 1. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 3 C. 1. Imoin, a French monk of the 11th century, who had obtained, and has disfigured, some authentic information of Belisarius, mentions, in his name, 12,000. Pueri or slaves, quos proprius alimus stipendius, besides 18,000 soldiers, historians of France, Tom. 3. De Gestis Francorum, L. 2 C. 6, page 48, right arrow curving left. The diligence of Alamanus could add but little to the four first and most curious chapters of the anecdotes. Of these strange anecdotes, a part may be true, because probable, and a part true, because improbable. Procopius must have known the former, and the latter he could scarcely invent. 9093 right arrow curving left. Procopius intimates, anecdota, c. 4, that, when Belisarius returned to Italy, a.d. 543, Antonina was sixty years of age. A forced but more polite construction, which refers that date to the moment when he was writing, a.d. 559, would be compatible with the manhood of Photius, de Bello Gothico, l. I. C. 10, in 536. Right arrow curving left. Compare the Vandalic War, l. I. C. 12, with the anecdotes, c. 1, and Alamanus, pages 2, 3. This mode of baptismal adoption was revived by Leo the philosopher. Right arrow curving left. In November, 537, Photius arrested the Pope, Liberatus, Breviarium Causi Nestorianorum, c. 22, page I, Tom. 2, page 562. About the end of 539, Belisarius sent Theodosius, 
Tau Nu Tau Omicron Kappa Tau Alpha Tau Omicron Phi Epsilon Sigma Tau Tau Alpha, on an important and lucrative commission to Ravenna, de Bello Gothico, L, 2C, 18. Right arrow curving left. Theophanes, Chronographia, page 204, styles him Photonus, the son-in-law of Belisarius, and he is copied by the Historia Micella and Anastasius. Right arrow curving left. This and much of the private scandal in the anecdota is liable to serious doubt. Who reported all these private conversations, and how did they reach the ears of Procopius? M. Right arrow curving left. This is a strange misrepresentation, he died of a dysentery, nor does it appear that it was immediately after this scene. Antonina proposed to raise him to the generalship of the army, Lambda Lambda Tau Iota Pyro Omicron Tau Epsilon Rho Sigma Alpha Sigma Alpha Delta Kappa Eta Nu Sigma Lambda Nu Tau Alpha Delta Upsilon Sigma Epsilon Iota Tau Epsilon Rho Alpha Xi Nu Theta Rho Pi Omega Nu Alpha Tau Nu Phi Alpha Nu Iota Zeta Epsilon Iota. Procopius, Anecdota, page 14. The sudden change from the abstemious diet of a monk to the luxury of the court is a much more probable cause of his death. M. Right arrow curving left. The expression of Procopius does not appear to me to mean this kind of torture, phi tau iota omicron nu delta alpha iota kappa iota sigma mu omicron tau epsilon lambda lambda omicron iota nu delta rho alpha pi omicron delta delta epsilon sigma iota pi epsilon rho iota beta alpha lambda omicron sigma alpha. Kappa alpha iota xi gamma alpha sigma epsilon delta alpha tau tau epsilon tau nu mu omega nu kappa alpha iota tau omicron nu omega tau omicron epsilon pi omicron lambda lambda. Anecdota, page 14, m. Right arrow curving left. The continuator of the chronicle of Marcel Linus gives, in a few decent words, the substance of the anecdotes, Belisarius de Orient Evocatus, in often Sam Periculumc in Curran's grave. Et invidii subisens versus remitter in Italium, p. 54, right arrow curving left. It will be a pleasure, not a task, to read Herodotus, L. 7 c. 104, 134, pages 550, 615. The conversation of Xerxes and Demaratus at Thermopylae is one of the most interesting and moral scenes in history. It was the torture of the royal Spartan to behold, with anguish and remorse, the virtue of his country. Right arrow curving left. See this proud inscription in Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historiae 727. Few men have more exquisitely tasted of glory and disgrace, nor could Juvenal, Satires X, produce a more striking example of the vicissitudes of fortune and the vanity of human wishes. Right arrow curving left. Gamma Rho Alpha Iota Kappa Omicron, Xi Nu Tau Pi Rho Tau Epsilon Rho Alpha Omicron Delta Nu Alpha Iota Tau Alpha Lambda Alpha Nu Kappa Omicron Nu Tau Alpha Epsilon Delta Omicron Nu Tau Iota Mu Tau Rho Alpha Gamma Omega Delta Omicron Kappa Alpha Nu Alpha Tau Alpha Lambda Omega Pi Omicron Delta Tau Alpha. This last epithet of Procopius is too nobly translated by pirates. Naval thieves is the proper word. Strippers of garments, either for injury or insult, Demosthenes contra Conan, in Reisk, Orators Greasy, Tom. 2, page 1264. Right arrow curving left. See the third and fourth books of the Gothic War, the writer of the anecdotes cannot aggravate these abuses. Right arrow curving left. Agathias, L. V., pages 157, 158. He confines this weakness of the emperor and the empire to the old age of Justinian, but alas! He was never young. Right arrow curving left. This mischievous policy, which Procopius, Anecdota, c. 19, imputes to the emperor, is revealed in his epistle to a Scythian prince, who was capable of understanding it. Gamma alpha nu pi rho omicron mu eta theta kappa alpha gamma chi iota nu omicron sigma tau alpha tau omicron nu, says Agathias, L. V., pages 170, 171. Right arrow curving left. Gens Germana ferritate ferocer, says Valius Paterculus of the Lombards, 2106. Langobardos Positas nobilitat. P. 
Plurimus ac valentissimus nationibus sincti non per obsequium, sed praelius edi per latando, tutti sunt, tacitus, de moribus germanorum, c. 40. See likewise Strabo, l. 7, page 446. The best geographers place them beyond the Elba, in the bishopric of Magdeburg and the middle march of Brandenburg. And their situation will agree with the patriotic remark of the Count de Hertzberg, that most of the barbarian conquerors issued from the same countries which still produced the armies of Prussia. 9094 right arrow curving left. The Scandinavian origin of the Goths and Lombards, as stated by Paul Warnfred, surnamed the Deacon, is attacked by Claverius, Germania Antiqua, L. 3 c. 26, page 102, etc. A native of Prussia, and defended by Grotius, Prolegomena ad Historia Gotharum, page 28, etc., the Swedish ambassador, right arrow curving left. Two facts in the narrative of Paul Diaconus, L. I C. 20, are expressive of national manners, 1, dum ad tabulum literet, while he played at drafts. 2. Camporum viridantia lina. The cultivation of flax supposes property, commerce, agriculture, and manufactures. Right arrow curving left. I have used, without undertaking to reconcile, the facts in Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 2 c. 14, L. 3 c. 33, 34, L. 4 c. 18, 25, Paul Diaconus, De Gestis Langobardorum, L. I C. 1, 23, in Muratori, Rerum Italicarum Scriptors, Tom. I. P. P. 405, 419, and Jornans, De Regnorum A. C. Temporum Succession, page 242. The patient reader may draw some light from Moscow, History of the Ancient Germans, and Annotation XXI, and Dubut, Histoire Ancients de Pupils de l'Europe, Tom. 9, x, 11. Right arrow curving left. I adopt the appellation of Bulgarians from Enodius, in, Panegyricus Theodorici, Opera Varia Sermon, Tom. I, pages 1598, 1599, Jornans, de Rebus Genesis, c, 5, p. 194, et de Regnorum ac temporum succession, page 242, Theophanes, page 185, and the chronicles of Cassiodorus and Marcellinus. The name of Huns is too vague. The tribes of the Cutargurians and Uttergurians are too minute and too harsh. 9095 right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 4 c. 19. His verbal message, he owns himself an illiterate barbarian, is delivered as an epistle. The style is savage, figurative, and original. Right arrow curving left. This sum is the result of a particular list, in a curious MS fragment of the year 550, found in the Library of Milan. The obscure geography of the times provokes and exercises the patience of the Count du Butte, Tom. 11, pages 69, 189. The French minister often loses himself in a wilderness which requires a Saxon and Polish guide. Right arrow curving left. Panicum, Milium. C. Columella, L. 2 C. 9, page 430, edit. Gessner. Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historii 1824, 25. The Sarmatians made a pap of millet, mingled with mare's milk or blood. In the wealth of modern husbandry, our millet feeds poultry, and not heroes. See the dictionaries of Jacques Christophe Valmont Bomare and Philip Miller. Right arrow curving left. For the name and nation, the situation and manners of the Sclavonians, see the original evidence of the 6th century, in Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 2 c. 26, L. 3 c. 14, and the Emperor Mauritius or Maurice, Strategican, L. 2 c. 5, apud Moscou Annotation XXXI. The stratagems of Maurice have been printed only, as I understand, at the end of Scheffer's edition of Arian's Tactics, at Upsal, 1664, Fabricius, Bibliotheca Greca, L. 4 c. 8, Tom. 
3, p. 278, a scarce, and hitherto, to me, an inaccessible book. Right arrow curving left. Antesirum fortissimi. Tasis ca rapidus e divorticosis in his tri fluenta furens devolvitor, Jornans, c. 5, page 194, edit. Muratori, Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 3, c. 14, etida edificius, L. 4, c. 7. Yet the same Procopius mentions the Goths and Huns as neighbors, Gamma Epsilon Iota Tau Omicron Nu Omicron Nu Tau Alpha, to the Danube, de Edificius, L. For C, 1, right arrow curving left. The national title of Antichus, in the laws and inscriptions of Justinian, was adopted by his successors, and is justified by the pious Ludwig, in Vita Justiniani, page 515. It had strangely puzzled the civilians of the Middle Age. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 4 C. 25, right arrow curving left. An inroad of the Huns is connected, by Procopius, with a comet. Perhaps that of 531, de Bello Persico, L. 2 C. 4. Agathias, L. V. pages 154, 155, borrows from his predecessors some early facts. Right arrow curving left. The cruelties of the Sclavonians are related or magnified by Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 3 c. 29, 38. For their mild and liberal behavior to their prisoners, we may appeal to the authority, somewhat more recent, of the Emperor Maurice, Strategican, L. 2 c. 5. Right arrow curving left. Tapyrus was situate near Philippi in Thrace, or Macedonia, opposite to the Isle of Thassos, twelve days' journey from Constantinople, Salarius, Tom. I, pages 676, 840. Right arrow curving left. According to the malevolent testimony of the anecdotes, c. 18, these inroads had reduced the provinces south of the Danube to the state of a Scythian wilderness. Right arrow curving left. It must be remembered that the name of Turks is extended to a whole family of the Asiatic races, and not confined to the Asina, or Turks of the Altai. M. Right arrow curving left. Asina, the wolf, was the name of this chief. Claproth, Tableaux Historiques de L.A.C., page 114, M. Right arrow curving left. From C.A.F. to C.A.F. Which a more rational geography would interpret, from Imaz, perhaps, to Mount Atlas. According to the religious philosophy of the Mohammedans, the basis of Mount Caf is an emerald, whose reflection produces the azure of the sky. The mountain is endowed with a sensitive action in its roots or nerves, and their vibration, at the command of God, is the cause of earthquakes, d. Herbalot, pages 230, 231, right arrow curving left. Altai, i.e. Alton Taff, The Golden Mountain. Von Hammer, Gestic de Osmanischen Reichs, Volume 1, Page 2, M, Right Arrow Curving Left. The Siberian iron is the best and most plentiful in the world. And in the southern parts, above sixty mines are now worked by the industry of the Russians, Philip Johann von Strahlenberg, History of Siberia, Pages 342, 387. Voyage en Siberi, Par el Abbe Chap d'Otoroche, pages 603-608, edit. In Duodecimo, Amsterdam, 1770. The Turks offered iron for sale. Yet the Roman ambassadors, with strange obstinacy, persisted in believing that it was all a trick, and that their country produced none, Menander in Excerpta Legationum, page 152. Right arrow curving left. Of Ergana Khan, a Bulgazi Khan, Histoire genealogique de Tatars, Party 2 c. 5, pages 71, 77, c. 15, page 155. The tradition of the Mughals, of the 450 years which they passed in the mountains, agrees with the Chinese periods of the history of the Huns and Turks, de Gines, Tom. I. Part 2, p. 376, and the 20 generations, from their restoration to Zingis. Right arrow curving left. 
The Mongol Temujin is also, though erroneously, explained by Rubrukis, a smith. Schmidt, page 876, m. Right arrow curving left. There appears the same confusion here. Bertazina, Bert Sheno, is claimed as the founder of the Mongol race. The name means the gray, blawlish, wolf. In fact, the same tradition of the origin from a wolf seems common to the Mongols and the Turks. The Mongol Bert Sheno, of the very curious Mongol history, published and translated by M. Isaac Jacob Schmidt of Petersburg, is brought from Tibet. M. Schmidt considers this tradition of the Tibetan descent of the royal race of the Mongols to be much earlier than their conversion to Lamaism, yet it seems very suspicious. See Klaproth, Tableaus Historiques de Lac, page 159. The Turkish Bertazina is called Thou Men by Klaproth, page 115. In 552, Thou Men took the title of Ka Khan, and was called Il Khan. M. Right arrow curving left. Great Bukharia is called Turkestan, see Hammer, 2, it includes all the vast steps at the foot of the Altai. The name is the same with that of the Turan of Persian poetic legend. M. Right arrow curving left. The country of the Turks, now of the Kalmuks, is well described in the genealogical history of the Tartars, pages 521, 562. The curious notes of the French translator are enlarged and digested in the second volume of the English version. Right arrow curving left. Vistalu, pages 141, 151. The fact, though it strictly belongs to a subordinate and successive tribe, may be introduced here. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I C. 12, L. 2 C. 3. Paysanal, Observations sur les Pupils Barbares, pp. 99, 100, defines the distance between Kaffa and the Old Bosphorus at 16 long Tartar leagues. Right arrow curving left. C. In a memoir of M. De Bose, Memoirs de l'Académie de Inscriptions, Tom. 6, pages 549, 565, The Ancient Kings and Medals of the Sumerian Bosphorus. And the gratitude of Athens, in the oration of Demosthenes against Leptons, in Rysk, Orators Greasy, Tom. I. Pages 466, 467. Right arrow curving left. For the origin and revolutions of the First Turkish Empire, the Chinese details are borrowed from de Gynes, Histoire de Huns, Tom. I. Party 2, pp. 367, 462 and Vistalu, Supplement à la Bibliothèque Orientale, de Herbalot, pages 82, 114. The Greek or Roman hints are gathered in Menander, pages 108, 164, and Theophylact Symacata, L. 7 c. 7, 8. Right arrow curving left. The Ogaers or Varkonites, from Var, a river, obviously connected with the name of Var, must not be confounded with the Uyghurs, the Eastern Turks, von Hammer. Gestic de Osmanischen Reichs, Volume. I, page 3, who speak a language the parent of the more modern Turkish dialects. Compare Klaproth, page 121. They are the ancestors of the Uzbek Turks. These Ogayers were of the same Finnish race with the Huns. And the 20,000 families which fled towards the west, after the Turkish invasion, were of the same race with those which remained to the east of the Volga, the true Avars of Theophylact. M. Right arrow curving left. The River Till, or Tula, according to the geography of de Gynes, Tom. I Part 2, page 58 and 352, is a small though grateful stream of the desert, that falls into the Oron, Salinga, etc. See Bell, Travels from St. Petersburg, Volume 2, page 124, yet his own description of the Keat, down which he sailed into the Obi, represents the name and attributes of the Black River, page 139. 9096 right arrow curving left. Theophylact, L. 7 c. 7, 8. 
and yet his true avars are invisible even to the eyes of M. de Gines, and what can be more illustrious than the false? The right of the fugitive Ogayers to that national appellation is confessed by the Turks themselves, Menander, page 108. Right arrow curving left. The Alani are still found in the genealogical history of the Tartars, p. 617, and in D'Anville's maps. They opposed the march of the generals of Zingis round the Caspian Sea, and were overthrown in a great battle, Histoire du Grand Genghisken, L. 4 C. 9, page 447. Right arrow curving left. The embassies and first conquests of the Avars may be read in Menander, Excerpt Allegationum, pages 99, 101, 154, 155, Theophanes, page 196, The Historia Macella, L. 16, p. 109, and Gregory of Tours, in The Historians of France, Tom. 2 L. 4 C. 23, 29, pages 214, 217. Right arrow curving left. Theophanes, Chronographia, page 204, and the Historia Macella, L. 16, p. 110, as understood by de Gines, Tom. I. Part 2, page 354, appear to speak of a Turkish embassy to Justinian himself. But that of Maniac, in the fourth year of his successor Justin, is positively the first that reached Constantinople, Menander, page 108. Right arrow curving left. The Russians have found characters, rude hieroglyphics, on the Irtish and Yenisei, on metals, tombs, idols, rocks, obelisks, etc., Strahlenberg, History of Siberia, pages 324, 346, 406, 429. Dr. Hyde, Historia Religionis Veterum Persarum, page 521, etc., has given two alphabets of Tibet and of the Uyghurs. I have long harbored a suspicion that all the Scythian, and some, perhaps much, of the Indian science was derived from the Greeks of Bactriana. 9097 right arrow curving left. This right is so curious, that I have subjoined the description of it. When these, the exorcisers, the shamans, approached Zamarcus. They took all our baggage and placed it in the center. Then, kindling a fire with branches of frankincense, lowly murmuring certain barbarous words in the Scythian language, beating on a kind of bell, a gong, and a drum. They passed over the baggage the leaves of the frankincense, crackling with the fire, and at the same time themselves becoming frantic, and violently leaping about. Seemed to exorcise the evil spirits. Having thus as they thought, averted all evil, they led Zamarcus himself through the fire. Menander, in Niebuhr's Corpus Scripturum Historiae Byzantini, page 381. Compare Carpini's Travels. The princes of the race of Zingis Khan condescended to receive the ambassadors of the King of France, at the end of the thirteenth century, without their submitting to this humiliating rite. See correspondence published by Abel Remusat, Nouveau Memoirs de l'Académie de Inscriptions, Volume 7. On the Embassy of Zamarcus, Compare Claproth, Tableaux Historiques de L.A.C., page 116. M. Right arrow curving left. All the details of these Turkish and Roman embassies, so curious in the history of human manners, are drawn from the extracts of Menander, pp. 106, 110, 151, 154, 161, 164, in which we often regret the want of order and connection. Right arrow curving left. C. D. Herbalot, Bibliotheque Oriental, pages 568, 929. Hyde, Historia Religionis Veterum Persarum, C. 21, pages 290, 291. Edward Pocock, Specimen Historiae Arabum, pages 70, 71. Eutychius, Annals, Tom. 2, page 176. Texera, in Stevens, History of Persia, L. I C. 34.9098 right arrow curving left. The fame of the new law for the community of women was soon propagated in Syria, Asimani, Bibliotheca Orientalis, Tom. 3 p. 
402, and Greece, Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I C. 5. Right arrow curving left. He offered his own wife and sister to the Prophet. But the prayers of Nushirvan saved his mother, and the indignant monarch never forgave the humiliation to which his filial piety had stooped, pedes tuas diosculatus, said he to Mazdak. Cujus fotor et huc neris occupat, pocock, specimen historii arabum, p. 71, right arrow curving left. St. Martin questions this adoption, he argues its improbability. And supposes that Procopius, perverting some popular traditions, or the remembrance of some fruitless negotiations which took place at that time, has mistaken, for a treaty of adoption. Some treaty of guarantee or protection for the purpose of ensuring the crown, after the death of Kobad, to his favorite son Kosro, volume. 8, page 32. Yet the Greek historians seem unanimous as to the proposal, the Persians might be expected to maintain silence on such a subject. M. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I. C. 11. Was not Proclus overwise? Was not the danger imaginary, the excuse, at least, was injurious to a nation not ignorant of letters, Omicron gamma rho mu mu alpha sigma iota omicron beta rho beta alpha rho omicron iota tau omicron pi alpha delta alpha pi omicron iota omicron nu tau alpha iota lambda lambda pi lambda omega nu sigma kappa epsilon eta. Whether any mode of adoption was practiced in Persia, I much doubt. Right arrow curving left. From Procopius and Agathias, page I, Tom. 2, pp. 543, 626 has proved that Khosro Nushirvan ascended the throne in the fifth year of Justinian, A.D. 531, April 1, A.D. 532, April 1. But the true chronology, which harmonizes with the Greeks and Orientals, is ascertained by John Malala's, Tom. 2-2-11. Kabades, or Kobad, after a reign of forty-three years and two months, sickened the eighth, and died the thirteenth of September, A.D. 531, aged eighty-two years. According to the annals of Eutychius, Nushirvan reigned forty-seven years and six months, and his death must consequently be placed in March, A.D. 579. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I. C. 23. Brisson, de Regio Persarum, page 494. The gate of the palace of Ispahan is, or was, the fatal scene of disgrace or death, Chardon, Voyages and Purse, Tom. 4, pages 312, 313. Right arrow curving left. This is a strange term. Nushirvan employed a stratagem similar to that of Jehu, 2 Kings 10 18, 28, to separate the followers of Mazdak from the rest of his subjects, and with a body of his troops cut them all in pieces. The Greek writers concur with the Persian in this representation of Nushirvan's temperate conduct. Theophanes, page 146. Mercond, page 362. Eutychius, Annals, Volume 2, page 179. Abulfida, in an unedited part, consulted by St. Martin as well as in a passage formerly cited. Lobo, Volume 8, page 38. Malcolm, Volume 1. Page 109. M. Right arrow curving left. In Persia, the prince of the waters is an officer of state. The number of wells and subterraneous channels is much diminished, and with it the fertility of the soil, 400 wells have been recently lost near Taurus, and 42. 000, 000, 000 were once reckoned in the province of Khorasan, Chardon, Tom. 3, pages 99, 100. Tavernier, Tom. I, page 416. Right arrow curving left. The character and government of Nushirvan is represented sometimes in the words of D. Herbalot, Bibliotheque Orientale, page 680, etc. From Condomir, Eutychius, Annals, Tom. 2, pages 179, 180, Very Rich, Abulpharagius, Historia Compendiosa Dynastiarum 7, pages 94, 95, 
very poor, Shikard, Tarek, pp. 144, 150, Texera, in Stevens, L. I see, 35, Asimani, Bibliotheca Orientalis, Tom. 3, pages 404, 410, and the Abbe Formont, Histoire de l'Académie de Inscriptions, Tom. 7, pp. 325, 334, who has translated a spurious or genuine testament of Nushirvan. Right arrow curving left. A thousand years before his birth, the judges of Persia had given a solemn opinion tau beta alpha sigma iota lambda epsilon omicron nu tau iota pi epsilon rho sigma omega nu xi epsilon nu alpha iota pi omicron iota epsilon iota nu tau omicron nu beta omicron lambda eta tau alpha iota, Herodotus, L. 3 C. 31, page 210, edit. Wesseling. Nor had this constitutional maxim been neglected as a useless and barren theory. Right arrow curving left. On the literary state of Persia, the Greek versions, philosophers, sophists, the learning or ignorance of Khosrow, Agathias, L. 2 c. 66, 71, displays much information and strong prejudices. Right arrow curving left. Asimani, Bibliotheca Orientalis, Tom. 4, p. DCCXLV, 6, 7. Right arrow curving left. The Shah Nami, or Book of Kings, is perhaps the original record of history which was translated into Greek by the interpreter Sergius, Agathias, L. V. P. 141, preserved after the Mohammedan conquest and versified in the year 994, by the national poet Ferdowsi. C. D. Enquidil, Memoirs de l'Academy, Tom. XXXI, P. 379, and Sir William Jones, The History of the Life of Nadir Shah, page 161. Right arrow curving left. In the 5th century, the name of Rez Tom, or Rostam, a hero who equaled the strength of twelve elephants, was familiar to the Armenians, Moses Coronensis, History of Armenia, L. 2 c. 7, p. 96, edit. Wiston. In the beginning of the 7th, the Persian romance of Rostam and Isfendir was applauded at Mecca, George Sale's Quran, c. XXXI, page 335. Yet this exposition of Ludicrum Novi Historii is not given by Marachi, Refutatio al Qurani, pages 544, 548. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 4 c. 10. Kobad had a favorite Greek physician. Stephen of Edessa, de Bello Persico, L. 2 c. 26. The practice was ancient, and Herodotus relates the adventures of Democedes of Crotona, L. 3 pp. 125, 137. Right arrow curving left. C. Page I, Tom. 2. Page 626. In one of the treaties an honorable article was inserted for the toleration and burial of the Catholics, Menander, in Excerpta Legationum, page 142. Nushazad, a son of Nushirvan, was a Christian, a rebel, and, a martyr? Derbalot, page 681, right arrow curving left. On the Persian language, and its three dialects, consult Dianquidil, pages 339, 343, and Jones, pp. 153, 185 Gamma Rho Tau Iota Nu Gamma Lambda Tau Tau Kappa Alpha Mu Omicron Upsilon Sigma Omicron Tau Tau, is the character which Agathias, L. 2, page 66, ascribes to an idiom renowned in the East for poetical softness. Right arrow curving left. Agathias specifies the Gorgias, Phaedon, Parmenides, and Timaeus. Renaudot, Fabricius, Bibliotheca Greca, Tom. 12. Pages 246, 261, does not mention this barbaric version of Aristotle. Right arrow curving left. Of these fables, I have seen three copies in three different languages. In Greek, translated by Simeon Seth, A.D. 1100, from the Arabic, and published by Stark at Berlin in 1697. In Duodecimo. In Latin, a version from the Greek, Sapientia in Dorum, 
inserted by Per Poussin at the end of his edition of Pacamer, pages 547, 620, edit. Roman. In French, from the Turkish, dedicated, in 1540, to Sultan Solomon, Conte de Fables Indiens de Bid Pi et de Lachman, par M. M. Galland et Cardon, Paris, 1778, two volumes in duodecimo. Mr. Wharton, History of English Poetry, Volume 1, pages 129, 131, takes a larger scope. 9099 right arrow curving left. See the Historia Shahiludii of Dr. Hyde, Syntagma Dissertationum, Tom. 2, pages 61, 69. Right arrow curving left. The Endless Peace, Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I see, 21, was concluded or ratified in the sixth year and third consulship of Justinian, A.D. 533, between January 1st and April 1st, page I, Tom. 2, page 550. Marcel Linus, in his chronicle, uses the style of Medes and Persians. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I C. 26. Right arrow curving left. Almandar, king of Hira, was deposed by Kobad, and restored by Nushirvan. His mother, from her beauty, was surnamed Celestial Water, an appellation which became hereditary. And was extended for a more noble cause, liberality in famine, to the Arab princes of Syria, Pocock, Specimen Historii Arabum, pp. 69, 70. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. 2 C. 1. We are ignorant of the origin and object of this strata, a paved road of ten days' journey from Oronitis to Babylonia. See a Latin note in Guillaume de Lisle's map Imperial Oriental. Wesseling and D'Anville are silent. Right arrow curving left. I have blended, in a short speech, the two orations of the Arsacides of Armenia and the Gothic ambassadors. Procopius, in his public history, feels, and makes us feel, that Justinian was the true author of the war, de Bello Persico, L. 2 C. 2, 3, right arrow curving left. The invasion of Syria, the ruin of Antioch, etc. are related in a full and regular series by Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. 2 C. 5, 14. Small collateral aid can be drawn from the Orientals, yet not they, but de Herbalot himself, p. 680, should blush when he blames them for making Justinian and Nushirvan contemporaries. On the geography of the seat of war, de Anvil, El Euphrate et le Tigre, is sufficient and satisfactory. Right arrow curving left. It is Sura in Procopius. Is it a misprint in Gibbon? M. Right arrow curving left. Jonas Lydus attributes the easy capture of Antioch to the want of fortifications which had not been restored since the earthquake, L. 3 C. 54, page 246, M. Right arrow curving left. Lydus asserts that he carried away all the statues, pictures, and marbles which adorned the city, L. 3 C. 54, page 246, M. Right arrow curving left. In the public history of Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. 2 C. 16, 18, 21, 24, 28, and, with some slight exceptions, we may reasonably shut our ears against the malevolent whisper of the anecdotes, C. 2, 3, with the notes, as usual, of Alamanus. Right arrow curving left. The Lazic War, the contest of Rome and Persia on the Phasis, is tediously spun through many a page of Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. 2 C. 15, 17, 28, 30, de Bello Gothico, L. 4 C. 7, 16, and Agathias, L. 2, 3 and 4, pages 55, 132, 141. Right arrow curving left. The periplus, or circumnavigation of the Euxine Sea, was described in Latin by Sallust, and in Greek by Arian. The former work, which no longer exists, has been restored by the singular diligence of M. de Brasses, first president of the Parliament of Dijon, 
Histoire de la République Romaine, Tom. 2L3, pages 199, 298, who ventures to assume the character of the Roman historian. His description of the Euxene is ingeniously formed of all the fragments of the original, and of all the Greeks and Latins whom Sallust might copy, or by whom he might be copied. And the merit of the execution atones for the whimsical design. The Periplus of Arian is addressed to the Emperor Hadrian, in Hudson's Geography Greci Minoris, Tom. 1, and contains whatever the governor of Pontus had seen from Trebizond to Dioscurias, whatever he had heard from Dioscurias to the Danube, and whatever he knew from the Danube to Trebizond. Right arrow curving left. Besides the many occasional hints from the poets, historians, etc., of antiquity, we may consult the geographical descriptions of Calchos, by Strabo, L. 11, pp. 760, 765, and Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historii 65, 19, etc., right arrow curving left. I shall quote, and have used, three modern descriptions of Mingrelia and the adjacent countries. Of the Per Archangeli Lamberti, Relations de Thevenot, Part 1, pages 31, 52, with a map, who has all the knowledge and prejudices of a missionary. Of Chardon, Voyages and Purse, Tom. I, pp. 54, 68, 168. His observations are judicious, and his own adventures in the country are still more instructive than his observations. Of Paisonal, Observations Sir Les Pupil's Barbers, pp. 49, 51, 58, 62, 64, 65, 71, etc., and a more recent treatise, Traite sur le commerce de la mer noire, Tom. 2, pages 1, 53. He had long resided at Caffa, as consul of France. And his erudition is less valuable than his experience. Right arrow curving left. Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historii, L. 3315. The gold and silver mines of Calchos attracted the Argonauts, Strabonis Geographica, L. I, page 77. The sagacious Chardon could find no gold in mines, rivers, or elsewhere. Yet a Mingrelian lost his hand and foot for showing some specimens at Constantinople of native gold. Right arrow curving left. Herodotus, L. 2 c. 104, 105, pages 150, 151. Diodorus Siculus, L. I, page 33, edit. Wesseling. Dionysius Periagites 689, and Eustathius Adlock Scoliast ad Apollonius, Argonautica, L. 4282, 291, right arrow curving left. Montesquieu, de l'Esprit de Loix, L. XXIC 6. Lisma, Couvert de Ville's et Nations Cani Sant Plus. Right arrow curving left. Bougainville, Memoirs de l'Académie de Inscriptions, Tom. XXV, P. 33, On the African Voyage of Hanno and the Commerce of Antiquity. Right arrow curving left. A Greek historian, Timosthenes, had affirmed, in Eme CCC Nations de Similibus Linguis Descendera. And the modest Pliny the Elder is content to add, Edi Postia a Nostra CXXX Interpretibus Negotia Ibi Gesta, 6 5. But the words Nunc Deserta cover a multitude of past fictions. Right arrow curving left. Buffon, Histoire Naturelle, Tom. 3, pages 433, 437 collects the unanimous suffrage of naturalists and travelers. If, in the time of Herodotus, they were in truth mu epsilon lambda gamma chiro omicron epsilon and omicron lambda tauro iota chi epsilon, and he had observed them with care, this precious fact is an example of the influence of climate on a foreign colony. Right arrow curving left. The Mingrelian ambassador arrived at Constantinople with two hundred persons, but he ate, sold, them day by day, till his retinue was diminished to a secretary in two valets, Tavernier, Tom. I, page 365. To purchase his mistress, a Mingrelian gentleman sold twelve priests and his wife to the Turks, Chardon, Tom.
Tom. I, page 66, right arrow curving left. Strabo, L, 11, page 765. Lamberti, Relation de la Colchide, O. U. Mingrelli. Yet we must avoid the contrary extreme of Chardon, who allows no more than 20,000 inhabitants to supply an annual exportation of 12,000 slaves, an absurdity unworthy of that judicious traveler. Right arrow curving left. Herodotus, L. 3 c. 97. c. in L. 7 c. 79, their arms and service in the expedition of Xerxes against Greece. Right arrow curving left. Xenophon, who had encountered the Colchians in his retreat, Anabasis, L. 4, pages 320, 343, 348, edit. Hutchinson, and Foster's Dissertation, p. 53, 58, in Spellman's English Version, Volume 2, styles them Alpha Tau Nu Omicron Mu Omicron Iota. Before the conquest of Mithridates, they are named by Appian Theta Nu Omicron Rho Epsilon Mu Alpha Nu Epsilon, De Bello Mithridatico, c. 15, Tom. I. P. 661, of the last and best edition, by John Schweighauser, Lipsy, 1785, three volumes large octavo. Right arrow curving left. The conquest of Calchos by Mithridates and Pompey is marked by Appian, De Bello Mithridatico, and Plutarch, in parallel lives, Vita Pompey. Right arrow curving left. We may trace the rise and fall of the family of Polemo, in Strabo, L. 11, page 755, L. 12, page 867, Dion Cassius or Xiphilin, pages 588, 593, 601, 719, 754, 915, 946, edit. Raymar, Suetonius, in De Vita Caesarum, Nero, c. 18, Vespasian, c. 8, Eutropius, 714, Josephus, Antiquitates Judaici, L. XXC, 7, page 970, edit. Haverkamp, and Eusebius, Chronicon with Scaliger, Animadversion page 196, right arrow curving left. In the time of Procopius, there were no Roman forts on the Phasis. Pityus and Sebastopolis were evacuated on the rumor of the Persians, de bello gothico, L. for c. 4, but the latter was afterwards restored by Justinian, de edificius, L. for c. 7. Right arrow curving left. In the time of Pliny the Elder, Arian, and Ptolemy, the Lazzi were a particular tribe on the northern skirts of Colchos, Celerius, Geographia Antiqua, Tom. 2, page 222. In the age of Justinian, they spread, or at least reigned, over the whole country. At present, they have migrated along the coast towards Trebizond, and compose a rude seafaring people, with a peculiar language, Chardon, page 149, Paisonal, page 64. Right arrow curving left. John Malala's, Chronographia, Tom. 2, pages 134, 137. Theophanes, page 144. Historia Micella, L. 15, page 103. The fact is authentic, but the date seems too recent. In speaking of their Persian alliance, the Lazi contemporaries of Justinian employ the most obsolete words, nu gamma rho mu mu alpha sigma iota mu nu eta mu epsilon iota alpha, pyro gamma omicron nu omicron iota, etc. Could they belong to a connection which had not been dissolved above twenty years? Right arrow curving left. The sole vestige of Petra subsists in the writings of Procopius and Agathias. Most of the towns and castles of Lazica may be found by comparing their names and position with the map of Mingrelia, in Lamberti. Right arrow curving left. See the amusing letters of Pietro della Valle, the Roman traveler, Viaggi, Tom. 2207, 209, 213, 215, 266, 286, 300, Tom. 3, pages 54, 127. In the years 1618, 1619, and 1620, he conversed with Shah Abbas, 
and strongly encouraged a design which might have united Persia and Europe against their common enemy the Turk. Right arrow curving left. C. Herodotus, L. I. C. 140, page 69, who speaks with diffidence, Larcher, Tom. I. Pages 399, 401, notes Sir Herodot, Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I. C. 11, and Agathias, L. 2, pp. 61, 62. This practice, agreeable to the Zendavesta, Hyde, Historia Religionis Veterum Persarum, c. 34, pages 414, 421, demonstrates that the burial of the Persian kings, Xenophon, Cyropedia, L. 8, page 658, Tau Gamma Rho Tau Omicron Tau Omicron Upsilon Mu Alpha Kappa Alpha Rho Iota Tau Epsilon Rho Omicron Nu Tau Omicron Tau Gamma Mu Iota Chi Theta Nu Alpha Iota, is a Greek fiction, and that their tombs could be no more than cenotaphs. Right arrow curving left. These seem the same people called Swanians, see earlier in this chapter. M. Right arrow curving left. The punishment of flaying alive could not be introduced into Persia by Sapper, Brisson, de Regio Persarum, L. 2 p. 578, nor could it be copied from the foolish tale of Marcius the Phrygian Piper, most foolishly quoted as a precedent by Agathias, L. 4, pages 132, 133. Right arrow curving left. According to Agathias, the death of Gubazes preceded the defeat of Nacaragan. The trial took place after the battle. M. Right arrow curving left. In the palace of Constantinople there were thirty silentiaries, who were styled hastati, antiphores cubiculi, tau sigma iota gamma, pi iota sigma tau tau alpha iota, an honorable title which conferred the rank. Without imposing the duties, of a senator, Codex Theodosianus, L. 6 tit. 23, Gothafridus comment. Tom. 2, page 129. Right arrow curving left. On these judicial orations, Agathias, L. 3, pages 81, 89, L. 4, pp. 108, 119, lavishes 18 or 20 pages of false and florid rhetoric. His ignorance or carelessness overlooks the strongest argument against the king of Lazica, his former revolt. 9100 right arrow curving left. Procopius represents the practice of the Gothic court of Ravenna, de Bello Gothico, L. I. C. 7. And foreign ambassadors have been treated with the same jealousy and rigor in Turkey, Busbequius, Epistola 3, pages 149, 242, etc. Russia, Relation du Voyage d'Adamolierius, and China, Narrative of M. de Lang, in Bell's Travels from St. Petersburg, Volume 2, pages 189, 311. Right arrow curving left. The negotiations and treaties between Justinian and Cosro are copiously explained by Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. 2 c. 10, 13, 26, 28, de Bello Gothico, L. 2 c. 11, 15, Agathias, L. 4, pages 141, 142, and Menander, in Excerpta Legationum, pages 132, 147. Consult Barbirac, Histoire de Ancients Traits, Tom. 2, pages 154, 181, 184, 193, 200. Right arrow curving left. Derbalot, Bibliotheque Oriental, pages 680, 681, 294, 295. Right arrow curving left. C. Buffon, Histoire Naturelle, Tom. 3, page 449. This Arab cast of features and complexion, which has continued 3,400 years, Hobus Ladolphus, Historia Ethiopica et Commentarius, L. I. C. 4. In the colony of Abyssinia, will justify the suspicion that race, as well as climate, must have contributed to form the Negroes of the adjacent and similar regions. 9101 right arrow curving left. The Portuguese missionaries, 
Francisco Alvarez, Ramuzio, Tom. Ifolio 204 Recto, 274 Verso, John de Bermudez, Samuel Purchases Purchase His Pilgrimage, Volume 2 LVC, 7, pp. 1149-1188, Jerome Lobo, Voyage Historique d'Abyssinie par M. Le Grand, with 15 dissertations, Paris, 1728, and Baltazar Tellez, Relations de Divers Voyages Curiex de Thevenot, Part 4, could only relate of modern Abyssinia what they had seen or invented. The erudition of Ladolphus, Historia Ethiopica, Francoferti ad Minum, 1681, Commentarius, 1691, Appendix, 1694, in twenty-five languages, could add little concerning its ancient history. Yet the fame of Kaled, or Elistheus, the conqueror of Yemen, is celebrated in national songs and legends. Right arrow curving left. The negotiations of Justinian with the Axumites, or Ethiopians, are recorded by Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I C. 19, 20, and John Malala's, Tom. 2, pages 163, 165, 193, 196. The historian of Antioch quotes the original narrative of the ambassador Nanosis, of which Photius, Bibliotheca Codex III, has preserved a curious extract. Right arrow curving left. The trade of the Axumites to the coast of India and Africa and the Isle of Ceylon is curiously represented by Cosmos Indicoplusts, Topographia Christiana, L. 2, pages 132, 138, 140, L. 11, pages 338, 339. Right arrow curving left. It appears by the important inscription discovered by Mr. Salt at Axum, and from a law of Constantius, January 16, 356, inserted in the Theodosian Code, L. 12, c. 12, that in the middle of the 4th century of our era the princes of the Axumites joined to their titles that of King of the Homerites. The conquests which they made over the Arabs in the 6th century were only a restoration of the ancient order of things. St. Martin Vol. 8, page 46. M. Right arrow curving left. Ladolphus, Historia Ethiopica et Commentarius, L. 2 c. 3. Right arrow curving left. The city of Negra, or Nagran, in Yemen, is surrounded with palm trees, and stands in the high road between Sana the capital and Mecca, from the former ten. From the latter twenty days' journey of a caravan of camels, a bulfida, Descriptio Arabiae, p. 52, right arrow curving left. The martyrdom of Saint Arethas, Prince of Negra, and his 340 companions, 9102 is embellished in the legends of Metaphrasts and Nicephorus Callistus, copied by Baronius, A.D. 522, no. 22, 66, A.D. 523, number 16, 29, and refuted with obscure diligence, by Basnage, Histoire de Juifs, Tom. 12 L. 8 C. 2 pp. 333, 348, who investigates the state of the Jews in Arabia and Ethiopia. Right arrow curving left. Alvarez, in Ramuzio, Tom. Ifolio 219 verso, 221 verso, saw the flourishing state of Axum in the year 1520, luogo molto buono e grande. It was ruined in the same century by the Turkish invasion. No more than 100 houses remain, but the memory of its past greatness is preserved by the regal coronation, Ladolphus, Historia Ethiopica et Commentarius, L. 2 c. 11. 9103 right arrow curving left. The Negus is differently called Alespan, Alespoas, Elistheus, probably the same name, or rather appellation. C. St. Martin, Volume 8, page 49. M. Right arrow curving left. According to the Arabian authorities, Johansson, Historia Yemeni, p. 94, Bon, 1828, Abraha was an Abyssinian, the rival of Ariathus, the brother of the Abyssinian king, he surprised and slew Ariathus, and by his craft appeased the resentment of Najash. The Abyssinian king. 
Abraha was a Christian, he built a magnificent church at Sana'a, and dissuaded his subjects from their accustomed pilgrimages to Mecca. The church was defiled, it was supposed, by the Korashites, and Abraha took up arms to revenge himself on the temple at Mecca. He was repelled by miracle, his elephant would not advance, but knelt down before the sacred place, Abraha fled, discomfited and mortally wounded, to Sana'a. M. Right arrow curving left. The revolutions of Yemen in the 6th century must be collected from Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I C. 19, 20, Theophanes of Byzantium, Apud Photius Codex LXAI, page 80, St. Theophanes, in Chronographia, pages 144, 145, 188, 189, 206, 207, who is full of strange blunders, Pocock, Specimen Historiae Arabum, pages 62, 65, D. Herbalot, Bibliotheca Rental, pp. 12, 477, and Sales Preliminary Discourse in Quran, c. 105. The revolt of Abraha is mentioned by Procopius, and his fall, though clouded with miracles, is an historical fact. 9104 right arrow curving left. A period of 67 years is assigned by most of the Arabian authorities to the Abyssinian kingdom in Homeritis. M. Right arrow curving left. For the troubles of Africa, I neither have nor desire another guide than Procopius, whose eye contemplated the image, and whose ear collected the reports. Of the memorable events of his own times. In the second book of the Vandalic War he relates the revolt of Stoza, c. 14, 24, the return of Belisarius, c. 15, the victory of Germanus, c. 16, 18, the second administration of Solomon, c. 19, 21, the government of Sergius, c. 22, 23, of Ariobindus, c. 24, the tyranny and death of Gontharis, c. 25, 28. Nor can I discern any symptoms of flattery or malevolence in his various portraits. Right arrow curving left. Charippus gives a different account of the death of Stoza. He was transfixed by an arrow from the hand of John, not the hero of his poem, who broke desperately through the victorious troops of the enemy. Stoza repented, says the poet, of his treasonous rebellion, and anticipated, another Catiline, eternal torments as his punishment. Red Dam, Improba, Poenas. Quas Marui. Furious Socius Catalina Cruentis. Exagitatus Adeist. Video Jam Tartara, Fundo. Flammarumc Globos, E. Clara Incendia Volvi. Johannidos, Book 4, Line 211. All the other authorities confirm Gibbon's account of the death of John by the hand of Stoza. This poem of Charippus, unknown to Gibbon, was first published by Mazzuchelli during the present century, and is reprinted in the new edition of the Byzantine writers. M. Right arrow curving left. Magister Militum. The title Exarch is not used yet. The order in which Gibbon relates the events in Africa renders the succession of governors a little confusing. Solomon, A.D. 534, 6, was succeeded by Germanus, A.D. 537, 9, whom he again succeeded, A.D. 539, 54. Solomon's nephew Sergius, who had previously been governor of the Tripolitane province, took his place, A.D. 544, but Ariobindus was sent out, Udinum non alpinatis poenorum vidicit inners. Cries Charippus, L. 485, and divided the command with him, A.D. 545, Sergius defending Numidia, and Ariobindus Byzacena. On the defeat of the Saia, for which he was blamed, Sergius was recalled, and Ariobindus remained sole governor, A.D. 546, January. Artaban succeeded him, but was superseded by John, the hero of the poem of Charippus, before the end of the same year. See Parch, Proemium to Charippus, page 24. B. Right arrow curving left. This murder was prompted to the Armenian, according to Charippus, by the good Athanasius, then prefect of Africa. Hunc placidus cana gravitate coeget. 
Imita Macter Virum. Charippus, Volume 4, Page 237. M. Right arrow curving left. Yet I must not refuse him the merit of painting, in lively colors, the murder of Gontharis. One of the assassins uttered a sentiment not unworthy of a Roman patriot, if I fail, said Artisires, in the first stroke. Kill me on the spot lest the rack should extort a discovery of my accomplices. Right arrow curving left. The Moorish wars are occasionally introduced into the narrative of Procopius, de Bello Vandalico, L. 2 c. 19, 23, 25, 27, 28, de Bello Gothico, L. 4 c. 17. And Theophanes add some prosperous and adverse events in the last years of Justinian. Right arrow curving left. Now Tybesh, in the kingdom of Algiers. It is watered by a river, the Sujaras, which falls into the Majurda, Bagradas. Tybesh is still remarkable for its walls of large stones, like the Colosseum of Rome, a fountain, and a grove of walnut trees, the country is fruitful, and the neighboring Barabares are warlike. It appears from an inscription that, under the reign of Hadrian, the road from Carthage to Tebest was constructed by the Third Legion, Marmel, La Frique de Marmel, Tom. 2, pages 442, 443. Shaw's Travels, pages 64, 66. Right arrow curving left. Charippus, Johannidos, Lib. 3 417, 441, describes the defeat and death of Solomon. M. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, Anecdota, c. 18. The series of the African history attests this melancholy truth. Right arrow curving left. In the second, c. 30, and third books, c. 1. 40, Procopius continues the history of the Gothic War from the 5th to the 15th year of Justinian. As the events are less interesting than in the former period, he allots only half the space to double the time. Jornans, and the Chronicle of Marcel Linus, afford some collateral hints. Sigonius, Pagei, Muratori, Moscou, and Du Buet are useful, and have been used. Right arrow curving left. His real name, as appears by medals, was Baduya, or Badayala. Tatila signifies immortal, Todd, in German, is death. Tadilas, deathless. Compare St. Martin, Volume 9, page 37. M. Right arrow curving left. This is not quite correct, he had crossed the pub before the Battle of Faenza. M. Right arrow curving left. The events are so compressed in the text that they are hardly intelligible. The Roman army, numbering, not 20,000 as the author states, but, 12,000, Delta Iota Sigma Chi Iota Lambda Omicron Upsilon Tau Epsilon Kappa Alpha Mu Upsilon Rho Omicron Upsilon, advanced within five miles of Verona. And on the failure of the attempt of Artabases retreated beyond the Pa to Faventia, which is about twenty miles southwest of Ravenna. Tatila then, taking the offensive, follows them from Venetia, crosses the Pa, and the Battle of Faenza is fought in which the imperialists are routed and Artabazes slain in single combat with Viliaris. The Romans, having suffered a severe loss, retreat to Ravenna, and Totila advances into Tuscany, besieges Florence, which is held by Justin, and defeats. In the valley of Mugello, a day's journey from Florence, the army of relief which has come from Ravenna under John and Bessas. The Battle of Mugello gave central and southern Italy to the Goths. It was fought towards the end of 542. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 3 c. 3 5. b. Right arrow curving left. Silverius, bishop of Rome, was first transported to Patera, in Lycia, and at length starved, sub irum custodia inedia confectus, in the Isle of Palmaria, AD 538. June 20, Liberatus in Breviarium Causi Nestorianorum, c. 22, Anastasius, in, Silverio, Baronius, A.D. 540, No. 2, 3, Page I, in Vitus Pontificum, Tom. I, pages 285, 
286. Procopius, Anecdota, c. 1, accuses only the Empress and Antonina. Right arrow curving left. Palmaria, a small island, opposite to Terracina and the coast of the Volsci, Clavirius, Italia Antiqua, L. 3 c. 7, page 1014. Right arrow curving left. As the Logothete Alexander and most of his civil and military colleagues were either disgraced or despised, the ink of the anecdotes, c. 4, 5, 18, is scarcely blacker than that of the Gothic history, L. 3 c. 1, 3, 4, 9, 20, 21, etc. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, L. 3 c. 2, 8, etc., does ample and willing justice to the merit of Totila. The Roman historians, from Sallust and Tacitus, were happy to forget the vices of their countrymen in the contemplation of barbaric virtue. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, L. 3 c. 12. The soul of a hero is deeply impressed on the letter, nor can we confound such genuine and original acts with the elaborate and often empty speeches of the Byzantine historians. Right arrow curving left. The avarice of Bessas is not dissembled by Procopius, L. 3 c. 17, 20. He expiated the loss of Rome by the glorious conquest of Patria, de Bello Gothico, L. 4 c. 12. But the same vices followed him from the Tiber to the Phasis, c. 13, and the historian is equally true to the merits and defects of his character. The chastisement which the author of the Romance of Belisaire has inflicted on the oppressor of Rome is more agreeable to justice than to history. Right arrow curving left. During the long exile, and after the death of Vigilius, the Roman Church was governed, at first by the archdeacon, and at length, A.D. 655, by the Pope, Pelagius. Who was not thought guiltless of the sufferings of his predecessor. See the original lives of the popes under the name of Anastasius, Muratori, Rerum Italicarum Scriptors, Tom. 3 Pars I, pp. 130, 131, who relate several curious incidents of the sieges of Rome and the wars of Italy. Right arrow curving left. Mount Garganus, now Monteisti. Angelo, in the kingdom of Naples, runs 300 stadia into the Adriatic Sea, Strabonis Geographica 6, p. 436, and in the Darker Ages was illustrated by the Apparition, Miracles, and Church of St. Michael the Archangel. Horace, a native of Apulia or Lucania, had seen the elms and oaks of Garganus laboring and bellowing with the north wind that blew on that lofty coast, Carmina 2-9, Epistularum 2, I-201. Right arrow curving left. I cannot ascertain this particular camp of Hannibal, but the Punic quarters were long and often in the neighborhood of Arpi, Titus Levius XXII 9, 12, Ziv 3, etc. Right arrow curving left. Tatila. Romum ingreditor, A.C. Everted Muros, Domos aliquantas igni comburans, A.C. omnes Romanorum residential in Predum accipit, hos ipsos Romanos in Campanium captivos abduxit. Post quam devastationum, XLAUT amplius dies, Roma fut ita desolata, ut nemo ibi hominum, nisi, nulli, bestii morenter, Marcellinus in Chronicon, page 54. Right arrow curving left. The tribuli are small engines with four spikes, one fixed in the ground, the three others erect or adverse, Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 3 c. 24, Justus Lipsius, Poliorcetic n, L. V. C. 3, rather the opposite, three fixed in the ground, one always erect, however thrown. The description of Procopius is quite clear. b. The metaphor was borrowed from the tribuli, land caltrips, an herb with a prickly fruit common in Italy, Martin, ad Virgil, Georgics I 153, Volume 2, page 33. Right arrow curving left. Russia, the Navali Thuriorum, was transferred to the distance of sixty stadia to Russianum, Rosano, an archbishopric without suffragans. The Republic of Cyprus is now the estate of the Duke of Curigliano, Johann Hermann von Riedesel, travels into Sicily in Magna Graecia, 
pages 166, 171. Right arrow curving left. This conspiracy is related by Procopius, De Bello Gothico, L. 3 C. 31, 32, with such freedom and candor that the liberty of the anecdotes gives him nothing to add. Right arrow curving left. The honors of Belisarius are gladly commemorated by his secretary, Procopius, De Bello Gothico, L. 3 C. 35, L. 4 C. 21. This title of Sigma Tau Rho Alpha Tau Eta Gamma is ill translated, at least in this instance, by Prefectus Praetorio. And to a military character Magister Militum is more proper and applicable, Ducange, Glossarium Gresitatis, pages 1458-1459. Right arrow curving left. Alamanus, Ad Historia Arcana, p. 68, Ducange, Familii Byzantini, page 98, and Henexius, Elementa Juris Civilis, page 434, all three represent Anastasius as the son of the daughter of Theodora. And their opinion firmly reposes on the unambiguous testimony of Procopius, Anecdota, c. 4, 5, Theta Upsilon Gamma Alpha Tau Rho Iota Delta, twice repeated. And yet I will remark that in the year 547, Theodora could scarcely have a grandson of the age of puberty that we are totally ignorant of this daughter and her husband. And that Theodora concealed her bastards, and that her grandson by Justinian would have been heir apparent of the empire. Right arrow curving left. The mu alpha rho tau mu alpha tau alpha, or sins, of the hero in Italy and after his return, are manifested pi alpha rho alpha kappa alpha lambda pi tau omega, and most probably swelled, by the author of the anecdotes, c. 4, 5. The designs of Antonina were favored by the fluctuating jurisprudence of Justinian. On the law of marriage and divorce that emperor was Troco Versatilior, Henexius, Elementa Juris Civilis, Secundum Ordinem Pandectorum, Pars 4 No. 233. Right arrow curving left. The Romans were still attached to the monuments of their ancestors, and according to Procopius, De Bello Gothico, L. 4 c. 22. The Gallery of Aeneas, of a single rank of oars, 25 feet in breadth, 120 in length, was preserved entire in the Navalia, near Monte Testatio, at the foot of the Aventine, Nardini, Roma Antica. L. 7 c. 9, page 466, Donatus, De Roma Antiqua, L. 4 c. 13, page 334. But all antiquity is ignorant of this relic. Right arrow curving left. In these seas, Procopius searched without success for the Isle of Calypso. He was shown, at Phaeacia or Cosyra, the petrified ship of Ulysses, Odyssey 13163, but he found it a recent fabric of many stones, dedicated by a merchant to Jupiter Cassius, L. 4 c. 22. Eustathius had supposed it to be the fanciful likeness of a rock. Right arrow curving left. M. D'Anville, Memoirs de l'Academy, Tom. XXXI, pages 513, 528, illustrates the Gulf of Ambracia. But he cannot ascertain the situation of Dodona. A country in sight of Italy is less known than the wilds of America. 9105 right arrow curving left. This is the reading in the quarto edition, but it has been altered by most modern editors among others by Dean Millman, into his youth and want of experience. On the supposition that Gibbon could never have intended such a phrase as his want of youth and experience. Lord Mahone in consequence, Life of Belisarius, page 391, supposes Gibbon has made a mistake, since Procopius, De Bello Gothico 3 c. 39, speaks of Liberius as extremely old, Sigma Chi Alpha Tau Omicron Gamma Rho Omega Nu. But I have little doubt that the expression in the quarto was the one intended by Gibbon. As it is quite in accordance with his enigmatic style, the intention being to sneer at the inconsistency of the proceeding. S. Right arrow curving left. See the Acts of Germanus in the public, De Bello Vandalico, L. 2, C. 16, 18, De Bello Gothico, L. 3, C. 31, 32, and Private History, Anecdota, C. 
5, and those of his son Justin, in Agathias, L. 4, pages 130, 131. Notwithstanding an ambiguous expression of Jornan's, Fratri Sua, Alamanus has proved that he was the son of the emperor's brother. Right arrow curving left. Conjuncta initiorum gens cum umla sterpi spem ad hoc utriusque generis permitted, Jornans, c. 60, page 703. He wrote at Ravenna before the death of Tatila. Right arrow curving left. See this note. M. Right arrow curving left. The third book of Procopius is terminated by the death of Germanus, ad. L. 4 c. 23, 26. Right arrow curving left. Procopius relates the whole series of this Second Gothic War and the victory of Narses, L. 4 c. 21, 26, 35. A splendid scene. Among the six subjects of epic poetry which Tasso revolved in his mind, he hesitated between the conquests of Italy by Belisarius and by Narses, William Haley's works, Volume 4, page 70. Right arrow curving left. The country of Narses is unknown, since he must not be confounded with the Pers Armenian. 9106 Procopius styles him, C. De Bello Gothico, L. 2 C. 13, Beta Alpha Sigma Iota Lambda Iota Kappa Nu Cairo Eta Mu Tau Omega Nu Tau Alpha Mu Alpha. Paul Warnfred, L. 2 C. 3, page 776, Carcellarius, Marcellinus adds the name of Cubicularius. In an inscription on the Salarian Bridge he is entitled Ex Consul, Ex Prepositus, Cubiculi Patricius, Moscow, History of the Ancient Germans, L. 13 c. 25. The law of Theodosius against Anuches was obsolete or abolished, annotation XX, but the foolish prophecy of the Romans subsisted in full vigor, Procopius, L. 4 c. 21. Right arrow curving left. Paul Warnfred, the Lombard, records with complacency the succor, service, and honorable dismission of his countrymen, Rea Publici Romani adversus emulos agitors furent, L. 2 c. 1, p. 774, edit. Grotius. I am surprised that Alboin, their martial king, did not lead his subjects in person. 9107 right arrow curving left. Gibbon has blindly followed the translation of Maltretus, bis mil decentos, while the original Greek says expressly pi epsilon nu tau alpha kappa omicron sigma omicron upsilon tau epsilon kappa alpha delta iota sigma chi iota lambda iota omicron upsilon, 2500, de bello gothico, lib 4 c. 26, in like manner, page 266, he draws volunteers from Germany, on the authority of cousin, who, in one place, has mistaken Germanus for Germania. Yet only a few pages further, this note, we find Gibbon loudly condemning the French and Latin readers of Procopius. Lord Mahone, page 403. The first of these errors remains uncorrected in the new edition of the Byzantines. M. Right arrow curving left. He was, if not an impostor, the son of the blind Zames, saved by compassion, and educated in the Byzantine court by the various motives of policy, pride, and generosity, Procopius. De Bello Persico, L. I C. 23. Right arrow curving left. In the time of Augustus, and in the Middle Ages, the whole waste from Aquileia to Ravenna was covered with woods, lakes, and morasses. Man has subdued nature, and the land has been cultivated, since the waters are confined and embanked. See the learned researches of Muratori, Antiquitates Italici Medii Evi, Tom. I Dissertation XXI, pages 253, 254, from Vitruvius, Strabo, Herodian, Old Charters, and Local Knowledge. Right arrow curving left. The Flaminian Way, as it is corrected from the itineraries, and the best modern maps, by D'Anville, Analyze Geographique de l'Italie, pp. 147, 162, may be thus stated, Rome to Narni, 51 Roman miles, Terni, 57, Spoleto, 75, Felino, 88, Nocera, 103, Cagli, 142, Intercisa, 
157, Fossombrone, 160, Fano, 176, Pesaro, 184. Rimini, 208, about 189 English miles. He takes no notice of the death of Tatila, but Wesseling, Vetera Romanorum Itineraria, p. 614, exchanges for the field of Taginus the unknown appellation of Tanias, 8 miles from Nasera. Right arrow curving left. Tagini, or rather Tadini, is mentioned by Pliny the Elder. But the bishopric of that obscure town, a mile from Gualdo, in the plain, was united, in the year 1007, with that of Nasera. The signs of antiquity are preserved in the local appellations, Fossato, the camp, Caprea, Capria, Bastia, Busta Gallorum. C. Clavirius, Italia Antiqua, L. 2 C. 6, pp. 615, 617, Lucas Holstinius, Annotations ad Clavirius, pages 85, 86, Lorenzo Guazzisi, Tutte Luo Per, Dissertation 4, pp. 177, 217, A Professed Inquiry, and the Maps of the Ecclesiastical State and the March of Ancona, by Jacob Lumeir and Giovanni Magini. Right arrow curving left. The battle was fought in the year of Rome 458. And the consul Decius, by devoting his own life, assured the triumph of his country in his colleague Fabius, Titus Livius X 28, 29. Procopius ascribes to Camillus the victory of the Busta Gallo Rum. And his error is branded by Clavirius with the national reproach of Greekorum Nugamenta. Right arrow curving left. Narses, with John, commanded not the right, but the left wing. Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 4 c. 31 ad in it. B. Right arrow curving left. Dog, wilt thou strike thy lord? was the more characteristic exclamation of the Gothic youth. Procopius, L. 4 c. 32. M. Right arrow curving left. 11 or 12 miles, 84 stadia, Procopius, de Bello Gothico, L. 4 c. 32. B. Right arrow curving left. Theophanes, Chronographia, page 193. Historia Micella, L. 16 page 108. Right arrow curving left. Evagrius, L. 4 c. 24. The inspiration of the Virgin revealed to Narses the day, and the word, of battle, Paul Diaconus, L. 2 c. 3, page 776. Right arrow curving left. Pi iota tau omicron tau omicron upsilon beta alpha sigma iota lambda epsilon omicron nu tau omicron tau pi mu pi tau omicron nu lambda omega. Procopius, de bello gothico, lib 4, page 33, m. In the year 536 by Belisarius, in 546 by Tatila, in 547 by Belisarius, in 549 by Tatila, and in 552 by Narses. Maltritus had inadvertently translated Sextum, a mistake which he afterwards retracts, but the mischief was done, and Cousin, with a train of French and Latin readers, have fallen into the snare. Right arrow curving left. Compare two passages of Procopius, L. 3 c. 26, L. 4 c. 24, which, with some collateral hints from Marcellinus and Jornans, illustrate the state of the expiring Senate. Right arrow curving left. C. In the example of Prusias, as it is delivered in the fragments of Polybius, excerpt a legationum XCVA, pages 927, 928, a curious picture of a royal slave. Right arrow curving left. The deltero capo omega nu of Procopius, de bello gothico, L. for C. 35, is evidently the Sarnus. The text is accused or altered by the rash violence of Clavirius. L. for C. 3. P. 1156 But Camillo Pellegrini of Naples, Discorsi della Campania Felice, pages 330, 331, has proved from old records that as early as the year 822 that river was called the Draconcho, or Draconcello. Right arrow curving left. Galen, de Medendi Methodo, L. Via Pud Clavirius, 
L, 4 C, 3, pp. 1159, 1160, describes the lofty site, pure air, and rich milk of Mount Lactarius, whose medicinal benefits were equally known and sought in the time of Symmachus, L. 6, Epistola 18, and Cassiodorus, Variarum 1110. Nothing is now left except the name of the town of Latir. Right arrow curving left. Gut, Tom. 11, page 2, etc. Conveys to his favorite Bavaria this remnant of Goths, who by others are buried in the mountains of Uri, or restored to their native isle of Gothland, Moscow, Annotation XXI. Right arrow curving left. I leave Scaliger, Animadversion in Eusebius, page 59, and Salmasius, Pliniani Exercitations, pp. 51, 52, to quarrel about the origin of Cumi, the oldest of the Greek colonies in Italy, Strabonis Geographica, L. V., page 372, Valius Paterculus, L. I. C. 4, already vacant in Juvenal's time, Satires 3, and now in ruins. Right arrow curving left. Agathias, L. I. Page 21, settles the Sibyl's cave under the wall of Cumi, he agrees with Servius, ad L. 6 Aeneid. Nor can I perceive why their opinion should be rejected by Hain, the excellent editor of Virgil, Tom. 2, pages 650, 651. In Herb Media Secreta Religio. But Cumi was not yet built, and the lines, L. 696, 97, would become ridiculous, if Aeneas were actually in a Greek city. Right arrow curving left. There is some difficulty in connecting the 35th chapter of the fourth book of the Gothic War of Procopius with the first book of the history of Agathias. We must now relinquish the statesman and soldier, to attend the footsteps of a poet and rhetorician, L. I, page 11, L, 2, page 51, edit. Louvre. Right arrow curving left. Among the fabulous exploits of Buxelin, he discomfited and slew Belisarius, subdued Italy and Sicily, etc. See in the Historians of France, Gregory of Tours, Tom. 2L, 3C, 32, p. 203, and I moin, de gestis francorum, Tom. 3L, 2C, 23, page 59, right arrow curving left. Tau nu gamma lambda tau tau alpha nu nu alpha rho sigma omicron mu epsilon mu phi omicron mu nu eta nu mu omicron iota tau beta omicron upsilon lambda alpha. Agathius. M. Right arrow curving left. Alagern, after the surrender of Cumi, had been sent to Sassina? By Narzas. Agathias. M. Right arrow curving left. Agathias notices their superstition in a philosophic tone, L. I, page 18. At Zug, in Switzerland, idolatry still prevailed in the year 613, St. Columban and St. Gaul were the apostles of that rude country. And the latter founded a hermitage, which has swelled into an ecclesiastical principality and a populous city, the seat of freedom and commerce. Right arrow curving left. A body of Lothair's troops was defeated near Fano, some were driven down precipices into the sea, others fled to the camp, many prisoners seized the opportunity of making their escape. And the barbarians lost most of their booty in their precipitate retreat. Agathias. M. Right arrow curving left. See the death of Lothair in Agathias, L. 2, page 38, and Paul Warnfred, surnamed Diaconus, L. 2 c. 3, 775. The Greek makes him rave and tear his flesh. He had plundered churches. Right arrow curving left. Père Daniel, Histoire de la Millis Francoise, Tom. I, pp. 17, 21, has exhibited a fanciful representation of this battle, somewhat in the manner of the Chevalier Follard, the once famous editor of Polybius who fashioned to his own habits and opinions all the military operations of antiquity. Right arrow curving left. Agathias, L. 2, page 47, 
has produced a Greek epigram of six lines on this victory of Narses, which is favorably compared to the battles of Marathon and Plataea. 9108 The chief difference is indeed in their consequences, so trivial in the former instance, so permanent and glorious in the latter. Right arrow curving left. The Baroya and Brinkas of Theophanes or his transcriber, page 201, must be read or understood Verona and Brixia, right arrow curving left. The title of Narses was merely Patricius. Smaragdus was, so far as our evidence shows, the first governor who bore the name Exarch. b. Right arrow curving left. Lambda epsilon mu epsilon tau omicron gamma rho omicron mu alpha iota, alpha tau omicron pi beta epsilon lambda tau alpha rho alpha tau sigma pi delta alpha tau epsilon chi nu kappa alpha tau kappa rho nu eta mu phi omicron rho omega omicron nu omicron epsilon kappa alpha beta alpha rho beta tau omicron epsilon pi omicron delta sigma theta alpha iota, Agathias. L2, page 48. In the first scene of Richard III our English poet has beautifully enlarged on this idea, for which, however, he was not indebted to the Byzantine historian. Right arrow curving left. Maffe has proved, Verona Illustrata, pars I L, X, pages 257, 289, against the common opinion, that the Dukes of Italy were instituted before the conquest of the Lombards by Narses himself. In the Pragmatic Sanction, No. 23, Justinian restrains the Judices Militas, right arrow curving left. C. Paulus Diaconus Liii C. 2, page 776. Menander in, Excerpta Legationum, p. 133, mentions some risings in Italy by the Franks, and Theophanes, page 201, hints at some Gothic rebellions. Right arrow curving left. The pragmatic sanction of Justinian, which restores and regulates the civil state of Italy, consists of XXVI articles, it is dated August 15, AD 554, is addressed to Narses, V.J. Prepositus Sacri Cubiculi, and to Antiochus, Prefectus Praetorio Italii. And has been preserved by Julian Antecessor, and in the Corpus Juris Civilis, after the novels and edicts of Justinian, Justin, and Tiberius. Right arrow curving left. A still greater number was consumed by famine in the southern provinces Capitao the Ionian Gulf. Acorns were used in the place of bread. Procopius had seen a deserted orphan suckled by a she-goat. Seventeen passengers were lodged, murdered, and eaten by two women, who were detected and slain by the eighteenth, etc. 9109 right arrow curving left. Quinta Regio Piscini est, quandum uberami multitudinis, cccclx milia Picentium in fidem populo romano veneer, Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historii 318. In the time of Vespasian, this ancient population was already diminished. Right arrow curving left. Perhaps fifteen or sixteen millions. Procopius, Anecdota, c. 18, computes that Africa lost five millions, that Italy was thrice as extensive, and that the depopulation was in a larger proportion. But his reckoning is inflamed by passion, and clouded with uncertainty. Right arrow curving left. Zabergen was king of the Kutrigers, a tribe of Huns who were neither Bulgarians nor Sclavonians. St. Martin, Volume. 9, pages 408, 420, m, right arrow curving left. In the decay of these military schools, the satire of Procopius, Anecdota, c. 24, Alamanus, pages 102-103, is confirmed and illustrated by Agathias, L. V. P. 159, who cannot be rejected as a hostile witness. Right arrow curving left. The distance from Constantinople to Melanthias, Villa Caesariana, Ammianus Marcellinus triple x 11, is variously fixed at 102 or 140 stadia, Suedos, Tom. 2, pages 522, 523, Agathias, L. V. P. 158, or 18 or 19 miles, Vetera Romanorum Itineraria, pages 138, 230, 323, 332, 
and Wesseling's observations. The first 12 miles, as far as Regium, were paved by Justinian, who built a bridge over a morass or gullet between a lake and the sea, Procopius, de Edificius, L. 4 C. 8. Right arrow curving left. The Atiras, Pomponius Mela, L. 2 C. 2, page 169, edit. Vassian. At the river's mouth, a town or castle of the same name was fortified by Justinian, Procopius, de Edificius, L. 4 C. 2. Vetera Romanorum Itineraria, page 570, and Wesseling, right arrow curving left. The Bulgarian War and the last victory of Belisarius are imperfectly represented in the prolix declamation of Agathias, L. 5, pp. 154, 174, and the Dry Chronicle of Theophanes, page 197, 198, right arrow curving left. New Delta Omicron they could scarcely be real Indians. And the Ethiopians, sometimes known by that name, were never used by the ancients as guards or followers, they were the trifling, though costly objects of female and royal luxury, Terentius. Eunicus Act I Scene 2. Suetonius in De Vita Caesarum, Augustus, c. 83, with a good note of Cassaban, in Caligula, c. 57, right arrow curving left. The 9110 Sergius, de Bello Vandalico, L. 2 C. 21, 22, Anecdota, C. 5, and Marcellus, de Bello Gothico, L. 3 C. 32, are mentioned by Procopius. See Theophanes, pages 197, 201, right arrow curving left. Alamanus, page 3, quotes an old Byzantian MS which has been printed in the Imperium Oriental of Banduri. Right arrow curving left. Of the disgrace and restoration of Belisarius, the genuine original record is preserved in the fragment of John Malala's, Tom. 2, pages 234, 243, and the exact chronicle of Theophanes, pages 194, 204. Cedrinus, Historiarum Compendium, pages 387, 388, and Zonaras, Tom. 2L, 14, p. 69, seem to hesitate between the obsolete truth and the growing falsehood. Right arrow curving left. Lobo, following Alamanus, conceives that Belisarius was confounded with John of Cappadocia, who was thus reduced to beggary, Volume 9, pages 58, 449. Lord Mahone has, with considerable learning, and on the authority of a yet unquoted writer of the 11th century, endeavored to re-establish the old tradition. I cannot acknowledge that I have been convinced, and am inclined to subscribe to the theory of Lobo. M. Right arrow curving left. The source of this idle fable may be derived from a miscellaneous work of the 12th century, The Kiliades of John Tsetses, a monk 9111, Basilii 1546, ad calcem lycophron. Colonii Alabrogum, 1614 in Pote Grisi Vetters. He relates the blindness and beggary of Belisarius in ten vulgar or political verses, Kiliad 3 No. 88, 339, 348, in Pote Grisi Vetters, Tom. 2, page 311. Kappa pi omega mu alpha xi lambda iota nu omicron nu kappa rho alpha tau nu beta alpha tau mu iota lambda iota. Beta epsilon lambda iota sigma alpha rho beta omicron lambda nu delta tau epsilon tau sigma tau rho alpha tau eta lambda tau. Nu tau chi eta mu nu delta xi alpha sigma epsilon nu pi omicron tau epsilon phi lambda omicron delta phi theta nu omicron. This moral or romantic tale was imported into Italy with the language and manuscripts of Greece, repeated before the end of the 15th century by Crinitus, Pontinus, and Volaterranus. Attacked by Alciat, for the honor of the law, and defended by Baronius, A.D. 561, No. 2, etc., for the honor of the Church. Yet Tsetsis himself had read in other chronicles that Belisarius did not lose his sight and that he recovered his fame and fortunes. Right arrow curving left. The statue in the Villa Borghese at Rome, in a sitting posture, with an open hand, which is vulgarly given to Belisarius. 
may be ascribed with more dignity to Augustus in the act of propitiating Nemesis, Winkelmann, Histoire de l'Art à l'Antiquite, Tom. 3, page 266. Ex nocturno visu idiom stipum, quotanis, di certo, emendicabata populo, cavana manum asses porigenibus prebens, Suetonius in Davida Caesarum, Augustus, c. 91, with an excellent note of Casaubon, point ninety one twelve right arrow curving left. The rubor of Domitian is stigmatized, quaintly enough, by the pen of Tacitus, in Vita Agricola, c. 45. And has been likewise noticed by the younger Pliny, Panegyricus, c. 48, and Suetonius, in De Vita Caesarum, Domitian, c. 18, and Cassaban Adlock. Procopius, Anecdota, c. 8, foolishly believes that only one bust of Domitian had reached the 6th century right arrow curving left. The studies and science of Justinian are attested by the Confession, Anecdota, c. 8, 13, still more than by the praises, De Bello Gothico, L. 3, c. 31, De Edificius, L. I, Proem c. 7, of Procopius. Consult the Copious Index of Alamanus, and read the life of Justinian by Ludwig, pages 135, 142, right arrow curving left. See in the Constantinopolis Christiana of Du Cange, L. I see, 24, no. 1. A chain of original testimonies, from Procopius in the 6th, to Gilius in the 16th century. Right arrow curving left. The first comet is mentioned by John Malala's, Tom. 2, pages 190, 219, and Theophanes, p. 154, the second by Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. 2c. 4. Yet I strongly suspect their identity. The paleness of the sun, de Bello Vandalico, L. 2c. 14, is applied by Theophanes, p. 158, to a different year. 9113 right arrow curving left. Seneca's seventh book of natural questions displays, in the theory of comets, a philosophic mind. Yet should we not too candidly confound a vague prediction, a venient tempest, etc., with the merit of real discoveries, right arrow curving left. Astronomers may study Newton and Halley. I draw my humble science from the article, Comet, in the French Encyclopédie, by M. D'Alembert. Right arrow curving left. William Whiston, the honest, pious, visionary Whiston, had fancied for the era of Noah's flood, too. 242 years before Christ, a prior apparition of the same comet which drowned the earth with its tail. Right arrow curving left. A dissertation of Frerit, Memoirs de l'Académie de Inscriptions, Tom. X, pages 357, 377, affords a happy union of philosophy and erudition. The phenomenon in the time of Ogiges was preserved by Varro, a pud Augustine, De Civitate de XXI8, who quotes Castor, Dion of Naples, and Adastris of Sisychus, Nobiles Mathematici. The two subsequent periods are preserved by the Greek mythologists and the spurious books of Sibylline verses. Right arrow curving left. Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historii 223, has transcribed the original memorial of Augustus. Myran, in his most ingenious letters to the Per Perennin, missionary in China, removes the games and the comet of September from the year 44 to the year 43 before the Christian era. But I am not totally subdued by the criticism of the astronomer, Opuscules, p. 275, 351. Right arrow curving left. This last comet was visible in the month of December, 1680. Bell, who began his Ponce's diverse, Ecrites a un docteur de Sorbonne, à l'occasion de la comète en janvier, 1681, over diverse, Tom. 3, was forced to argue that a supernatural comet would have confirmed the ancients in their idolatry. Bernoulli, see his, A loge, in Fontenelle, Tom. V, P. 99, was forced to allow that the tail, though not the head, was a sign of the wrath of God. Right arrow curving left. 
Paradise Lost was published in the year 1667, and the famous lines, L. 2708, etc. Which startled the licensor, may allude to the recent comet of 1664, observed by Cassini at Rome in the presence of Queen Christina, Fontenelle, in his Eloge, Tom. V. Page 338. Had Charles II betrayed any symptoms of curiosity or fear? Right arrow curving left. Compare Alexander Guy Pinger, Trait historique et théorique de comets. M. Right arrow curving left. For the cause of earthquakes, see Buffon, Tom. I. Pages 502, 536, Supplement à l'histoire naturelle, Tom. V. P. P. 382, 390, Edition in quarto, Valmont de Beaumare, Dictionnaire raisonné universal d'histoire naturelle, Tremblemans de Terra, Parides, Richard Watson, Chemical Essays, Tom. I. Pages 181, 209. Right arrow curving left. The earthquakes that shook the Roman world in the reign of Justinian are described or mentioned by Procopius, De Bello Gothico, L. For C. 25, Anecdota, C. 18, Agathias, L. 2, pages 52, 54, L. V. Pages 145, 152, John Malala's, Chronographia, Tom. 2, pages 140, 146, 176, 177, 183, 193, 220, 229, 231, 233, 234, and Theophanes, pages 151, 183, 189, 191, 196. 9114 right arrow curving left. An abrupt height, a perpendicular cape between Aratus and Batres, named by the Greeks Theta Epsilon Nu Pi Rho Sigma Omega Pi Omicron Nu and Epsilon Rho Sigma Omega Pi Omicron Nu or Lambda Iota Theta Omicron Pi Rho Sigma Omega Pi Omicron Nu by the scrupulous Christians, Polybius, L. V., page 411. Pomponius Mela, L. I. C., 12, page 87, Come Isoasi Vasii, Observations, Henry Mondrel, a Journey from Aleppo to Jerusalem, pages 32, 33, Richard Pocock's Description of the East, Volume 2, page 99. Right arrow curving left. Batres was founded, Anno Antichrist 935, 903, by Ithabel, King of Tyre, Marsham, Canon Chronicus, pages 387, 388. Its poor representative, the village of Patroni, is now destitute of a harbor. Right arrow curving left. The university, splendor, and ruin of Baratus are celebrated by Henexius, pp. 351-356, as an essential part of the history of the Roman law. It was overthrown in the 25th year of Justinian, AD 551, July 9, Theophanes, page 192, but Agathias, L. 2, pp. 51, 52, suspends the earthquake till he has achieved the Italian war. Right arrow curving left. I have read with pleasure Richard Mead's short but elegant treatise concerning pestilential disorders, the 8th edition, London, 1722. Right arrow curving left. The great plague which raged in 542 and the following years, page I, Critica Baronii, Tom. 2, page 518, must be traced in Procopius, De Bello Persico, L. 2 C. 22, 23, Agathias, L. V. P. P. 153, 154, Evagrius, L. 4 C. 29, Paul Diaconus, L. 2 C. 4, pages 776, 777, Gregory of Tours, Tom. 2 L. 4 C. 5, P. 205, who styles it Louis Inguinaria, and the Chronicles of Victor Tunyonensis, page 9, in Thesaurus Temporum, of Marcellinus, page 54, and of Theophanes, page 153. Right arrow curving left. Dar. John Freind, History of Physic in Opera Omnia Medica, pages 416, 420, London 1733, 
is satisfied that Procopius must have studied physic, from his knowledge and use of the technical words. Yet many words that are now scientific were common and popular in the Greek idiom. Right arrow curving left. C. Thucydides, L. 2 C. 47, 54, pages 127, 133, edit. Duker, and the poetical description of the same plague by Lucretius, L. 6 11 36, 1284. I was indebted to Dr. Hunter for an elaborate commentary on this part of Thucydides, a quarto of 600 pages, Venetia 1603, a pud juntas, which was pronounced in St. Mark's Library by Fabius Paulinus Udinensis, a physician and philosopher. Right arrow curving left. Thucydides, c. 51, affirms that the infection could only be once taken. But Evagrius, who had family experience of the plague, observes that some persons who had escaped the first, sunk under the second attack, and this repetition is confirmed by Fabius Paulinus, p. 588, I observe that on this head physicians are divided, and the nature and operation of the disease may not always be similar. Right arrow curving left. It was thus that Socrates had been saved by his temperance, in the plague of Athens, Aulus Gellius, Nox Atticae 2-1. Dar. Mead accounts for the peculiar salubrity of religious houses, by the two advantages of seclusion and abstinence, pages 18, 19. Right arrow curving left. Mead proves that the plague is contagious, from Thucydides, Lucretius, Aristotle, Galen, and Common Experience, pages 10, 20, and he refutes, preface, pp. 2, 13, the contrary opinion of the French physicians who visited Marseilles in the year 1720. Yet these were the recent and enlightened spectators of a plague which, in a few months, swept away 50,000 inhabitants, Sir Lopez de Marseille, and 1720, Paris, 1786, of a city that in the present hour of prosperity and trade, contains no more than ninety thousand souls, Necker, Sir Less Finances, Tom. I, page 231. Right arrow curving left. The strong assertions of Procopius, Omicron tau epsilon gamma rho alpha tau rho Omicron tau epsilon delta iota tau, are overthrown by the subsequent experience of Evagrius. Right arrow curving left. After some figures of rhetoric, the sands of the sea, etc., Procopius, Anecdota, c. 18, attempts a more definite account, that mu epsilon rho iota delta alpha mu epsilon rho iota delta omega nu mu epsilon rho alpha had been exterminated under the reign of the imperial demon. The expression is obscure in grammar and arithmetic, and a literal interpretation would produce several millions of millions. Alamanus, page 80, and cousin, Tom. 3. p. 178. Translate this passage, 200 millions, but I am ignorant of their motives. If we drop the mu theta rho iota delta alpha the remaining mu epsilon rho iota delta omega nu mu epsilon rho alpha, a myriad of myriads, would furnish 100 millions, a number not wholly inadmissible. Right arrow curving left. In the notes to this important chapter, which is received as the textbook on civil law in some of the foreign universities, I have consulted. I. The newly discovered institutes of Gaius, Gay Institutions, edit. Goschen, Berlin, 1824, with some other fragments of the Roman law, Codices Theodosiani Fragmenta Inedita, of Amadeo Peron, Turin, 1824. 2. The History of the Roman Law, by Professor Gustav Hugo, in the French translation of M. Jordan, Paris, 1825. 3. Savigny, Gestic de Romischen Rex im Mittelalter, 6 Band, Heidelberg, 1815. 4. Walther, Gestic de Romischen Rex, Bonn, 1834. But I am particularly indebted to an edition of the French translation of this chapter, with additional notes, by one of the most learned civilians of Europe, Professor Warnkenig. Published at Liège, 1821. I have inserted almost the whole of these notes, which are distinguished by the letter W, M. Right arrow curving left. 
The civilians of the Darker Ages have established an absurd and incomprehensible mode of quotation, which is supported by authority and custom. In their references to the Code, the Pandex, and the Institutes, they mention the number, not of the book, but only of the law. And content themselves with reciting the first words of the title to which it belongs, and of these titles there are more than a thousand. Ludwig, Vita Justiniani, p. 268, wishes to shake off this pedantic yoke, and I have dared to adopt the simple and rational method of numbering the book, the title, and the law. 9115 right arrow curving left. Germany, Bohemia, Hungary, Poland, and Scotland have received them as common law or reason, in France, Italy, etc., they possess a direct or indirect influence. And they were respected in England from Stephen to Edward I, our national Justinian, Arthur Duck, de usuet auctoritate jura civilis Romanorum, L. 2 c. 1, 8, 15. Hanexius, Elementa Juris Germanici, c. 3, 4, number 55, 124, and the legal historians of each country. 9116 right arrow curving left. Francis Hottaman, a learned and acute lawyer of the 16th century, wished to mortify Cugatius and to please the Chancellor de l'Hôpital. His Antitribonianus, which I have never been able to procure, was published in French in 1609, and his sect was propagated in Germany, Hanexius, Opera Omnia, Tom. 3 Siloge 3, pages 171-183. 9117 right arrow curving left. At the head of these guides I shall respectfully place the learned and perspicuous Hanexius, a German professor. Who died at Halle in the year 1741, see his éloge in the Nouvelle Bibliothèque Germanique, Tom. 2, pages 51, 64. His ample works have been collected in eight volumes in quarto, Geneva, 1743-1748. The treatises which I have separately used are Historia Juris Romani A.C. Germanici, Lugduni Badavorum, 1740, in Octavo. Antiquitatum Romanarum Jurisprudentium Illustrantium Syntagma, two volumes in Octavo, Trajecti ad Renum. Elementa Juris Civilis, Secundum Ordinem Institutionum, Lugduni Badavorum, 1751, in Octavo. Elementa Juris Civilis, Secundum Ordinem Pandectorum, Trajecti ad Renum, 1772, in Octavo, 2 volumes 9118. Right arrow curving left. Our original text is a fragment de origin juris, Pandecti, L. I. Tit. 2, of Pomponius, a Roman lawyer, who lived under the Antonines, Hanexius, Tom. 3 Syl 3, pages 66, 126. It has been abridged, and probably corrupted, by Tribonian, and since restored by Cornelius van Binkershoek, Opera Omnia, Tom. I, pages 279, 304. Right arrow curving left. The constitutional history of the kings of Rome may be studied in the first book of Livy, and more copiously in Dionysi Halicarnassensis, L, 2, pages 80, 96, 119, 130, L, 4 pp. 198, 220, who sometimes betrays the character of a rhetorician and a Greek.9119 right arrow curving left. This threefold division of the law was applied to the three Roman kings by Justice Lipsius, Opera Omnia, Tom. 4, page 279, is adopted by Gravina, Origins Juris Civilis, page 28, edit. Lipsii, 1737, and is reluctantly admitted by Moscou, his German editor. 9120 right arrow curving left. The most ancient code or digest was styled just Papirianum, from the first compiler, Papirius, who flourished somewhat before or after the Regifugium, Pandecti, L. I. Tit. 2. The best judicial critics, even Binkershoek, Tom. I. Pages 284. 285, and Hanexius, Historia Juris Civilis Romani, L. I. C., 16, 17, and Opera Omnia, Tom. 3 Siloge 4, 
pp. 1, 8, give credit to this tale of Pomponius, without sufficiently adverting to the value and rarity of such a monument of the third century of the illiterate city. I much suspect that the Caius Papirius, the Pontifex Maximus, who revived the laws of Numa, Dionysi Halicarnassensis, L. 3, page 171, left only an oral tradition. And that the just Papirianum of Granius Flaccus, Pandecti, L. 1 tit. 16 leg. 144, was not a commentary, but an original work, compiled in the time of Caesar, Censorinus, De Die Natalie, L. 3 p. 13, Carl Andreas Ducker, Opuscula Varia de Latinitate Veterum Juris Consultorum, page 157. 9,121 right arrow curving left. A pompous, though feeble, attempt to restore the original is made in the Histoire de la Jurisprudence Romaine of Antoine Terrasson, pp. 22, 72, Paris, 1750, in folio, a work of more promise than performance. Right arrow curving left. In the year 1444, seven or eight tables of brass were dug up between Cortona and Gubbio. A part of these, for the rest is Etruscan, represents the primitive state of the Pelasgic letters and language, which are ascribed by Herodotus to that district of Italy, L. I C. 56, 58. Though this difficult passage may be explained of a crestona in Thrace, notes de Larcher, Tom. I. Pages 256, 261. The savage dialect of the Yugubine tables has exercised, and may still elude, the divination of criticism. But the root is undoubtedly Latin, of the same age and character as the Salier Carmen, which, in the time of Horace, none could understand. The Roman idiom, by an infusion of Doric and Aeolic Greek, was gradually ripened into the style of the Twelve Tables, of the Duilian Column, of Ennius, of Terence, and of Cicero, Grutter, inscriptions. Tom. I. P. C. X. L. I. Scipion Maffei, Historia Diplomatica, pages 241, 258, Bibliotheque Italique, Tom. 3, pages 30, 41, 174, 205, Tom. 14, pages 1, 52.9122 right arrow curving left. Compare Livy, L. 3 C. 31, 59, with Dionysi Halicarnassensis, L. X. P. 644, 11, page 691. How concise and animated is the Roman, how prolix and lifeless the Greek. Yet he has admirably judged the masters, and defined the rules, of historical composition. Right arrow curving left. From the historians, Henexius, Historia Juris Romani, L. I know. 26, maintains that the twelve tables were of brass, Arius, in the text of Pomponius we read Eberias, for which Scaliger has substituted Roberias, Binkershoke, page 286. Wood, brass, and ivory might be successively employed. 9123 right arrow curving left. Compare Niebuhr, volume 2, page 349, etc., m, right arrow curving left. His exile is mentioned by Cicero, Tusculani Questions v. 36. His statue by Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historii XXXIV 11. The letter, dream, and prophecy of Heraclitus are alike spurious, Epistoli Greci Diversorum, page 337. 9124 right arrow curving left. This intricate subject of the Sicilian and Roman money is ably discussed by Dr. Bentley, Dissertation on the Epistles of Phalaris, pp. 427, 479, whose powers in this controversy were called forth by honor and resentment. Right arrow curving left. The Romans, or their allies, sailed as far as the fair promontory of Africa, Polybius, L. 3, p. 177, edit. Casaban, in folio. Their voyages to Cumi, etc., are noticed by Livy and Dionysius. Right arrow curving left. This circumstance would alone prove the antiquity of Carondas, the legislator of Regium and Catana, who, 
by a strange error of Diodorus Siculus, Tom. I. L. 12, pp. 485, 492, is celebrated long afterwards as the author of the policy of Thurium. Right arrow curving left. Zaleucus, whose existence has been rashly attacked, had the merit and glory of converting a band of outlaws, the Locrians, into the most virtuous and orderly of the Greek republics, see two memoirs of the Baron de Saint Croix. Sur la legislation de la Grande Grèce, Memoirs de l'Académie, Tom. XLI, pages 276, 333. But the laws of Zaleucus and Carondas, which imposed on Diodorus and Stobius, are the spurious composition of a Pythagorean sophist. Whose fraud has been detected by the critical sagacity of Bentley, pp. 335, 377. Right arrow curving left. I seize the opportunity of tracing the progress of this national intercourse. Herodotus and Thucydides, AUC 300, 350, appear ignorant of the name and existence of Rome, Josephus. Contra Appian, Tom. 2L. I C. 12, page 444, edit. Haverkamp. Theopompus, AUC 400, Pliny the Elder 39, mentions the invasion of the Gauls, which is noticed in looser terms by Heraclides Ponticus, Plutarch in Parallel Lives, Camillo, page 292, edit. Henricus Stephanus. The real or fabulous embassy of the Romans to Alexander, AUC 430, is attested by Clitarchus, Pliny the Elder 39, by Aristus and Asclepiades, Arian, L. 7, pp. 294, 295, and by Memnon of Heraclea, Apud Photius, Codex Kexiv, page 725, though tacitly denied by Livy. Theophrastus, AUC 440, Primus Externorum Aliqua de Romanis Diligentia Scripsit, Pliny the Elder 39. Lycophron, AUC 480, 500, scattered the first seed of a Trojan colony in the fable of the Aeneid, Cassandra, 1226, 1280. Gamma Kappa Alpha Theta Alpha Lambda Sigma Sigma Eta Sigma Kappa Pi Tauro Alpha Kappa Alpha Mu Omicron Nu Alpha Rho Chi Alpha Nu. Lambda Alpha Beta Nu Tau Epsilon. A bold prediction before the end of the First Punic War. 9125 right arrow curving left. The tenth table, De Modo Sepulchery, was borrowed from Solon, Cicero, De Legibus 223, 26 the Fertem per Lansum et Lysium Conceptum. Is derived by Henexius from the manners of Athens, Antiquitatum Romanarum Jurisprudentium, Tom. 2, pages 167, 175. The right of killing a nocturnal thief was declared by Moses, Solon, and the Decembers, Exodus 22 verse 3, Demosthenes Contra Timocratum, Tom. I, page 736, edit. Reisk. Macrobius, Saturnalia, L. I C. 4, Calatio Legum Mosaicarum et Romanarum, Tit. 7 No. I, page 218, edit. Canagiator, point ninety one twenty six right arrow curving left. Beta rho alpha chi omega kappa alpha pi epsilon rho tau tau omega is the praise of Diodorus, Tom. I L twelve p. For ninety four, which may be fairly translated by the eleganti at absoluta brevitate verborum of Aulus Gellius, Nox Atticae XXI. Right arrow curving left. Listen to Cicero, de legibus two twenty three and his representative Crassus, De Orator I-43, 44. Right arrow curving left. See Henexius, Historia Juris Romani, No. 29, 33. I have followed the restoration of the Twelve Tables by Gravina, Origins Juris Civilis, pages 280, 307, and Terrison, Histoire de la Jurisprudence Romaine, pages 94, 205. 9127 right arrow curving left. Finus equi juris, Tacitus, Annals 327.9128 Fons omnis publici et privati juris, Titus Livius 334. Right arrow curving left. 
De principis juris, et cabus modis ad hanc multitudinum infinitam ac varietatum legum preventum sit altius disaram, Tacitus, Annals 325. This deep disquisition fills only two pages, but they are the pages of Tacitus. With equal sense, but with less energy, Livy, 334, had complained in hoc immenso alierum super alias acerviterum legum cumulo, etc. right arrow curving left. Suetonius in De Vita Caesarum, Vespasiano, c. 8. Right arrow curving left. Cicero, Epistulae ad Familiars 8 8. Right arrow curving left. Dionysius, with Arbuthnot, and most of the moderns, except Johann Caspar Eisenschmidt, De Ponderibus et Mensuris Veterum Romanorum, pp. 137, 140, represent the 100,000 asses by 10,000 Attic drachmae, or somewhat more than 300 pounds sterling. But their calculation can apply only to the latter times, when the as was diminished to superscript 1-240h of its ancient weight, nor can I believe that in the first ages. However destitute of the precious metals, a single ounce of silver could have been exchanged for 70 pounds of copper or brass. A more simple and rational method is to value the copper itself according to the present rate, and, after comparing the mint and the market price, the Roman and Averdepois weight. The primitive as or Roman pound of copper may be appreciated at one English shilling, and the 100,000 asses of the first class amounted to 5,000 pounds sterling. It will appear from the same reckoning that an ox was sold at Rome for five pounds, a sheep for ten shillings, and a quarter of wheat for one pound ten shillings, Festus, page 330, edit. Dacier. Pliny the Elder, Naturalis Historiae 184 Nor do I see any reason to reject these consequences, which moderate our ideas of the poverty of the first Romans. 9129 right arrow curving left. Consult the common writers on the Roman Comitia, especially Saigonius and Beaufort. Spanheim, Dissertations de Prestantia et usu numismatum antiquorum, Tom. 2 Dissert. X, pp. 192, 193, shows, on a curious medal, the Sista, Pontes, Septa, Derivator, etc. Right arrow curving left. Cicero, De Legibus 316, 18, debates this constitutional question, and assigns to his brother Quintus the most unpopular side. Right arrow curving left. Pray to multa recusantium perfere non potuit, Suetonius in De Vita Caesarum, Augustus, c. 34. C. Propertius, L. 2 Eleg. 6. Hanexius in a separate history has exhausted the whole subject of the Julian and Papian Papian laws, Opera Omnia, Tom. 7 Pars I, pages 1, 479. Right arrow curving left. Tacitus, Annals I 15. Lipsius, Excursus E in Tacitum.9130 right arrow curving left. Non ambigitor senatum just facer posse, is the decision of Ulpian, L. 16 ad edict. In pandecti, L. I tit. 3 leg. 9. Pomponius taxes the commissia of the people as a tuba hominum, pandecti, L. I tit. 2 leg. 9. 9131 right arrow curving left. There is a curious passage from Aurelius, a writer on law, on the Praetorian Prefect, quoted in Lydus, De Magistratibus, page 32, edit. Hayes. The Praetorian Prefect was to the Emperor what the master of the horse was to the dictator under the Republic. He was the delegate, therefore, of the full imperial authority. And no appeal could be made or exception taken against his edicts. I had not observed this passage when the third volume, where it would have been more appropriately placed, passed through the press. M. Right arrow curving left. The jus honorarium of the praetors and other magistrates is strictly defined in the Latin text of the Institutes, L. I tit. 2 no. 7, and more loosely explained in the Greek paraphrase of Theophilus, pages 33, 38, edit. 
writes, who drops the important word honorarium. 9132 right arrow curving left. Compare throughout the brief but admirable sketch of the progress and growth of the Roman jurisprudence, the necessary operation of the Jus Gentium. When Rome became the sovereign of nations, upon the just civil of the citizens of Rome, in the first chapter of Savigny. Gestic de Romitian Rex im Mittelalter. M. Right arrow curving left. Dion Cassius, Tom. I. L. XXXVI, page 100, fixes the perpetual edicts in the year of Rome 686. Their institution, however, is ascribed to the year 585 in the Acta Diurna, which have been published from the papers of Ludovicus Vives. Their authenticity is supported or allowed by Stephanus Pigius, Annals Romanorum, Tom. 2, pages 377, 378, Grievous, Ad Suetonius, page 778, Dodwell, Prelections Camdiniana, p. 665, and Henexius, but a single word, Scutum Cimbricum, detects the forgery, Moyle's Works, Volume 1, page 303. Right arrow curving left. The history of edicts is composed, and the text of the perpetual edict is restored, by the masterhand of Henexius, Opera Omnia, Tom. 7 pars 2, pages 1, 564. 9133 in whose researches I might safely acquiesce. In the Academy of Inscriptions, M. Bouchard has given a series of memoirs to this interesting subject of law and literature. 9134 right arrow curving left. It is an important question in what manner the emperors were invested with this legislative power. The newly discovered Gaius distinctly states that it was in virtue of a law, NEC unquam dubitatum est, quin id legis visum obtinit, cum ipsi imperator per legium imperium accipiat. But it is still uncertain whether this was a general law, passed on the transition of the government from a republican to a monarchical form, or a law passed on the accession of each emperor. Compare Hugo, Histoire du droit romain, French translation, volume 2, page 8. M. Right arrow curving left. His laws are the first in the code. C. Dodwell, Prelections Camdeniana, pp. 319, 340, who wanders from the subject in confused reading and feeble paradox. 9135 right arrow curving left. Totum illum veterum et squalentum silvum legum novus principalium rescriptorum et edictorum securibus truncatus et chiditis, apologeticus, c. 4, page 50, edit. Haverkamp. He proceeds to praise the recent firmness of Severus, who repealed the useless or pernicious laws without any regard to their age or authority. Right arrow curving left. The constitutional style of Legibus Salutis is misinterpreted by the art or ignorance of Dion Cassius, Tom. I-L-L-I-I, page 713. On this occasion his editor, Reimer, joins the universal censure which freedom and criticism have pronounced against that slavish historian. Right arrow curving left. The word, Lex Regia, was still more recent than the thing. The slaves of Commodus or Caracalla would have started at the name of royalty. 9136 right arrow curving left. C. Gravina, Opera, Seu Originum Jura Civilis, pages 501, 512, and Beaufort, La Republic Romaine, Tom. I. pages 255, 274. He has made a proper use of two dissertations by Johann Friedrich Gronovius and Gerard Nutt, both translated with valuable notes, by Barbirac, two volumes in Duodecimo, 1731. Right arrow curving left. Gay institutions, L. I. Tit. 2 number 6. Pendecti, L. I. Tit. 4 leg. 1. Codex Justinianus, L. I tit. 17 leg. 1. Number 7. In his Antiquities and Elements, Hanexius has amply treated de constitutionibus principum, which are illustrated by Godefroy, comment. Ad Codex Theodosianus, L. I tit. 
1, 2, 3, and Gravina, pp. 87, 90, point 91, 37 right arrow curving left. Theophilus, in Paraphrasis Graeca Institutionum Caesarerum, pages 33, 34, edit. Writes. For his person, time, writings, see the Theophilus of J. H. Milius, Excursus 3, pp. 1034, 1073. Right arrow curving left. There is more envy than reason in the complaint of Macrinus, Julius Capitolinus, c. 13 Nephas esse legis vitari commodi edi caracali at hominum imperatorum voluntates. Commodus was made a divus by Severus, Dodwell, Prelections Camdeniana 8, pages 324, 325. Yet he occurs only twice in the pandects. Right arrow curving left. Of Antoninus Caracalla alone 200 constitutions are extant in the code, and with his father 160. These two princes are quoted fifty times in the pandects, and eight in the institutes, Terracin, page 265, right arrow curving left. Pliny Secundus, Epistola X, 66. Suetonius in Davida Caesarum, Domitian, c. 23. Right arrow curving left. It was a maxim of Constantine, contra jus rescripta non valiant, Codex Theodosianus, L. I tit. 2 leg. 1. The emperors reluctantly allow some scrutiny into the law and the fact, some delay, petition, etc., but these insufficient remedies are too much in the discretion and at the peril of the judge. Right arrow curving left. A compound of vermilion and cinnabar, which marks the imperial diplomas from Leo I, AD 470, to the fall of the Greek Empire, Bibliothèque Raisonnée de la Diplomatique, Tom. I, pages 504, 515. Giovanni Lamy, De Erudition Apostolorum, Tom. 2, pages 720, 726. Right arrow curving left. Savigny states the following as the authorities for the Roman law at the commencement of the 5th century. The writings of the jurists according to the regulations of the Constitution of Valentinian III. First promulgated in the West, but by its admission into the Theodosian Code established likewise in the East. This constitution established the authority of the five great jurists, Papinian, Paulus, Caius, Ulpian, and Modestinus, as interpreters of the ancient law. In case of difference of opinion among these five, a majority decided the case, where they were equal, the opinion of Papinian, where he was silent, the judge, but see page 40, and Hugo, volume. 2, page 89. The Gregorian and Hermogenian Collection of the Imperial Rescripts. The Code of Theodosius II. The Particular Novelli, as additions and supplements to this code. Savigny, Volume 1, page 10. M. Right arrow curving left. Anton Schulting, Jurisprudentia Vetus Antigestiniania, pages 681, 718. Cugatius assigned to Gregory the reigns from Hadrian to Gallienus, and the continuation to his fellow laborer Hermogenes. This general division may be just, but they often trespassed on each other's ground. Right arrow curving left. Sivola, most probably Q. Servidius Sivola, the master of Papinian, considers this acceptance of fire and water as the essence of marriage. Pandecti, L. Ziv Tit. 1, leg. 66, C. Henexius, Historia Juris Romani, no. 317, right arrow curving left. Cicero, de officius 319, may state an ideal case, but as t. Ambrose, de officius 32, appeals to the practice of his own times, which he understood as a lawyer and a magistrate, Schulting ad Ulpian, Fragmenta, tit. XXII No. 28, pages 643, 644. 9138 right arrow curving left. The Fertum Lance Lysioque Conceptum was no longer understood in the time of the Antonines, Aulus Gellius 1610. The Attic Derivation of Henexius, Antiquitatum Romanarum Jurisprudentium, 
L, 4 tit. I number 13, 21, is supported by the evidence of Aristophanes, his scoliast, and Pollux. 9139 right arrow curving left. In his, Oration for Murina, c. 9, 13, Cicero turns into ridicule the forms and mysteries of the civilians, which are represented with more candor by Aulus Gellius, Nox Atticae XX10, Gravina, Opera. Seu Originum Juris Civilis, pp. 265, 267, and Henexius, Antiquitatum Romanarum Jurisprudentium, L. Fortit. 6.9140 Right arrow curving left. Compare, on the responsa prudentum, Warnkenig, Histoire externe du droit romain, Bruxelles, 1836, p. 122, m. Right arrow curving left. The series of the civil lawyers is deduced by Pomponius, de origin juris, pandecti, l. I tit. 2. The moderns have discussed, with learning and criticism, this branch of literary history, and among these I have chiefly been guided by Gravina, pp. 41, 79, and Henexius, Historia Juris Romani, No. 113, 351. Cicero, more especially in his books De Orator, De Claris Oratoribus, De Legibus, and the Clavis Ciceroniana of Ernesti, under the names of Amusius, etc. Afford much genuine and pleasing information. Horace often alludes to the morning labors of the civilians, sermons II 10, Epistularum 2, I 103, etc. Agricolam laudat juris legumc peritus. Sub Galli cantum, consultor ubi ostia pulsat. Vertical ellipsis. Romi dulce dio fut eti salema, reclusa. Main domo vigilar, clienti promir jura. 9141. Right arrow curving left. M. Hugo thinks that the ingenious system of the institutes adopted by a great number of the ancient lawyers, and by Justinian himself, dates from Severus Sulpicius. Histoire du droit romain, volume 2, page 119, w. Right arrow curving left. Crassus, or rather Cicero himself, proposes, de orator I 41, 42, an idea of the art or science of jurisprudence, which the eloquent but illiterate Antonius, I 58, affects to deride. It was partly executed by Servius Sulpicius, in Bruto, c. 41, whose praises are elegantly varied in the classic Latinity of the Roman Gravina, page 60. Right arrow curving left. Perturbatrisum autumn omnium harum rerum academium, hancabar cecilla edi carnade recentum, exorimus uticiliat, nam si invasarit in haec, quae satis site instructa et composita vidiantur. Nimis edet ruinas, quam cadem ego placer cupio, submovir non audio, de legibus I 13. From this passage alone Bentley, remarks on a late discourse of free thinking, page 250, might have learned how firmly Cicero believed in the specious doctrines which he has adorned. Right arrow curving left. The Stoic philosophy was first taught at Rome by Panetius, the friend of the younger Scipio, see his life in the Memoirs de l'Academie de Inscriptions, Tom. X, pages 75, 89. Right arrow curving left. As he is quoted by Ulpian, Leg. 40, Ad Sabinum in Pandecti, L, XLVI Tit. 2 Leg. 21. Yet Trebatius, after he was a leading civilian, Ca Familium Duxit, became an Epicurean, Cicero, Epistuli Ad Familiars 7 5. Perhaps he was not constant or sincere in his new sect. 9142 right arrow curving left. C. Gravina, pages 45, 51, and the ineffectual cavils of Moscow. Henexius, Historia Juris Romani, no. 125, quotes and approves a dissertation of Everard Otto, De Stoica Veterum Juris Consultorum Philosophia. Right arrow curving left. We have heard of the Cottonian rule, the Aquilian stipulation, and the Manilian forms, of 211 maxims, and of 247 definitions, Pendecti, L. 
I tit. 16, 17. Right arrow curving left. Read Cicero, L. Ida Orator, Topica, Pro Murina. Right arrow curving left. C. Pomponius, De Origin Juris, Pendecti, L. I tit. 2 leg. 2, number 47, Hanexius, ad institutionum, L. I tit. 2 number 8, L, 2 tit. XXV in Elementa et Antiquitatum Romanarum Jurisprudentium, and Gravina, pages 41, 45. Yet the monopoly of Augustus, a harsh measure, would appear with some softening in contemporary evidence. And it was probably veiled by a decree of the Senate. Right arrow curving left. The author here follows the then generally received opinion of Hanexius. The proofs which appear to confirm it are digests, L. I tit. 2 section 47, and institutionum, L. I tit. 2 section 8. The first of these passages speaks expressly of a privilege granted to certain lawyers, until the time of Hadrian, Publis respondendi jus anti Augusti tempora non dabiter. Primus divus ut major juris octoritas habariter, constitute, ut ex octoritate aegis responderent. The passage of the Institute speaks of the different opinions of those, cabus est permissum jura condera. It is true that the first of these passages does not say that the opinion of these privileged lawyers had the force of a law for the judges. For this reason M. Hugo altogether rejects the opinion adopted by Hanexius, by Bach, and in general by all the writers who preceded him. He conceives that the section 8 of the Institutes referred to the constitution of Valentinian III, which regulated the respective authority to be ascribed to the different writings of the great civilians. But we have now the following passage in the Institutes of Gaius, Responsa Prudentum Sunt Sententiae et Opinions Eurum, Cabus Permissum est Jura Condra. Quorum omnium si in unum sententiae concurrent, id quat et ascentiant, legis visum obtinet, si vero dissentiant, judici licit, quam vilit sententium sequi, id rescripto dv hadrian significator. I do not know how, in opposition to this passage, the opinion of M. Hugo can be maintained. We must add to this the passage quoted from Pomponius. And from such strong proofs, it seems incontestable that the emperors had granted some kind of privilege to certain civilians, cabus permissum erat jura condra. Their opinion had sometimes the force of law, legis visum. M. Hugo, endeavoring to reconcile this phrase with his system, gives it a forced interpretation, which quite alters the sense. He supposes that the passage contains no more than what is evident of itself, that the authority of the civilians was to be respected, thus making a privilege of that which was free to all the world. It appears to me almost indisputable that the emperors had sanctioned certain provisions relative to the authority of these civilians, consulted by the judges. But how far was their advice to be respected? This is a question which it is impossible to answer precisely, from the want of historic evidence. Is it not possible that the emperors established an authority to be consulted by the judges? And in this case this authority must have emanated from certain civilians named for this purpose by the emperors. See Hugo. Moreover, may not the passage of Suetonius, in the Life of Caligula, where he says that the emperor would no longer permit the civilians to give their advice, mean that Caligula entertained the design of suppressing this institution? See on this passage the Themis, Volume 11, pages 17, 36. Our author, not being acquainted with the opinions opposed to Hanexius, has not gone to the bottom of the subject. W. Right arrow curving left. I have perused the diatribe of Gottfredus Mascovius, the learned Moscou, De Sectus Edi Philosophia Juris Consultorum, Lipsii, 1728, in Duodecimo, p. 276, a learned treatise on a narrow and barren ground. Right arrow curving left. See the character of Antistius Labio in Tacitus, Annals 375, and in an epistle of Aetius Capito, Aulus Gellius 1312, who accuses his rival of Libertas Nimia et Visers. 
Yet Horace would not have lashed a virtuous and respectable senator, and I must adopt the emendation of Bentley, who reads Labieno in Senior, Sermons I 382. C. Moscou, De Sectus ed Philosophia Juris Consultorum, C. I, pages 1, 24, right arrow curving left. Justinian, Institutions Justiniani, L. 3 Tit. 23, and Theophilus, Paraphrasis Greca Institutionum Caesarirum, pages 677, 680, has commemorated this weighty dispute, and the verses of Homer that were alleged on either side as legal authorities. It was decided by Paul, Leg. 33, Ad Edict. In Pandecti, L. 18 Tit. I Leg. 1. Since, in a simple exchange, the buyer could not be discriminated from the seller. Right arrow curving left. This controversy was likewise given for the Proculians, to supersede the indecency of a search, and to comply with the aphorism of Hippocrates. Who was attached to the septenary number of two weeks of years, or seven hundred of days, institutions, L. I tit. XXI, Plutarch and the Stoics, De Placida Philosophorum, L. V. C. 24, assign a more natural reason. Fourteen years is the age, pi epsilon rho nu sigma pi epsilon rho mu alpha tau iota kappa kappa rho omega epsilon tau alpha iota. See the vestigia of the sects in Moscow, c. 9, pages 145, 276, right arrow curving left. The series and conclusion of the sects are described by Moscow, c. 2, 7, pp. 24, 120, and it would be almost ridiculous to praise his equal justice to these obsolete sections 9143 right arrow curving left. At the first summons he flies to the turbot council. Yet Juvenal, Satires 475, 81, styles the prefect or bailiff of Rome Sanctissimus Legum Interpres. From his science, says the old scholiast, he was called, not a man, but a book. He derived the singular name of Pegasus from the galley which his father commanded. Right arrow curving left. Tacitus, Annals 167. Suetonius in De Vita Caesarum, Nero, C. XVI. Right arrow curving left. Moscou, De Sectus Edi Philosophia Juris Consultorum, C. 8, pages 120, 144, De Hersus Gundis, a legal term which was applied to these eclectic lawyers. Hersuskir is synonymous to Davidera. 9144 right arrow curving left. See the Theodosian Code, L. I tit. For with Godefroy's commentary, Tom. I, pages 30, 35. 9145 This decree might give occasion to Jesuitical disputes like those in the Letra Provincials, whether a judge was obliged to follow the opinion of Papinian, or of a majority against his judgment, against his conscience, etc. Yet a legislator might give that opinion, however false, the validity, not of truth, but of law.9146 right arrow curving left. For the legal labors of Justinian, I have studied the preface to the Institutes. The first, second, and third prefaces to the Pandects, the first and second preface to the Code, and the Code itself, L. I tit. 17. De Veteri Jur and Ucleando. After these original testimonies, I have consulted, among the moderns, Hanexius, Historia Juris Romani, No. 383, 404, Terrison, Histoire de la Jurisprudence Romaine, pp. 295, 356, Gravina, Opera, Seu Originum Juris Civilis, pages 93, 100, and Ludwig, in his Life of Justinian, p.19, 123, 318, 321, for the Code and Novels, pages 209, 261. For the Digest or Pandects, pages 262, 317, right arrow curving left. For the character of Tribonian, see the testimonies of Procopius, de Bello Persico, L. I see, 23, 24, Anecdota, c. 13, 20, and Suedos, Tom. 3, p. 501, Edit. Custer. 
Ludwig, in Vita Justiniani, pages 175, 209, works hard, very hard, to whitewash, the blackamoor, right arrow curving left. I apply the two passages of Suedos to the same man. Every circumstance so exactly tallies. Yet the lawyers appear ignorant, and Fabricius is inclined to separate the two characters, Bibliotheca Greca, Tom. I, page 341, 2, page 518, 3, page 418, 12, pp. 346, 353, 474. Right arrow curving left. This story is related by Hesychius of Miletus, De Viris Illustribus, Procopius, Anecdota, c. 13, and Suedos, Tom. 3, page 501. Such flattery is incredible. Nihil est quat credir de si. Non posset, cum laudator dies equa potestas. Fontenelle, Tom. I, pages 32, 39, has ridiculed the impudence of the modest Virgil. But the same Fontenelle places his king above the divine Augustus, and the sage Boilo has not blushed to say, Le destin a sesu enoceroit balancer. Yet neither Augustus nor Louis the Fourteenth were fools. Right arrow curving left. Pinu delta epsilon capitao alpha iota, general receivers, was a common title of the Greek miscellanies, Pliny the Elder, prefacio ad naturalis historii. The digesta of Sivola, Marcel Linus, Celsus, were already familiar to the civilians, but Justinian was in the wrong when he used the two appellations as synonymous. Is the word pandex Greek or Latin, masculine or feminine? The diligent Henrik Brenkmann will not presume to decide these momentous controversies, Historia Pandectorum Florentinorum, pages 300, 304. 9147 right arrow curving left. Angelus Policianus, L. V. Epistola Ultra, reckons 37, pp. 192, 200, civilians quoted in the Pandex, a learned and, for his times, an extraordinary list. The Greek index to the Pandex enumerates 39, and 40 are produced by the indefatigable Fabricius, Bibliotheca Greca, Tom. 3, pages 488, 502. Antoninus Augustus, de nominibus proprius pandectorum, apud Ludwig, page 283, is said to have added 54 names, but they must be vague or second-hand references. Right arrow curving left. The sigma tau iota chi omicron of the ancient MSS may be strictly defined as sentences or periods of a complete sense, which, on the breadth of the parchment rolls or volumes, composed as many lines of unequal length. The number of sigma tau iota chi omicron in each book served as a check on the errors of the scribes, Ludwig, pages 211, 215, and his original author Susser, Thesaurus Ecclesiasticus, Tom. I, pages 1021, 1036. Right arrow curving left. An ingenious and learned oration of Antonius Schultingius, Jurisprudentia Vetus Antigestiniania, pp. 883-907, justifies the choice of Tribonian, against the passionate charges of Francis Hottoman and his sectaries. Right arrow curving left. Strip away the crust of Tribonian, and allow for the use of technical words, and the Latin of the Pandex will be found not unworthy of the Silver Age. It has been vehemently attacked by Laurentius Valla, 9148 a fastidious grammarian of the 15th century, and by his apologist Floridus Sabinus. It has been defended by Alciat and a nameless advocate, most probably James Capellus. Their various treatises are collected by Ducer, Opuscula Varia de Latinitate Veterum Juris Consultorum, Lugduni Batavorum, 1721, in Duodecimo. Right arrow curving left. Nomina cadem veteribus servivimus, legum autum veritatum anostram fessimus. Etac siquid erat in illis seditiosum, multa autum talia errant ib reposita, hoc decisum est et definitum, etian perspicuum finum deducta est quic lex, codex Justinianus. L. I. Tit. 17 Leg. 3. Number 10. A Frank Confession. 
9,149 right arrow curving left. The number of these emblemata, a polite name for forgeries, is much reduced by Binkershoek, in the four last books of his observations. Who poorly maintains the right of Justinian and the duty of Tribonian? Right arrow curving left. The antinomies, or opposite laws of the Code and Pandects, are sometimes the cause, and often the excuse, of the glorious uncertainty of the civil law. Which so often affords what Montaigne calls, questions poor elami. See a fine passage of Franciscus Balduinus in Justinian, L. 2, page 259, etc., Apud Ludwig, pages 305, 306. Right arrow curving left. When Faust, or Faustus, sold at Paris his first printed Bibles as manuscripts, the price of a parchment copy was reduced from four or five hundred to sixty, fifty, and forty crowns. The public was at first pleased with the cheapness, and at length provoked by the discovery of the fraud, Matire, Annals Typographici, Tom. I, page 12, first edition. Right arrow curving left. Among the works which have been recovered, by the persevering and successful endeavors of M. Mai and his followers to trace the imperfectly erased characters of the ancient writers on these palimpsests. Gibbon at this period of his labors would have hailed with delight the recovery of the Institutes of Gaius, and the fragments of the Theodosian Code, published by M. Perón of Turin. M. Right arrow curving left. This execrable practice prevailed from the 8th, and more especially from the 12th, century, when it became almost universal, Montfaucon, in the Memoirs de l'Academie, Tom. 6, p. 606, etc., Bibliothèque raisonnée de la diplomatique, Tom. I, page 176. Right arrow curving left. Pomponius, Pandecti, L. I tit. 2 leg. 2, observes that of the three founders of the civil law, Musius, Brutus, and Manilius, extant volumina, scripta Manilii monumenta. That of some old republican lawyers, haec versanter eorum scripta inter manus hominum. Eight of the Augustan sages were reduced to a compendium, of Caselius, scripta non extant sed unis liber, etc., of Trebatius, minus frequentator, of Tubero, libri parum gradi sunt. Many quotations in the Pandex are derived from books which Tribonian never saw. And in the long period from the 7th to the 13th century of Rome, the apparent reading of the modern successively depends on the knowledge and veracity of their predecessors. Right arrow curving left. All, in several instances, repeat the errors of the scribe and the transpositions of some leaves in the Florentine Pandex. This fact, if it be true, is decisive. Yet the Pandects are quoted by Evo of Chartres, who died in 1117, by Theobald, Archbishop of Canterbury, and by Vicarius, our first professor, in the year 1140, John Selden, ad fleetum dissertatio. c. 7, Tom. 2, pages 1080, 1085. Have our British Mises of the Pandects been collated? Right arrow curving left. See the description of this original in Brenkman, Historia Pandectorum Florentinorum, L. I C. 2, 3, pp. 4, 17, and L. 2. Politian, an enthusiast, revered it as the authentic standard of Justinian himself, pages 407, 408, but this paradox is refuted by the abbreviations of the Florentine Mises, L. 2 C. 3, pages 117, 130. It is composed of two quarto volumes with large margins, on a thin parchment, and the Latin characters betray the hand of a Greek scribe. Right arrow curving left. Brenkman, at the end of his history, has inserted two dissertations, on the Republic of Amalfi, and the Pisan War in the year 1135, etc. Right arrow curving left. The discovery of the Pandex at Amalfi, A.D. 1137, is first noticed, in 1501, by Lodovicus Bolaninus, Brenkman, L. I C. 11, pages 73, 74, L. 4 C. 2, pp. 
417, 425, on the faith of a Pisan chronicle, pages 409, 410, without a name or a date. The whole story, 9150 though unknown to the 12th century, embellished by ignorant ages and suspected by rigid criticism, is not, however, destitute of much internal probability, l. I c. 4, 8, pp. 17, 50. The Liber Pandectorum of Pisa was undoubtedly consulted in the 14th century by the great Bartolus, pages 406, 407, cl. I c. 9, pages 50, 62. Right arrow curving left. Pisa was taken by the Florentines in the year 1406, and in 1411 the Pandects were transported to the capital. These events are authentic and famous. Right arrow curving left. They were new bound in purple, deposited in a rich casket, and shown to curious travelers by the monks and magistrates bareheaded, and with lighted tapers, Brankman, L. I C. 10, 12, pp. 62, 93. Right arrow curving left. After the collations of Politian, Bolaninus, and Antoninus Augustinus, and the splendid edition of the Pandex by Torellus, in 1551, Henrik Brenkman, a Dutchman, undertook a pilgrimage to Florence, where he employed several years in the study of a single manuscript. His Historia Pandectorum Florentinorum, Utrecht, 1722, in quarto, though a monument of industry, is a small portion of his original design. Right arrow curving left. Cairo sigma epsilon alpha chi alpha lambda kappa epsilon omega nu, kappa alpha tau mu beta omicron iota nu nu epsilon alpha beta omicron omega nu, apud home rum pat rem omnis virtutis, first prefacio ad pandecti. A line of Milton or Tasso would surprise us in an act of parliament. Quae omnia obtenir sansimus in omni evum. Of the first code, he says, second prefacio, in eternum valiturum. Man and forever. Right arrow curving left. Novelli is a classic adjective, but a barbarous substantive, Ludwig, page 245. Justinian never collected them himself. The nine collations, the legal standard of modern tribunals, consist of ninety-eight novels, but the number was increased by the diligence of Julian, Hallowander, and Contius, Ludwig, pages 249, 258. Alamanus, not. In Anecdota, page 98. Right arrow curving left. Montesquieu, consideration sur les causes de la grandeur de Roma et de leur décadence, Tom. 3 c. 20, page 501, in quarto. On this occasion he throws aside the gown and cap of a president a mortier. Right arrow curving left. Procopius, Anecdota, c. 28. A similar privilege was granted to the Church of Rome, Novella 9. For the general repeal of these mischievous indulgences, see Novella CXI and Edict. v. Right arrow curving left. Lactantius, in his Institutes of Christianity, an elegant and specious work, proposes to imitate the title and method of the civilians. Quidum prudence et arbitri equitatis institution civilis juris compositas editerant, institutions divini, l. I c. 1. Such as Ulpian, Paul, Florentinus, Martian. Right arrow curving left. The Emperor Justinian calls him sum, though he died before the end of the second century. His institutes are quoted by Servius, Boethius, Priscian, etc. And the epitome by Arian is still extant. See the prolegomena and notes to the edition of Schulting, in the Jurisprudentia Vetus Antigustiniania, Lugduni Badavorum, 1717. Hanexius, Historia Juris Romani, No. 313. Ludwig, in Vita Justiniani, page 199, right arrow curving left.